military port off Gaza's Mediterranean coast to ramp up aid deliveries. Aaron David Miller, former State Department Middle East negotiator, says it'll be helpful but not enough. If in fact the Marine Corridor gets up and running anywhere from 45 to 60 days with the additional crossing point, you could see 300 trucks a day still doesn't get you to where you need to be, which is 500. Yesterday, the U.S. and Jordan made a third round of meal drops this week. Parents who lost children in the mass shooting at Robb Elementary School in Uvalde, Texas, are outraged over results of a city-ordered independent investigation placing no blame on the local police department. They stood there 77 minutes and waited after they got call after call. The kids were still alive in there. The report found officers acted in good faith. The teenage shooter killed 19 students and two teachers. Another bump on the runway at Boeing, literally. Yes, there's a tire going down the runway. Uh, we had to close the runway because somebody lost the tire. Air traffic control at the airport in San Francisco as a United flight lost a wheel seconds after takeoff. The Boeing 777 was forced to make an emergency landing. There were no injuries. The tire smashed into an empty car in an airport parking lot. Half of a popular 1960s singing duo is gone. Go away, little girl. Steve Lawrence, who teamed with his wife Edie Gourmet to form Steve and Edie, has died. He was 88. His family says he suffered complications from Alzheimer's. This is CBS News. Think O'Reilly Auto Parts for all your car care needs. Get the parts and service you need fast from the professional parts people at O'Reilly Auto Parts. Kale and Company weekday mornings 6 till 10. The Department of Veterans Affairs just banned the J Day Kiss photo from all department facilities. Imagine from... coming home and kissing a beautiful woman in Times Square. This photo is not inclusive enough. It's a guy kissing a gal. What should he have done? Asked her what her pronouns were first? <laughs> Do they have pronouns in the 40s? Can we just wave the white flag, please? Yeah. You know what? I value exclusivity. I don't want to be bothered by any of you deranged lunatics. Leave me alone. Start your day with Kale and Company. Weekday mornings, 6 till 10. On Talk Radio 1210, WPHT, and the free Odyssey app. When you enter a place of business, you're owed a legal duty. That the place of business is safe for you to shop in. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. If you suffered an injury at a place of business, our duty is to protect you after that harm. Morgan & Morgan, for the people. If you're looking for that perfect piece of furniture, you have to check out Bucks County Estate Traders. They have the largest in-stock inventory in the region, and I mean largest, enough to fill a 58,000 square foot showroom. Quality, high-end furniture and accessories, modern, traditional, mid-century, all types of European styles, current pieces as well as antiques. They'll arrange to ship anywhere, or you can pick up in-store. So visit them on Bethlehem Pike in Hatfield or at BucksCountyEstateTraders.com. Check your calendars and make plans to be a part of the atmosphere at Citizens Bank Park this season. It's a party at Citizens Bank Park! Phillies single game tickets are on sale now. Visit phillies.com to secure your seats to Phil's home games today. Baseball is better with friends. Bring your team to see our team. Phillies group tickets are on sale now. Visit phillies.com slash group tickets for more info and to snag your seats today. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential, but finding those people can be a major hassle, unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. And right now you can try it for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. With ZipRecruiter, one click sends your job to hundreds of top job sites. But more than that, ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies the candidates with the skills you need, sends you a list of great matches to review, then actively invites them to apply for your job. And the results speak for themselves. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. That's right, the first day. Now you can focus on your business and let ZipRecruiter do the work finding the best people for you. See for yourself. Experience the ease, efficiency, and power of ZipRecruiter for free. Just go to ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. One in five rely on the Catholic Charities Appeal for help. The fact is, nearly one million times per year, our programs provide assistance to people in need. We can't do this vital work without you. Your gift matters. Go to CatholicCharitiesAppeal.org to donate today.
If you're drowning in IRS debt and can't afford to pay, then you need to take advantage of special IRS tax programs that are available and free yourself from IRS collection efforts once and for all. Due to the financial hardship consumers are facing throughout the country, the Internal Revenue Service has made it easier to settle delinquent tax problems. An open phone line has been established by Community Tax for consumers to call and see if they qualify. Take down this number or store it in your cell phone, but call the Community Tax Helpline at 800 514 26. If you owe back taxes to the IRS and cannot afford to pay them back, or even if you have years of unfiled tax returns, there's no need to fear anymore. But you have to call the Community Tax Helpline today at 800-514-1026 for the help that you need. Don't take on the IRS alone. They can attack your wages, savings, pension, home, and even your Social Security check. Call 800-514-1026. I'm Charles Payne. I'm Martha McCallum. I'm Greg Jarrett. And this is the Fox News Rundown. Down. Friday, March 8, 2024. I'm Jessica Rosenthal. Did the commander in chief make his case for another four years after an energetic and political State of the Union address in this election year? Biden showed off a feisty side. He showed off a political side where he was drawing contrasts uh, on issues that Republicans, I think, have some vulnerability on. I'm Chris Foster. The Oscars were on Sunday with big movies about a bomb and a doll and smaller movies fewer people have seen expected to win awards. The, the reality is, though, like on, on a creative level, it's a strong showing for the Best Picture nominee. At least that part of it um, gives people a reason to celebrate. And if Barbie makes you know younger people tune in, then, then all the better. And I'm Kennedy. I've got the final word on the Fox News rundown. President Biden opened the State of the Union by telling us that like President Roosevelt did during World War II, he needs to wake up Congress and the American people about the threats we face. Not since President Lincoln and the Civil War have freedom and democracy been under assault at home as they are today. What makes our moment rare is the freedom and democracy are under attack at both at home and overseas. He said January 6th and lies about the 2020 election posed the gravest threat to our democracy since the Civil War. He moved on to abortion, saying former President Trump brags about the overturning of Roe versus Wade. Many of you in this chamber and my predecessor are promising to pass a national ban on reproductive freedom. My God, what freedom else would you take away? And while inflationary pressures were not a focus of his speech, he did argue that he's focused on bringing costs down overall, like the cost of prescription drugs. The president also proposed addressing the debt, at least in part, by taxing billionaires and corporations at a higher rate. Folks at home, does anybody really think the tax code is fair? No. Do you really think the wealthy and big corporations need another $2 trillion tax break? No. I sure don't. But in the Republicans' response to the State of the Union, Alabama Senator Katie Britt argued that the president can't talk about inflation or economic pressures because he's a career politician and is badly out of touch. It's been a minute since Joe Biden pumped gas, uh, ran a carpool, or even pushed a grocery cart. Meanwhile, the rest of us see our dollar and we know it doesn't go as far. So did the president's third State of the Union address connect with voters this election year? This is one of the most political speeches I, I can recall in, in, in the, the many, many states of the Union I, I've, I've witnessed and reported on in my, hmm. my career. But it was a, an effective speech, I think. Josh Krasauer is Fox News Radio's political analyst. That Biden showed off a feisty side. He showed off a political side where he was drawing contrasts uh, on issues that Republicans, I think, have some vulnerability on, whether it, it's abortion rights, whether it's uh, their, the Republican Party's view on Ukraine and funding for Ukraine's fight against Russia, defense against Russia's uh, aggression, whether it's what happened on January 6th. Those were issues that Biden brought up at the outset and made Republicans, including Speaker Johnson, look a little bit uncomfortable uh, and figured out when to stand, when to look bipartisan, when not to. Uh, he sat down for almost the entire speech uh, with a few scattered applauses uh, here and there. But look, this was a very political speech where Biden wanted to show 
off uh, the fact that he is aggressively making his case yeah. for a second term and, and making the case that the economy uh, and his stewardship of the economy is, is, is paying dividends. He, pay, he painted this very terribly stark picture that we're facing these unprecedented times. He said, not since President Lincoln and the Civil War have freedom and democracy been under assault here at home uh, and abroad. Um, saying, if you think Vladimir Putin will stop at Ukraine, you're wrong. Um, he also said, my predecessor and some of you here seek to bury the truth about January 6th, and I won't do that. I guess w that felt very, very dark and, and opening the State of the Union with this message that we're, that we're not strong, that, it, that we're in trouble. There, there was a lot of focus on national security, foreign policy, leading with Ukraine, and the fact that uh, the, the, there's a fear that if, 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 if uh, Ukraine loses the war, Russia could threaten other NATO countries. So that, that was a very stark warning from the commander in chief. Uh, he also talked about the Middle East and the threat, uh, the hostages that, that Hamas has uh, held and murdered uh, and talked about putting pressure on Israel as well to, to deal with the humanitarian crisis taking place in Gaza, talked about China uh, and the threat it poses uh, on numerous fronts. So this was a speech that was uh, talked about the high stakes, not just on the international stage, but also domestically with uh, the future of democracy in this country yeah. uh, on, the, on the line. I want to bring in my Fox News Radio colleague, Jared Halpern, uh, Washington, D.C. correspondent. Jared, after the discussion about, um, you know, the threats here at, at home and abroad, mm -hmm. he moved on to discussing abortion, women's reproductive rights, highlighting the guests who were present, who've either, you know, struggled to get an abortion in Texas or an IVF procedure in Alabama. Um, it just reminds you that after maybe concerns about foreign policy, this domestic issue is really going to be a big issue that Republicans are going to be facing um, throughout this election year. It's been a big issue since uh, Roe v. Wade was overturned, and the president talked about that. He gave the history lesson. He said yeah. that, um, you know, clearly those bragging about overturning Roe v. Wade have no clue about the power of women in America. He went on to talk about how reproductive rights were on the ballot, and they won in 2022 and 2023, and says that they will win again uh, in 2024. Listen, we have seen... Uh, pretty dramatic shifts of the political landscape, especially in kind of suburban areas. Um, yeah. And a lot of that happened uh, in the aftermath of Roe v. Wade. And, and so, listen, this is an area when you talk about, um, you know, reaching out to Haley Republicans or, or moderate Republicans or independent voters, it's an issue that has uh, hit. And uh, clearly it remains to be on the forefront. You have seen Republicans kind of move quickly to, to try and reaffirm IVF after the, the Alabama uh, Supreme Court ruling. And so it makes a lot of sense that if this speech is largely intended to, to kind of be a referendum on his presidency and um, a, a list of why he deserves a second term, uh, that protecting yeah. access to abortion would be high on that list. Yeah. Jared, the president didn't really address inflation, but he, he did posit what he wanted to do in terms of the economy, and that is raise taxes, specifically on corporations and the billionaires. We've heard this before in his term. Um, this may not end up being anything more than a proposal, right? But I didn't hear anything else about addressing, gosh, $34 trillion in debt. That was one of the first things Nikki Haley uh, mentioned mm -hmm. in her, you know, suspending her campaign speech. Well, when the president talks about raising taxes, especially in corporations, a uh, minimum tax of 25 percent for billionaires, that is uh, addressing the national debt. He talks yeah. about how much that would cut the deficit by. Now, obviously, uh, you know, spending programs and other things probably are going to work against it. The, the other thing that he mentioned in the State of the Union that... I had not heard before, at least kind of in a specific policy realm, uh, was this idea of a temporary two-year uh, tax deduction or, or tax uh, benefit uh, on mortgages. And oh, again, yeah. it's another way in which President Biden um, has kind of messaged inflation, right? He talks about inflation kind of in a more macro sense about how much people are paying for things. So he'll point to bringing down the, the cost of prescription drugs is fighting inflation. 
that's not really what, what inflation's after. But right, because that's he, more the Fed's purview, right? Sure, but, but he views yeah. exactly. But but you know, when you hear the president and you hear the White House kind of talk about inflation, they they try and pivot a little bit to bringing down everyday costs, junk fees. The president talked yeah. a little bit about that. He's made that a big part of his campaign. Talks about bringing down student loans. All of that in, in the context of bringing down everyday expenses, a t a, a tax deduction. Uh, for mortgages that's temporary for two years, uh, I, I think would kind of fit in that category. Josh, the, the border. The president tried to talk about it, right? He tried to pin things, turn things back around on Republicans, accusing them of failing to pass this most recent border bill. But in, in, do, in talking about it, he pulled out the pin that Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene had given him when he, when he entered the chamber. It had Lake and Riley's name on it. And I, I wonder if in that moment it was actually Congresswoman Green who came away with the win there, because you could see her say to him from across the room as he was speaking, you let them in, meaning the undocumented migrants, one of whom is accused of killing Lake and Riley, the 22-year-old nursing student in Georgia. What did you make of that, that moment? It was pretty intense. Yeah, look, uh, border security, immigration, that, that, that is the biggest vulnerability for President Biden. Um, the fact that he sort of mangled her name, that was sort of fumbling along with uh, trying to respond to Marjorie Taylor Greene in real time during that moment. I don't, yeah. I'm not sure how that played to the average American voter who is concerned about uh, the state of immigration and the fact that there are a lot of uh, illegal immigrants that have just been, been flooded across the, the border and, and, and straining social services in a lot of communities across the country. Uh, you know, look, I, I think that Biden also had a really good moment on immigration where he outlined the bipartisan uh, or at least what was an originally a bipartisan uh, deal uh, that James Langford, the re Republican senator from Oklahoma, helped negotiate yeah. uh, and said all the all the provisions in there that would help uh, deal with border security, hire more judges to handle a lot of these cases. And jo uh, Langford was was seen on television saying, "Hey, it's it's true. Uh, That's true. Biden right. was right." And that was a powerful moment that I think you could. See would be surprised if you see that that footage in a in a campaign ad for the <laughs> yeah. Biden re-election camp for the Biden re-election. So border security is going to be a vulnerability for this White House. The, the Biden only visited the U.S. Mexico border for the second time in his in, entire presidency this month. It's yeah. um, following Trump uh, there, being very reactive to the issue. But it, it's one that uh, you know the Republicans' biggest enemy sometimes themselves, and the fact that they couldn't say yes to a to a deal that was frankly the most uh, conservative immigration bill that had bipartisan support I can remember in my time cover in Congress. Finally, Josh, uh, we heard from Katie Britt, junior senator from Alabama, um, for the Republican response. She talked about um, what we've heard from a lot of Republicans about Biden's failures or their perceived, what they perceive as Biden's failures, having to do with crime, the economy, inflation. But she is from Alabama, and the state did just grapple with a court ruling that said frozen embryos for IVF can be considered children. I wondered did you expect her to maybe talk more about women's reproductive issues, or is that maybe for a later date and she was just sort of setting the stage for, hi, I'm, I'm Katie Britt, and you're going to hear more from me? Yeah, no, I, I look, uh, the IVF ruling from the Alabama Supreme Court has been a political uh, vulnerability for Republicans ever since the ruling came down. And even some of the more pro-life conservative Republican lawmakers have been uh, distancing themselves from yeah. the decision. And, and even even Alabama, the state legislature, changed changed its law to ensure that the, those protections would remain even despite the ruling in, in the state. So she was not going to lean into, um, I think, uh, what was becoming a, a problematic issue for the party, even for even for uh, folks who are pro-life conservatives. But she, you know, look, I think she was she was on the national stage for the first time. Uh, she's on the list, I, 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 as I've heard, uh, to to be Donald Trump's running mate. Right. And I think this was her her moment to see whether she could shine. I thought, you know, she had her, she had her moments. I think these are never easy uh, addresses to give as the response the the person responding to the president. And I, I I can't think of many people who have done done well with it. As she was very dramatic. Uh, she hit all the high points on policy. But I think a lot of people might remember her more dramatic delivery as uh, if they do remember anything from this uh, State of the Union response. And ultimately, look, I think. Um, I, you know, I don't think she, I don't know if the needle got moved in any direction in, insofar as Trump's uh, uh, consideration of her as a, as a vice presidential prospect. Very interesting. Fox News Radio political analyst Josh Kosar, thanks so much for joining us. And thank you, Jared, uh, our Fox News Radio Washington, D.C. correspondent. Um, thanks, gentlemen. Thanks, Jess. Thanks, Jess. Kale and Company, morning 6 till 10. Talk radio.
Radio 1210 WPHT. Hi, I'm Henry Winkler. My eyes are very important to me. My eyes connect me with everything I love. I loved my late father-in-law dearly. He always lit up a room, but his vision dimmed with age. He had age-related macular degeneration, or AMD. And since partnering with Apellus, I've learned there's an advanced form of dry AMD called geographic atrophy, or GA. His struggle with vision loss made me want to help others know about GA's warning signs. For some, colors appear dull or washed out. For others, hazy or blurred vision make it hard to see details, like fine print on price tags. Many have trouble seeing in the dark, making driving at night difficult. GA gets worse over time and cannot be reversed. If you think you have GA, don't wait. Treatments are available. Ask a retina specialist about FDA-approved treatments for GA. And go to gawontwait.com. Fellow Americans, former CIA officer Jason Hansen here. Market instability and soaring debt have put your retirement at risk. For protection, I recommend diversifying into physical gold from Advantage Gold, a five-star rated gold company I've used for years. Their customer service is unmatched. Call 800-741-GOLD now and say Jason Hansen sent you and get a free 2024 gold investing kit. Again, call 800-741-GOLD. Hello, America. It's Ted from Consumer Cellular, the guy in the orange sweater, and this is your wake-up call. If you don't have Consumer Cellular yet, now is the perfect time to switch and save. For a limited time, new customers can get wireless service for as low as $15 a month for your first year. Yep, the same exact nationwide coverage as the leading carriers for $15 a month for an entire year. What are you waiting for? Call 1-888-FREEDOM or visit ConsumerCellular.com and use code RADIO15. See ConsumerCellular.com slash FIRSTYEAR15 for promotional details. Hey, Dawn Stensland here. You've heard me talk about Chapman Windows Doors and Siding, how much I love my new patio doors. You know by now, if I needed windows, doors, or siding, I'd only trust the Chapman team. If you're thinking of updating your current siding or removing your current stucco and replacing it with siding, think Chapman. With the new updated siding choices available, the curb appeal of your home will pop. If you currently have stucco, updating it with James Hardy plank or vinyl siding will truly add value value to your home. If you're looking to sell, you can bet buyers will value updated new siding. And right now would be a good time to get ahead of the ball and plan your siding project for 2024. The certified Chapman installers are the folks you want on the job. If you or someone you know are looking for windows, doors, siding, stucco remediation, shutters, or hardware, give them a call or text them 610-431-8898, chapmanwindowsdoors.com. Chapman, the name I trust. Tell them Dawn sent you. Gerhardt's Luxury for Less sale is going on now, and there's never been a better time to elevate your kitchen with Monogram Appliances. Introducing the new, reimagined, reinvented, and award-winning Monogram range. Discover the redefined world of luxury, one detail at a time, at Gerhardt's Monogram Experience showrooms. And for a limited time, you can receive up to three free Monogram Appliances during Gerhardt's Luxury for Less Red Tag Sales event. Don't miss the Education Show with Dom Giordano every Sunday morning at 5.30. Find out how you can help your child or grandchild succeed. Sponsored by New Hope Academy. Do you have three ex-wives and your current trophy wife wants a life insurance policy three times the size of the policies you had to purchase for your previous mistakes? If so, you need to call Big Lou at Term Provider, 800-700-6898. Big Lou is intimately familiar with your problems, and if you're 50 or 60 years old and in reasonably good health, a $1 million policy should only cost about $100 to $200 per month. Big Lou may have a solution for your previous policies as well. You may even save enough money to lighten the load on your new $1 million policy. Remember, call Big Lou. He's like you, except he's only on number two. Call Term Provider at 800-700-6898. That's 800-700-6898. For a million dollars in term life insurance that you can live with, call Big Lou at 800-700-6898. 800-700-6898. Business owners own a custom-designed building from General Steel. Call 866-95-STEEL. That's 866-957-8335. 
Giving blood is easy. It only takes about an hour, and a single donation can help save up to three lives. Donate now. Call 1-800-RED-CROSS or redcrossblood.org. Be sure to follow Talk Radio 1210 WPHT on the free Odyssey app. Download it now. Look at what's happening from the Fox News Rundown. Good morning. It's Friday, March 8th. This is the Fox News Rundown. Fresh off his State of the Union address, President Biden hits the road today, kicking off a campaign blitz to at least 20 states to discuss his economic agenda and hoping for a post-State of the Union bump to his approval rating. And Hungarian Prime Minister Viktor Orban is expected to visit former President Trump at his Florida home in Mar-a-Lago today. As of now, he's not scheduled to make a stop at the White House in Washington, D.C. I'm Sue Guzman on the Fox News Rundown. This is the Fox News Rundown. Free speech lives here. Talk Radio 1210 WPHD. Your weekend just got a lot better. Sunday mornings with Barry Siegel and friends. The other day I went to a bagel place. A young lady, 75 years old, said, I don't think we are on the same side of the fence. You like Biden? Why? She says to me, I swear, I believe he's going to keep us safe. Is that the kind of voter you're talking about? No, us I'm talking safe. about... I'm, I, she's a I, moron! She's a low-information voter, but she will come to the polls and vote anyway, Correct. and she's a citizen, and her vote counts. Turtles <laughs> vote! I, I, Goldfish I, I, vote! Barry Siegel and friends. Listen Sunday mornings at 10 on Talk Radio 1210 WPHD in the free Odyssey app. Do you owe back taxes or have unfiled tax returns? The IRS won't quit until they get your money. Here's great news. Fresh from those in the no. Major changes have happened at the IRS. If you owe more than $10,000, you may be eligible for a 99% reduction of what you owe. Haven't filed a return for a while? Their happy clients are talking. The IRS was going to levy my bank account, but Guardian was able to prevent that and fix all my IRS issues. Thanks again, Guardian Tax. Need relief from crushing tax debt? The IRS now has special programs. Guardian Tax knows all about them, personal or business. This is the fresh new break you've been hoping for. We aren't the company you call when you need a hug because you're scared of the IRS. Guardian Tax is the company that wins when you need it most. Guardian Tax Service is really great to work with. They really help me out. I'd recommend them highly. Call now for a free confidential consultation. 800-500-3495. 800-500-3495. Deborah Hardin Lung Center and Cleveland Clinic Heart Vascular and Thoracic Institute have formed a powerful alliance. Legends and caregiving New Jersey families, the most sophisticated heart team in America. Innovators in research and patient care who've made life better for thousands of patients, raising the standard for the next generation of care. The alliance between Deborah Hardin Lung Center and Cleveland Clinic Heart Vascular and Thoracic Institute means the highest quality care close to home for you. DemandDeborah.org. My kitchen is the heart of my home. Dawn Stensland here. If your kitchen or bath is outdated, you need Kitchen Magic. They're local, family-owned, and operated since 1979. Schedule your free in-home design consultation today. Kitchen Magic is the full-service remodeler I trust to quickly, beautifully, and affordably transform your kitchen or bath. Right now, they're offering 12 months, no payments, no interest financing, and 10% off your remodel. Just visit kitchenmagic.com. Tell them, Dawn. On sent you. There's nothing quite like the Honda Accord Hybrid and the CRV Hybrid when it comes to exhilarating efficiency. With hybrid technology and thrilling capability, these vehicles deliver an electrifying performance on every drive. But what truly makes these hybrids special is the unwavering determination that inspires everything we do. Redefine your driving experience with Honda, KBB.com's best value brand of 2023. Contact your local Honda dealer today. Based on 2023 brand image awards from Kelly Blue Book, visit kbb.com for more information. Without the ones like you, who work tirelessly to keep things running, everything would suddenly stop. Hospitals, factories, schools, and power plants, they all depend on you. No matter the weather, emergency, or time of day, you're the ones who get it done. At Granger, we're here for you with professional-grade industrial supplies. Count on real-time product availability and fast delivery. Call, click Granger.com or just stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done.
Hey, Joe DeCamera here to tell you why family and company jewelers on Route 70 in Marlton, New Jersey is South Jersey's diamond destination and your trusted jeweler for quality, service, and price. You can choose from the largest selection of engagement rings in the area, or you can have their master jewelers create a custom one-of-a-kind ring just for your special day. Visit their showroom or shop online at FamilyJewelers.com. That's FamilyJewelers.com, Family and Company Jewelers, South Jersey's diamond destination. If you want jazz music, go to New Orleans. Bagels has to be New York. Skiing, Colorado, every time. And for psychics, think California Psychics. When you want the best, some places are better than others. That's why at CaliforniaPsychics.com, home of free spirits, big dreams, and open minds, we know better than anyone what makes a good psychic. In fact, 98% of the psychics who apply to work with us don't make the grade. We connect you with the very best, so we can guarantee if your reading isn't life-changing, it's free. Download the app or connect with us at CaliforniaPsychics.com. Right now, new customers receive 20 minutes for just $20. So whatever direction you want to take your life, you know where to start. Experience the joy of certainty. California Psychics. Calling on North Wales to follow 1210 WPHT on the free Odyssey app. Download it now. From Fox Business. I'm Maria Bartiromo, and this is the Fox Business Report. Another record-setting day on Wall Street Thursday. All the indices were up. The S&P 500 gained almost 53 to close at more than 5,157, its 16th record high of the year. The Nasdaq gained 242, the Dow up more than 130. Much of the rally fueled by optimism over potential federal rate cuts. Jay Powell testifying before the Senate Banking Committee saying he wants more evidence that inflation is slowing before cutting rates. Adding, though, that he's not far from having the confidence needed to cut rates. Fox Business's Jerry Willis. NVIDIA stock continues to rise. Shares of the AI leader now worth more than $900 each. They were less than 500 bucks at the start of the year. Electric truck maker Rivian says it's pausing construction of a $5 billion manufacturing plant in Georgia. And later this morning, we get the monthly jobs report for February. That's your Fox Business Report. I'm Kevin Uretsky. Invested in you. This is the Fox News Rundown. Rundown. The 96th Academy Awards ceremony Sunday night, the number one box office movie last year, Barbie, is one of the 10 Best Picture nominees. Hey, Barbie. Can I come to your house tonight? Sure. I don't have anything big planned, just a giant blowout party with all the Barbies and plant choreography and a bespoke song. You should stop by. Ryan Gosling's up for Best Actor as Ken and tells Fox after making the movie. And now Kenergy is something you can't help but see. It came out on the same day as Oppenheimer about the development of the atomic bomb. Are we saying there's a chance that when we push that button, we destroy the world? Chances are near zero. Near zero. What do you want from theory alone? Zero would be nice. Director Christopher Nolan tells Fox... I know of no story as dramatic as, as the real-life tale of Oppenheimer. His involvement with the Manhattan Project in this, this crazy, desperate race against the Nazis to harness the power of the atom for the first time, uh, and where that led and how that defined the world we live in. No one's expected to win Best Director. Oppenheimer's expected to win Best Picture. I mean, Oppenheimer seems to be the bomb, right? Sorry for the pun. <laughs> John Jurgensen's a reporter on the Style News Desk at the Wall Street Journal. It's the rare movie that, you know, dominated the box office and also, you know, had all the critics swooning and, you know, kind of also falls into that historical epic that Oscar voters love so much. So it does seem pretty much a lock for the big one, but you never know. Yeah. Um, look, a lot of great performances. Killian Murphy, obviously, it, it, it is the, the odds on favor to be best actor, Robert Downey Jr., uh, best Supporting Actor, and just a, a lot of stars, a lot of great performances in there, and, and just, again, a big story, a big spectacle. Let's go through the big awards, and you can talk about whatever you want. You can say what you think will win, what you think should win, whatever. Best Picture, we've pretty much covered. Um, director, I guess Chris Nolan for Oppenheimer. Yeah, it seems like it's his year. Um, he has been nominated before in this category for Dunkirk, and he's been nominated for other Oscars as well, but this he's never won. 
you know, he's always seemed like a bit of an outsider sometimes when you think about the Oscar establishment, but it does seem like this is the one it's going to be for him. You know, it seems to have this Venn diagram of quality and history and just sort of technical achievement he's been able to marshal. And, and as you said, you know, talk about sort of like a small army of amazing stars in, in this in this picture as well. Yeah, so um, best picture, best director, uh, Killian Murphy's going to win, I suppose. Has Robert Downey Jr. ever won an Oscar for acting? But it does seem like, you know, the, the consummate Hollywood guy seems to be the, the one who's going to you know, take the take the trophy this year. Um, of the acting awards, there does seem to be a bit of a horse race if you buy into the um, pundits' predictions uh, for Best Actress between Emma Stone uh, and Lily Gladstone for Killers of the Flower Moon. I mean, they've been sort of neck and neck all season for award season, and those two really seem like the ones that everyone's, like, I am the closest. Um, I mean, both... Like wildly different films, right? And yeah, poor. I didn't mention uh, poor, 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 poor things, right? Sort of, a, it's sort of a Frankenstein story. Yeah, it's like a Frankenstein meets Barbie type story, and of course, Killers of the Flower Moon is you know about this super heavy chapter in American history, and Lily Gladstone, you know, would be the first uh, Indigenous woman to to win this award itself. So that that also adds some some gravity to it. So it's kind of going to be, I, I guess, it seems like what what Oscar voters seem like they want to reward. I mean, Emma Stone has seems like she's building this kind of career, um, and has has you know been in the Oscar race before too. So that could be part of it, you know. Who knows though? It's like think about Annette Benning, uh, you know, Hollywood. She was nominated for the for the biopic Naya, like you know, a consummate Hollywood um, um, legend there. So you never know if things like that could be like a spoiler type thing. But um, it does seem like Lily Gladstone and and Emma are the ones to watch. But I I'm gonna guess that that Lily's gonna take it home. She won the Screen Actors Guild Award, and um, that seems to be a good indicator since the you know actors have such a huge uh, emphasis on the voting here. I, I think it's going to be Lily. Yeah, we talk about precursor awards where essentially the same voting bodies are, you know, like the Acting Awards, the Directors Guild Awards, the whatever awards. Uh, it, it would make sense. It would follow that those same people would win, uh, the same winners would win at the Oscars too. Uh, screenplay awards, anything else we should go through? You look at, like, the supporting roles for actors – you know, we mentioned Robert Downey Jr. likely a lot. I mean, I think the other one, of course, uh, that does seem like a lot, but I think it will be, you know, one people are going to really support is uh, Divine Joy Randolph for the holdovers. I mean, she's just been sort of on fire throughout the award season, too. And, you know, the holdovers is one of those Oscar movies that, that I think voters really like. It's kind of like a throwback film and, you know, a feel-good film. And uh, raises the scene if, 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 you know, Paul Giamatti becomes the dark horse to win over Killian Murphy or something like that would be a surprise. But Divine Joy Randolph does seem like the one who's going to at least, uh, you know, from a percentage standpoint, it seems to be that she's going to be the one to represent that film on the stage on Sunday. Yeah, and I didn't not mention her out of disrespect. I think I just it slipped my mind because it was it seems like such a foregone conclusion that I that I that, yeah. I, <laughs> uh, that, I, that I that I skipped over it. Um, Let's talk about the business a little, since you write about the business yeah. a little. Um, are we in sort of a reset time? Uh, I, I, the Oscars are a time to celebrate the movies, but looking past that, uh, production was set down, shut down for six months by the writer's strike and the actor's strikes. Where are we with that? Have movies been held back a while while production cats up? Is everything back to speed? Um, yeah, I mean, I think it's the, the Oscars are this great lens. Um, you know, not only the celebrity and glitz uh, get us watching, but it offers a moment of uh, sort of retrospect, um, looking at the business, you know, what happened the year before and what's going to happen ahead. I think the whole Barbenheimer phenomenon, which was, you know, massive and really sort of a great thing to celebrate, also kind of hides the fact that things are in kind of scary right now in Hollywood. You, know, you mentioned the actor strike, uh, the writer strike that shut down the business for you know much of the year last year. That essentially kind of emptied the pipeline, um, or at least pushed things back in the pipeline. There's a real deficit of big films coming. Um, but more than that, it's like this kind of moment of like, what are we doing in Hollywood? You know, spy, the superhero genre is spiraling. Uh, it remains to be seen if that can kind of like climb back up to the, the heights it once had. Um, and also just because of the greater nervousness in the business you know these these major entertainment conglomerates are very worried about where their money is going to be coming from as their you know streaming platforms uh stumble and sputter um and so that has put a lot of pressure on budgets um across the board so it's, it's harder to get things green lit and things have to be sort of like a super package to get a green light from studios in a way that you know maybe a few years ago they they 
you wouldn't have. And, you know, this is happening in the TV part and also in, in the film part as well, too. So, um, you know, I think people are very concerned about what the year is going to hold. Um, and it, it's easy to kind of hold on to these hits, like, you know, the performance of the second Dune that just came out and did quite well. Um, but you look down the calendar and what else is coming out this year, and um, it doesn't necessarily bode that well for, uh, I guess, Hollywood's complete bottom line. Yeah, and there have been, uh, maybe not bomb bombs, but certainly the Marvel movies, the, the bloom is off the rose there. Those movies, for a lot of people, are now feeling like homework instead of, you know, a fun thing to go do at the movies every six months or a year, whenever they come out. Um, some of the Disney movies have not done as well as they would have liked recently and i wonder if um like you said studios including well maybe th maybe there's an opportunity for an apple or netflix or an amazon to jump in more but are the other studios the legacy studios going to be holding on to their wallets a little bit until things shake out yeah i think that's the case and in the meantime they're still you know hanging their hats on the power of the franchise and and you know i that, that's that's been sort of a constant um, a constant conversation in, in and around the business for so long, and it doesn't need to be going anywhere. I mean, look down the line this year, you know, are, are, is Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes going to get people excited? You know, another Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, is another Godzilla movie going to get people excited? Um, on one hand, you know, Barbenheimer, or at least Barbie, you know, showed the power IP. Like, you could do something really creative with it, and you could do something that turns into, you know, the biggest movie in the world. But that's doesn't mean that you know every uh every ip movie that comes down the road is going to be like that in any case it actually you know it's usually the opposite um the formula the formula is is exposed and the formula tends to wear thin too so um i mean on on the plus side it, you know i feel like it was a good year for films i mean barbenheimer kind of dominates the conversation but if you run down the list of uh, best picture nominees you know it, it's a pretty solid list um, even though, you know, a lot of regular moviegoers probably haven't seen these films. Right. Um, you know, when you get down to things like The Zone of Interest and uh, American Fiction and things like that. The, the reality is, though, like on, on a creative level, it's a strong showing for the Best Picture nominee. And at least that part of it um, gives people a reason to celebrate. And if Barbie makes, you know, younger people tune in, then, then all the better. Yeah. Um, I wonder if, so it's going to the movies. It's not going anywhere necessarily, but just a, it, it'll just make that aspect of it will make less money for everyone. It'll be there for real fans of going to the movies, people who want to see something like Anatomy of a Fall or The Zone of Interest or Past Lives at a movie theater. But otherwise, I wonder if those medium-sized grown-up movies really just find their audiences on streaming now. Yeah, and, uh, you know, depending where you sit, you know, literally where you sit, whether you want to sit in the, in the theater or you want to sit at home, I mean, it puts consumers in the driver's seat. Like, that gives consumers the ultimate control. So um, I think I think it's an interesting case when you look at this, this crop of, um, you know, if you always take the best picture category as, like, a Petri dish of, like, you know, a, or a, I guess a cross-section of, of Hollywood right now, and you've got the mega, mega um, theatrical blockbusters, like, Barbie and and Oppenheimer, um, and then you have the ones down the list that people probably saw in their living rooms too. And I, I think that that's sort of the you know a healthy a healthy way to think about it from the consumer point of view. But it does not help the, the studios and the entertainment um, major entertainment companies trying to figure out how to make a buck out of this because not only are the theatrical films um, hard to bet on. Uh, their streaming platforms, unless, you know, other than Netflix, are, are struggling in a lot of ways, too. And they're also trying to figure out, you know, what's working on the streaming platform, too. So, I mean, it's funny. It's like, it, it's, you know, generally, anytime you talk about this this kind of question, it's glass half full, glass half empty. And, and depending on which part of the business you're, you know, looking at it from uh, determines the answer to your question. Um, but... Uh, you know, there's a lot of movies out there and there's a lot of ways to watch them. It's just a matter of making stuff that, you know, the regular movie viewers are going to care enough to click on or buy that ticket for. Yeah, and I've got, look, I've got a lot of movies from last year that I didn't get around to that I might not have ever gotten around to, but now I can, um, it, you know, however I want to do it. Uh, John Jurgensen, reporter on the Style News Desk at the Wall Street Journal. John, thanks. My pleasure. Thanks so much. Rich Cioli, afternoons 3 to 7, Talk Radio 1210 WPHT.
Hi, I'm Henry Winkler. My eyes are very important to me. My eyes connect me with everything I love. I loved my late father-in-law dearly. He always lit up a room, but his vision dimmed with age. He had age-related macular degeneration, or AMD. And since partnering with Apellus, I've learned there's an advanced form of dry AMD called geographic atrophy, or GA. His struggle with vision loss made me want to help others know about GA's warning signs. For some, colors appear dull or washed out. For others, hazy or blurred vision make it hard to see details, like fine print on price tags. Many have trouble seeing in the dark, making driving at night difficult. GA gets worse over time and cannot be reversed. If you think you have GA, don't wait. Treatments are available. Ask a retina specialist about FDA-approved treatments for GA. And go to gawontwait.com. At Consumer Cellular, you get the same exact coverage as the largest carriers, but for up to half the cost. Same thing, up to half the cost. Up to half the cost for the same thing. 50% the money for 100% the same thing. I hope I'm making myself clear. Consumer Cellular. When freedom calls, we're here to answer. Call us at 1-888-FREEDOM. Half the cost savings based on cost of Consumer Cellular single-line 5 gigabyte data plan with unlimited talk and text compared to lowest cost single-line postpaid unlimited talk text and data plan offered by T-Mobile and Verizon in May 2023. The Omaha Steaks semi-annual sale is here. Get 50% off site-wide and save on mouth-watering favorites today. Go to omahasteaks.com and shop the semi-annual sale where you can load up on all the delicious flavor you crave at half the price. And when you use promo code SIZZLE at checkout, you'll get an extra $30 off your order. Save big on delicious, tender, juicy steaks, big, beefy burgers, and so much more. That's omahasteaks.com, promo code SIZZLE at checkout. Minimum purchase may apply. Omaha Steaks, America's original butcher. Don't miss Good News in Real Estate with Deanne Katsaros and Mark Cumberland, Saturdays at 1 p.m. Find out all you need to know about home buying and selling. Considering a career in real estate? Visit PhiladelphiaRealEstateClasses.com. Good News in Real Estate, Saturdays 1 p.m. on WPHT. A message from McCausland Lock Service. Stop what you're doing right now and look at your car key. Does it look like it's been chewed on by a small woodland creature used for batting practice by an entire baseball team or left in the middle of 95? Oh, and let me guess, it's the only one you have head to mccausland lock service get a brand new key fob for up to half the price a dealer would charge call today most cars don't even require an appointment and you'll be out the door in under 30 minutes mccausland lock service 610 430 1500 just one question can save a child's life before your child visits a friend ask if there's an unlocked gun in the house with an average of 13 children dying from guns every day guns are now the leading cause of death among children Ask the question and do your part to keep children safe. To help get the conversation going, 59 regional hospitals united to offer life-saving tips. Learn more by visiting hospitalstogether.com. That's hospitalstogether.com. Hey, this is Mike Quick. If you're in the restaurant, hospitality, or casino business and your point of sale system isn't helping you sell more, earn more, or work less, you need to talk to my friends at PDQ Signature Systems. PDQ has everything you need for success. PDQ POS is the fastest, easiest, and most reliable POS system available. Whether you have a single location restaurant or thousands of locations, Joe Flynn and his team will create a custom game plan that will help your business succeed. Visit PDQPOS.com. Don't miss the Labor and Energy Show with J. Doc and Krause, brought to you by Advocacy United, this Saturday night at 6. Find out about the important issues that will affect you. The Labor and Energy Show, Saturday night at 6, on Talk Radio 1210, WPHT. News. I'm Sue Guzman. President Biden delivering his third State of the Union address last night that some say sounded more like a campaign speech. The president drawing a sharp contrast with his predecessor. 15 million new jobs in just three years. A record. A record. <laughs> Unemployment. At 50 year lows. Prior to the speech, former President Trump weighed in on a video posted to X. Over the past three years, Biden has actively aided and abetted the importation of millions and millions of illegal alien migrants and resettle them into your community. Disgraced former New York Congressman George Santos attended last night's State of the Union address where he announced plans to run for the House again, but only in a different district. America's listening to Fox News. is the 
Fox News Rundown. Now a look at sports. Anthony Edwards tied a season high with 44 points. Minnesota took over first place in the NBA's Western Conference by downing Indiana 113-111. Dallas over Miami 114-108. Luka Doncic had a triple-double. The NBA announced the 2027 All-Star Game would be held in Phoenix. The Boston Red Sox have agreed to a six-year $55 million contract with pitcher Brian Bello. Shane Lowry leads heading to today's second round of the Arnold Palmer Invitational at Bay Hill in Orlando. The NHL trade deadline line is 3 p.m. Eastern time and the Bears come to contract terms with quarterback Jalen Johnson. That's sports on the Fox News Rundown. I'm Bob Mortali, Fox News. Now an update from Outkick's Hot Mike. Can someone tell me the two different the United States of America we live in here where Lake and Riley being murdered by an illegal immigrant is a good thing? Or that illegal immigrants crossing our border by the thousands and taking up federal and state resources that's governed by and, and funded by taxpayer dollars? How any of that is a good thing for all of America, United States of America, not red states, not blue states. I don't know why we can't come to an agreement on that being a problem for everyone. Clay says, I am all about diversity of thought and not diversity in general. I agree with that. So much so that where Clay brings up, not one person at ESPN has come out and said they're going to vote for Donald Trump. I don't know a single person at ESPN that says they're voting for Joe Biden. Just like I don't know a single employed outkick that's publicly said they're going to vote for Joe Biden. But guess what? I'm okay with either one of those things happening. I'm Chad Withrow with Hot Mike with Hutton and Withrow on the Fox News Rundown. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. Last year, over three million people called Morgan & Morgan in their time of need. And with over a million of those calls coming from previous clients, friends, and family. My name is Jeannie. I was sitting in traffic and I was hit twice from behind by two different cars. My first thought was Morgan & Morgan. I was very surprised at how easy it was. I did not have to go into the office. I did everything by text. They needed documents, I could sign them, I could upload them, I could send them right back with ease. Call Morgan & Morgan, it's easier than you think. Thank you for trusting us. We've become the largest injury firm in the world because we've won a lot. The word is out, size matters, reputation matters. We're America's largest injury law firm for a reason. With over 900 dedicated attorneys and climbing, we're ready wherever you are, whatever you need. The choice is easy, we're just a phone call away injured visit for the people.com for an office near you this is a bloomberg money minute boeing is looking to make safety and quality pay company workers now will see 60 percent of the annual score used to calculate bonuses based on safety and quality metrics until now three quarters of that score was based on financial metrics operational items accounted for just 25 percent and safety and quality were just part of that boeing made those changes this week after the head of the national transportation safety board accused the company of not cooperating in regulators' investigation of how a door panel flew off an Alaska Air jet in mid-flight in January. There could be a vote on Capitol Hill next week to force TikTok's Chinese parent company to sell the app or face a U.S. ban. The bill won approval in committee unanimously. It would block service providers and app stores from offering TikTok unless its owner ByteDance sells it within six months. On Wall Street, S&P futures are up five, NASDAQ futures down two, Dow futures down 27. Joan Doniger, Bloomberg Radio. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential, but finding those people can be a major hassle, unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. And right now you can try it for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash free. With ZipRecruiter, one click sends your job to hundreds of top job sites. But more than that, ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies the candidates with the skills you need, sends you a list of great matches to review, then actively invites them to apply for your job. And the results speak for themselves. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. That's right, the first day. Now you can focus on your business and let ZipRecruiter do the work finding the best people for you. See for yourself. Experience the ease, efficiency, and power of ZipRecruiter for free. Just go to ZipRecruiter.com slash free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. ZipRecruiter.com slash free. For the ones who work hard to ensure their crew can always go the extra mile. And the ones who get in early so everyone can go home on time. 
There's Granger, offering professional grade supplies backed by product experts so you can quickly and easily find what you need. Plus, you can count on access to a committed team ready to go the extra mile for you. Call, clickgranger.com, or just stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done. There's a little something for everyone when it comes to theme nights at Citizens Bank Park. Enjoy ticket discounts, exclusive giveaways, and more. Visit phillies.com slash theme nights to view the 2024 schedule and purchase tickets today. Youngsters are sure to smile on Sunday, April 14th when the Phils host the Pirates at 135 for Cavity Buster's Kids Opening Day. And kids 14 and under receive a sleeveless hoodie. Order tickets now at phillies.com. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential. But finding those people can be a major hassle. Unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. And right now you can try it for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. With ZipRecruiter, one click sends your job to hundreds of top job sites. But more than that, ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies the candidates with the skills you need, sends you a list of great matches to review, then actively invites them to apply for your job. And the results speak for themselves. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. That's right, the first day. Now you can focus on your business and let ZipRecruiter do the work finding the best people for you. See for yourself. Experience the ease, efficiency, and power of ZipRecruiter for free. Just go to ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. Do you have three ex-wives and your current trophy wife wants a life insurance policy three times the size of the policies you had to purchase for your previous mistakes? If so, you need to call Big Lou at Term Provider, 800-700-6898. Big Lou is intimately familiar with your problems, and if you're 50 or 60 years old and in reasonably good health, a $1 million policy should only cost about $100 to $200 per month. Big Lou may have a solution for your previous policies as well. You may even save enough money to lighten the load on your new $1 million policy. Remember, call Big Lou. He's like you, except Except he's only on number two. Call Term Provider at 800 700 6898. That's 800 700 6898 for a million dollars in term life insurance that you can live with. Call Big Lou at 800 700 6898. 800 700 6898. Millions of Americans are losing their medical assistance or Medicaid coverage. If this affects you, Independence Blue Cross can help. You may be eligible to enroll in a health plan for as little as zero dollars a month. With Independence Blue Cross, you get the largest largest provider network in the area, including most Keystone First doctors and hospitals. We also offer free 24-7 telemedicine, coverage for hospital stays and prescriptions. See if you qualify for $0 health insurance and enroll today. Call Independence Blue Cross at 1-844-464-2583 or visit ibx.com slash stay covered. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential, but finding those people can be a major hassle unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies candidates with the right skills, sends you great matches, then you can easily invite them to apply. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. See for yourself. Go to ZipRecruiter.com slash free to try ZipRecruiter for free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. Hi, I'm Martha Stewart. Every year, more than four million pets enter shelters here in the United States. My friends at American Humane have been helping animals since 1877. The goal is to ensure that pets have a safe shelter, especially during natural disasters. Adopting a shelter pet allows shelters to help more animals awaiting care. Please consider adopting today and take some time to learn more about American Humane's other work at AmericanHumane.org. WPHT, WPHT, HD, WOGL, HD3, Philadelphia. Always live on the free Odyssey app. From the Sherry Hill Volvo Studios, where relationships matter. Live and local from Philadelphia. Free speech lives here. 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 It's Kale and Company on Talk Radio 1210 WPHT. And away we go. Live on this Friday, March 8th. It is indeed Kale and Company right here on Talk Radio 1210 
WPHT. Always live on the free Odyssey app. And, of course, streaming live for your video viewing pleasure on YouTube. As we head until 10 o'clock this morning, 855-839-1210. The phone number on social media at 1210WPHT. I am at Nick Kale. Don Stenzelin with the news. Greg Stocker, the chairman of the board. Phil Omquist, Anthony Dorenzo, our associate producers. Fresh off of a Thursday night State of the Union address that did not start on time. <laughs> and we have lots of takeaways and observations. Don, good morning. How are you? Good morning. Happy Friday. Happy Friday to you as well, Gregory. Do you mean the Joe Biden campaign speech of 2024? <laughs> what about the equal time? I think Donald Trump should get two hours of free uh, TV to, <laughs> to like counterbalance that, because that's what that was last night. It was a campaign speech. That's exactly yep. right. Uh, we have so many things to delve into with that speech. That'll probably take up the entirety of the first hour, but there are so many things to get into from what was said to what was mispronounced to what was omitted to reactions to people hooting and hollering. Nancy's mad at Joe, all kinds of stuff to get to this morning on that front. And then we'll also have some fun as well. We're also going to give you what Trump was saying on Truth Social. And um, also, I think it's safe to say now that it's proof that Joe is not going to be replaced by the Democrats. Do you think? Just based on the, <laughs> the, think? The, the anger and the fire he had in his bones last night. One day you guys will listen to me. Not you, Don, because I know you didn't think it. But one day I will. I've the people like on three times on this radio station will listen to me. I was like, yeah. oh, he's not going to make it to. He's going to be replaced. He's going to be replaced. Last last night was a campaign speech. Yeah, he was more popular than Elvis with the Democrats last night. Oh, uh -huh. <laughs> you must be kidding me. We've so, one day you'll listen to me. One yeah. day. Sorry, I've gone from saying he would be the guy to he would not be to back being of the belief he will be the guy and now I can confirm in my gut 100%. Do you think? But I reserve the right to change it later in like June or something if something goes weird at the convention. Uh, also this morning where do you hear? We've seen many staggering COVID stories this one might take the cake. This is not from the Babylon Bee. This is a true story on COVID and we will get to that later this morning before the cut sheet also teens revolting with the TikTok ban, they've had enough. We found something that Gen Z cares about. Yeah, it's the first time Gen Z's <laughs> ever been pissed off about anything in their life. It's unbelievable. Oh, God. We, we want to call. <laughs> we want to call. We, we reject this. Yep. Shut up. <laughs> we'll get to that. We've got the cut sheet. Also, election fraud and Democrats claiming that the election was rigged. What election are we talking about and which Democrat has said that? And will that Democrat be uh, labeled an insurrectionist and an election denier? Uh, stick around. You're going to have to find out. we got a lot to get to, though. So let's get to it right out of the gate here. 604, round number one of the news, the great Dawn Stenzler. And good morning this Friday morning. If you like sunshine, you're going to like this Friday. 41 degrees forecast in a moment. Philadelphia police on high alert this morning, still searching for three suspects who opened fire on that group of students on a bus stop, learning more about the eight students shot, one of them in critical condition. And we also know that for those students at uh, Northeast High School, they are still learning virtual. They've been learning virtual through the week after that shooting. But we also know that grief counselors and mental health counselors are at the school, either offering help on on Zoom, or if people and their families want to come into the school to get some counseling. So that's what's going on in the Northeast there. But um, we know that one member of the school's chess team identified as Brandon Lopez. He's the 16-year-old, one of the 16-year-olds. He was awake and talking, his family speaking out, his mom was speaking out on this. So we have one student still in very critical condition. Uh, there's one student in particular who was shot multiple times who apparently was the intended target. The other piece of this, as we think about what's going on, is Philadelphia City Council city leaders say they need more help. We also have you know, Philadelphia City Council speaking out about that. We have New York tapping the National Guard to combat crime on their subways. 
But now we're learning that Mayor Sherelle Parker, who said that she would consider that during her campaign, she is not tapping into the National Guard here. So a different plan as we think about SEPTA, because, of course, Philadelphia school children, high school children rely on SEPTA. There are no separate yellow school buses, electric or otherwise, to transport Philadelphia school children to their high school. They rely on SEPTA. And so you have this cross as far as SEPTA shootings and then school shootings and, and 11 children shot this week. 11 school, you know, school age children shot this week in Philadelphia. But we're not going to see the National Guard as we're seeing in New York. We also know more about that vehicle that we've talked about, that Subaru. Remember, they were looking for the Subaru yesterday. We found out that they had found that Subaru But unfortunately, they're also saying that it was a stolen vehicle. And not just that, they had the car's plates had been replaced with illegal paper license tags. (laughs) I I always love that approach, the paper tag. (laughs) And if you remember that, that was what kind of stumped or slowed down investigators in the shooting of the Roxborough High School after the scrimmage there the football yeah, the scrimmage there the case right 14 year old nicholas elizaldi was shot and killed and and others a group of students once again was shot in that one he was an innocent victim but what we have in common here in high profile crimes stolen vehicle paper tags <laughs> what a time to be alive <laughs> remember and remember that in philadelphia the law still stands philadelphia police are not allowed to pull you over if you have a paper tag or no tag or whatever, yeah, we just we just, give, we just give them a pass. <laughs> it's okay. So you're saying the criminals, the thugs, found a loophole in the law. Yeah. So they can get away with whatever they want to because cops can't pull them over. That's we right. Have paper tags. You don't need a, you don't need a law degree <laughs> to figure that one out, do you? Speaking of being pulled over by law enforcement, we want to update you on Philadelphia's top LGBTQ official, who is also the first and highest level trans official uh, in the city of Philadelphia, and that individual's husband speaking out uh, yesterday, demanding an apology from the individual, the Pennsylvania State Police Trooper, who pulled them over. They've now announced their plans to file a lawsuit following that heated confrontation during a traffic stop that happened along the Vine Street Expressway last weekend that ended in the couple's arrest. And the state trooper is still on restricted duty, which is per standard operating procedure. But now, Selena Morrison McLean, as well as McLean's husband, Darius McLean, recounted their harrowing experience during the... The stop, the traffic stop, um, part of which Morrison McLean captured in a 90-second cell video, which we played part of that, shared on social media. This has now gone viral and raising a lot of questions about the episode, raising a lot of questions about the manner of the, the arrest. They are saying that they were pulled over because they're black. Right. So not only do we have the criminal, the alleged criminal investigation that's going on while this guy is temporarily on the sidelines, they've already decided to go the civil route to seek uh, monetary damages, I'm assuming? Oh, yeah. Mm. And we I, don't have all the numbers because yeah. they're, uh, you know, traumatized and they're traumatized. working with their lawyer. Right. Dawn, they're traumatized. Well, if I was Darius, I'd be traumatized, too, for when I took her out on a date for the first time stop. and realized that she stop, had stop, a... Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> no, no. Uh, I have more information to tell you about. <laughs> yeah, it's... More information to tell you about on the story. <clears throat> so, remember yesterday we spoke about the fact that... Bob Casey, Senator Bob Casey, who got the shout out at the State of the Union last night. Bobby Casey. Bobby, oh yeah, Bobby Casey. Bobby Casey. Who's famous father, beloved. And uh, so uh, we know that Bob Casey, Senator Bob Casey and Senator John Fetterman, we talked about this. Remember how they were, well, at least Casey was pulling back on that $1 million in kind of pork money that they were giving to a Philadelphia-based William Way Community Center. Remember that? Yep. And then we heard we talked about that yesterday that in 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 a time when community centers are not re- open being opened in Philadelphia and so on and so forth, this community center which serves the LGBTQ plus 
community receiving the million dollars and then they were pulling back on that once it was exposed. We talked about that. Well, I just wanted to point out to you that McLean is the chief operating officer of the Philadelphia-based William Way Community Center. Just wanted to weave that in there. Okay. So the, the community center, you know, the couple that was pulled over is involved in the community center hmm. that is a uh, darling hmm. of Democrats as well as our senators Fetterman and Casey who just, out of all the community centers, wanted to give this community center a million dollars. Interesting. Just, I just wanted to weave some things yeah, in Yeah, yeah. Good weaving. <laughs> so we get, we get a lot, I'm weaving. There we go. So we have that going on. We don't have word from, as far as the state, the Pennsylvania State Trooper, we've talked about him. He's still on desk duty, so-called. That's standard. But we're not hearing if D.A. Larry Krasner has decided on the charges against the couple who's now saying they're planning a civil lawsuit and they're very traumatized by the traffic stop. No, we told you this state trooper hit the uh, the trifecta, did he not? I know. Yes. And, and we just want to point out that among the violations that the, the car that he was pulling over because they were following each other, darkened windows, which mm-hmm. are illegal. They were darkened to the point. So, you know, many in the law enforcement community just pointing out, and in the community at large just saying, there's no way that you could have known right. the, the general appearance of the individual being Correct. pulled over because the windows were so darkened. Yeah. I, I, I mean, you, there's so many people, and I know tinted windows were kind of like a thing in the 90s, but you still see many vehicles to this day. And there was like a there was like a rule for a while and a law where you could have like a certain degree of tint on the front windows versus the back. Nowadays, you just, nobody gets pulled over for it. So everybody's got everything blacked out almost completely around. You can't see anything in there. You can't even really see through the front windshield, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, well put. Uh, we also, I know Nick Hale's going to talk a lot about President Joe Biden delivering the State of the Union before a joint session of Congress last night at eh, 920-ish. Oh uh, tr- and, uh, and Trump's live analysis of the speech on Truth Social. Katie Britt responding from her kitchen as the Republican Oof. response. Oof. That was going on. Oof. So I'll just headline that for you. But something bright other than the sunshine that we should talk about today, Boathouse Row. I don't know if you saw that Boathouse Row, and I said, I'd headlined this yesterday to say Boathouse Row relit, but finally, we it's about a year later, we see Boathouse Row, the lights, there was a ceremony last night about two hours before the State of the Union address, mm-hmm. and Boathouse Row is now all lit up again with these new lights about cost about two point three million dollars, more than eight hundred grand of that because the individual, you know, the individual owners, the community centers there, they they pitched in and there were fundraisers to help with this lighting project. And so it's beautiful. But what's important about this relighting with these six thousand four hundred programmable LED lights illuminating these nineteenth century houses, which are iconic in mm-hmm. Philadelphia. This is sure. something that we we love to see. But I'll point out to you, not only are they programmable, but now let's say you have a a charity and you want to hold your charity event there or your wedding or what have you. You can rent rent out the lighting, the lighting for your own messaging and privately pay for a message. Oh, wow. So that's a pretty cool idea. I'm going to I'm going to host a gathering on November 4th and I'm going to rent out the lights and it's just going to say, let's go, Brandon. What if we start a GoFundMe? And we hey, do uh, listen to twelve ten WPHC since there won't be any advertising dollars spent on this <laughs> for this radio station. What if we do that? No, yeah. all right, sounds I, like a plan, right? Do we know the cost on? And I know we have to get to the, the big take. I will look that up as Nick Hale is giving us his okay. his big take. I think we can do this. I think we should put some money together and yeah, advertise the radio station. Let's do it. Let's do it. Very cool. All right. By the way, uh, Mayor Frank L. Rizzo back in the 70s was the first one working on the idea to come up with lighting up Boathouse Row. Mm. You're a creep. (laughs) 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 Well, your Friday forecast, you're going to love it. We're uh, 58 degrees, sunny skies. Enjoy it today because the rain returns tomorrow. Gale and Company News Live. All right, Don. thank you very much. 615 Friday, big take time. The big take. On Kale and Company. 
And it's brought to you by Tommy D's Home Improvement Center. For the fourth time, Joe Biden, the 46th president of the United States of America, took to the podium to address the nation and inform all of us where the union stands as he seeks re-election. According to my scientific Twitter poll yesterday, 77% of you said you would not watch the State of the Union address, so I'm here to recap all of it for you. Would he talk about democracy? Dictator for a day, the 2020 election, January 6th, insurrections. Would he take a more humble approach? Would he be low-key? Would he try to unite a divided America? Would he go the route of abortion, racism? Would he show vigor? Would he address the southern border? Would he mention the name of Lakin Riley? Groceries, gas, home ownership, Russia, Ukraine, a ceasefire in the Middle East, winning back the Hispanic voter, appeasing the black voter, Was the whole room on pins and needles all night? Would Joe be energetic? Was he smooth and polished? Did he stumble? Did he randomly shout? In typical Biden fashion, he was late, making all of us stay up late, past our bedtime, his included. And also, what would Donald Trump say on Truth Social? And then the festivities began. In came Dr. Jill, Blinken, Yellen, Cardona, Mayor Pete, Garland, And that fraud Mayorkas smiling, (laughs) the audacity of that guy. Joe Biden made his entrance at 9.16 p.m. Eastern Time. Schumer and Jeffries right behind him. Marjorie Taylor Greene dressed for the festivities like usual, filming with her iPhone, trying to get Biden's attention with the Lake and Riley say her name pin. But the king clown, the big guy, went into forgetful mode and didn't recognize or acknowledge Marjorie Taylor Greene. Then it began. Quote, if I was smart, I'd go home now. His first words uttered. Yes, please do, as America says. Joe opens up with freedom and democracy under assault. Talking about the history of the union. And this is no ordinary moment. Everything is under assault. Joe comes out with a lot of juice. Putin and Russia are on the march. Biden tells us Putin won't stop with Ukraine. We've literally heard this exact speech two or three times in a row. Kamala keeps standing and clapping as if she can't sit still for four seconds. And here was Joe Biden opening his speech on one of his favorite buzzwords, one of the words the left loves to hammer home, democracy. Listen and watch. My fellow Americans, in January 1941, Franklin Roosevelt came to this chamber to speak to the nation, and he said, I address you at a moment unprecedented in the history of the Union. Hitler was on the march. War was raging in Europe. President Roosevelt's purpose was to wake up Congress and alert the American people that this was no ordinary time. Freedom and democracy were under assault in the world. Tonight, I come to this same chamber to address the nation. Now, it's we who face an unprecedented moment in the history of the Union. And yes, my purpose tonight is to wake up the Congress and alert the American people that this is no ordinary moment either. Not since President Lincoln and the Civil War have freedom and democracy been under assault at home as they are today. Democracy. The last time I checked, it was Biden's DOJ prosecuting Trump and also dozens and dozens of states in the union trying to take him off of a ballot to no avail, as we learned this week from the Supreme Court. But then the big guy painted the picture that Donald Trump bends the knee to Russia and Putin. Listen and watch this. Not since President Lincoln and the Civil War have freedom and democracy been under assault at home as they are today. What makes our moment rare is the freedom and democracy are under attack at both at home and overseas at the very same time. <clears throat> overseas, Putin of Russia is on the march, invading Ukraine and sowing chaos throughout Europe and beyond. If anybody in this room thinks Putin will stop at Ukraine, I assure you he will not. Donald Trump bends the knee to Putin in Russia or, or, hold on a second, He knows how to massage egos and deal with the world's craziest leaders to keep us out of wars, unlike Joe. Russia and Ukraine isn't happening under Trump. And if Trump was in office today, that war would end quick, fast, and in a hurry. 
We knew that Biden and the Democrats would tap into abortion. It's the ace up their sleeve. It's the albatross and kryptonite to the GOP for closing in on 20 months now. Biden and Harris invited Kate Cox from Texas to the State of the Union. Listen and watch this. Join us tonight is Kate Cox, the wife and mother from Dallas. She's become pregnant again and had a fetus of a fatal condition. Her doctor told Kate that her own life and her ability to have children in the future were at risk if she didn't act. Because Texas law banned her ability to act, Kate and her husband had to leave the state to get what she needed. What her family got through should have never happened as well, but it's happening to too many others. There are state laws banning the freedom to choose, criminalizing doctors, forcing survivors of rape and incest to leave their states to get the treatment they need. Many of you in this chamber and my predecessor are promising to pass a national ban on reproductive freedom. My God, what freedom else would you take away? Look, it's a decision to overturn Roe v. Wade. The Supreme Court majority wrote the following. And with all due respect, Justices, women are not without electoral, electoral power. Uh, excuse me, electoral or political power. You're about to realize just how much you get right about that. Did you get all that? Okay, let's keep it moving. Let's get to money. How's your wallet doing these days? Easily able to get all the groceries you need, fuel up your SUV, buy that first home you've always dreamed of? The economy is booming, right? Here's Joe talking about his economic success. Listen and watch. My inherited economy is on the brink. Now our economy is literally the envy of the world. 15 million new jobs in just three years. A record. A record. <laughs> Unemployment. At 50-year lows. Record 16 million Americans are starting small businesses, and each one is a literal act of hope. If I can steal two words that the left loves to use, I will. Misinformation and disinformation. And there were tons of that in the speech on the economy specifically. Joe says new jobs added. Record 15 million. How many were taken away during the pandemic and merely just restored in the last couple of years, Joe? Wages are up? Cool. Groceries are up 19%. The stock market? Well, it's booming. Yeah, but only 59% of Americans actually own stock. Tell that to the other 41% who don't. But the biggest joke of the night came after Marjorie Taylor Greene go to Joe Biden into saying Lakin Riley's name. And I want everybody to say it with me as you listen to the big take this morning. Lakin Riley. Except it went terribly wrong for Joe Biden. Listen and watch. I'd be a winner, not really. I... Lincoln, Lincoln Riley, an innocent young woman who was killed by an illegal. That's right. But how many of thousands of people being killed by illegals? To her parents, I say, my heart goes out to you, having lost children myself. I understand. But look. My God, man. Lincoln Riley? Lincoln Riley. Not Lincoln Riley. Lincoln Riley. And he said it twice. Lincoln Riley. For those that don't pay attention to college football, Lincoln Riley's the head football coach at USC. Her name is Lakin Riley, Mr. President. If you can't get the name right, maybe you shouldn't say it at all. So what are the usual suspects saying? Well, the New York Times with the headline today on their website, Biden makes case for second term while lashing out at predecessor. The Washington Post website, fiery Biden takes on GOP, makes case for second term. MSNBC.com. Biden outlines battle for the soul of America in fiery State of the Union. And CNN with the headline on their website, it was an unpredictable freewheeling speech with Biden readily engaging with Republicans. I'm sure Morning Joe and Mika will come on TV any moment and say that Biden turned his biological clock back four decades last night. Of course, the bar has been set incredibly low for Joe. Show an ounce of passion a moment of clarity, and suddenly, mm, he's 41 years old again in the eyes of lamestream media. But in my opinion, watching that last night, 
way too long, way too late into the night hours. In my opinion, it was more of the same. Hopefully, it won't be four more years of the same. And that's The Big Take. The Big Take on Kale & Company. It's brought to you by Tommy D's Home Improvement Center this morning. Tommy D's Home Improvement Center. If you're renovating a kitchen or building one from the ground up, Tommy D's Home Improvement Center is your go-to for quality kitchen cabinets, flooring and molding at affordable rates. Visit their showroom in Philadelphia or visit their website at TommyD's.com. We'll come back at thoughts and reactions to the State of the Union speech last night. You can jump in 855-839-1210. At 1210 WPHT on social media and, of course, on YouTube. Just go to YouTube.com slash at 1210 WPHT and join the Kale & Company comment community today. State of, the Reu- uh, State of the Union reaction, all 6 o'clock hour this morning, and we're back after this. Nick, Dawn, and Greg, Kale & Company on Talk Radio 1210. WPHT. Get buckets with your first bet on FanDuel in partnership with Valley Forge Casino. It's America's number one sportsbook right now. New customers can get $150 in bonus bets with any winning $5 bet. That's $150 if your bet wins. You can bet on all your favorite NBA players and teams with quick bets, live same game parlays, exclusive props, and so much more. It's the best way to watch your Philadelphia 76ers this season by putting a little money on the game because... God knows they ain't going anywhere. I love the FanDuel app. Just go to FanDuel.com slash Greg. FanDuel.com slash Greg to shoot your shot now. FanDuel Sportsbook, the official partner of 1210 WPHT and the NBA. 21 and over, president of PA. First online real money wager only $10 first deposit required. Bonus issued is not overdrawable. Bonus bets that expire seven days after your receipt. See terms of sportsbook.fanduel.com. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. Wendy's Breakfast 2 for $3 Biggie Bundles let you create your own delicious combo. Choose from a sausage biscuit, egg and cheese biscuit, small seasoned potatoes, and a medium hot coffee. But it's obvious which combo's the best. Sausage biscuit and small seasoned potatoes. Well, maybe it's the fresh cracked egg and cheese biscuit with a medium hot coffee. Or two savory sausage biscuits. Uh, whichever you pick, you can't go wrong. Choose wisely. Choose Wendy's 2 for $3 Biggie Bundles. Limited time only. U.S. price of participation may vary. Not valid in a combo. Single item at regular price. This is a consumer warning. Countless financial shows have promised the peace of mind that comes only with a crash-proof retirement. Yet time and time again, the claims of these firms are revealed as nothing more than deception. The imitators never last, but their hollow promises have caused irreparable financial damage that continues to plague investors to this day. Don't be fooled by the copycats. No other firm has access to the proprietary crash-proof retirement system that provides market-like returns credited as interest with no market risk or fees to over 5,000 clients through all economic conditions. So when you hear other firms marketing a financial x-ray, beware, only crash-proof retirements, financial MRI, provides the 44-step in-depth forensic analysis needed to expose the dangers hidden within your portfolio. Be with the originators. Tune in to the one and only Crash-Proof Retirement Show, which continues to outlast all financial radio programs as it has for over 15 years, Saturday at 11 a.m., right here on Talk Radio 1210 WPHT. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential, but finding those people can be a major hassle unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies candidates with the right skills, sends you great matches, then you can easily invite them to apply. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. See for yourself. Go to ZipRecruiter.com slash free to try ZipRecruiter for free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. Retirement can be scary. Scary, but only if you're not prepared. That's why AARP created thisispretirement.org. Because unless you've already retired, you're in pretirement and you still have time to plan. Learn about retirement savings options, potential tax breaks, and how you can build savings over time. Visit thisispretirement.org for free resources to help you customize your action plan and feel the retirement fear disappear. Brought to you by AARP and the Ad Council. We can serve our weakness or we can serve our purpose, not both. From Angel Studios comes Cabrini, based on the powerful true story of Francesca Cabrini, one courageous woman on an unbelievable mission to build an empire of hope and care for society's most vulnerable. This project is overly ambitious, perhaps unrealistic. We are bold or we die. Cabrini, rated PG-13, may be inappropriate for children under 13. In theaters March 8th, go to angel.com slash Cabrini. This is Larry Steinhaus with Investor Schooling. Are you ready for retirement? Have you prepared everything you need? 
Well, at Investor Schooling, we will teach you ways to better prepare for your retirement using real estate and the stock market. But you need to learn how to do it right. And that's what we teach. At Investor Schooling, we sell nothing but education. Come to Investor Schooling and learn how to have a better retirement. Go to InvestorSchooling.com and RSVP right now for this Thursday's class at 7 o'clock. Go to InvestorSchooling.com. That's InvestorSchooling.com. This is Larry Steinitz with Investor Schooling. Are you tired of hearing about the recession that's coming? Are you prepared for it? Well, listen, at InvestorSchooling.com, we're going to teach you ways to prepare for the recession that you didn't even know existed. We're going to teach you strategies on how to use real estate. We're going to teach you strategies how to use the stock market properly. That's right. You can even make money in the stock market when the stock market goes down. Hey, go to InvestorSchooling.com and register for a free class this Thursday night, and you will learn all of these techniques. Go to InvestorSchooling.com right now, RSVP for this Thursday. We'll see you there. Just like our offensive line protects our star quarterback, plumbers protect the health of the nation, and Philadelphia Plumbers Union Local 690 is no different. In hospitals, commercial, industrial, and residential, with the best trained plumbers in the world, you can be sure your project is done on time and on budget, no matter how big or small. So when your business needs to build new or expand existing facilities, you can count on the members of Plumbers Union Local 690. Visit plumbers690.org. Hello, Saver. Whether you're saving for that trip to the tropics or saving for an emergency, now is the time to take advantage of Wells Fargo savings options. Wells Fargo offers savings accounts that can help you save towards your goals. So what are you saving for? Visit a Wells Fargo branch or wellsfargo.com save to open a savings account today. Wells Fargo Bank N.A. Member FDIC. Don't miss the Labor and Energy Show with J. Doc and Krause, brought to you by Advocacy United, this Saturday night at 6. Find out about the important issues that will affect you. The Labor and Energy Show, Saturday night at 6, on Talk Radio 1210 WPHT. Don't let them silence you. Follow 1210 WPHT on the free Odyssey app. Download it now. Zon, hello, hello. 6.32, it is a Friday morning, the morning after the State of the Union address last night from President Joe Biden. As we continue, Nick, Don, and Greg, Talk Radio 1210 WPHT. I don't know what Joe was on last night, but I'd like a little bit of it. <laughs> I don't know if he had like a 24-ounce Red Bull injected into his veins. I said yesterday, he Whoa. always, he always delivers brings it when he needs to he he has that whatever he, he's just he's good at politics but you know like what I, mean? I, I see i i don't find the yelling and like i'm as a talk show host i try not to be like the guy that just yells for four straight hours i don't think that's good i i don't think him yelling and screaming at the pace that he was doing it like it's all about voice inflection right the highs the lows the peaks the valleys trying to capture certain moments pausing for effect there's kind of an art to it. I didn't find what he did like being shot out of a cannon to the point where he was slurring his speech and stuttering and stammering. I mean, his his eyes, they weren't even open. I like I was like, is this guy like does he have too much sugar in him right now? Is he going to crash? I was waiting for him to kind of to peter out, but I mean, there's there's so many things we can break down from what he said to how long it took for him to get there to how long it took for him to address the border to my math. It was about 34 minutes, if I was um, if I'm remembering correctly, when he finally got to immigration, which is the number one issue. Uh, we'll get to uh, Katie Britt. We'll get to some of the other theatrics that went on last night. But uh, Don, your thoughts, takeaways, observations from what you had to sit through. I think that, you know. When you when you watch it and then you see the media coverage this morning, I'm thinking, what did they what did they watch? What what were they watching or what were they drinking while they were watching? Because if you look at the media and you listen to the broadcast media, it's as if he gave he was feisty. It, he, it was glowing. They're giving him glowing reviews. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and, and so that's. If you want to think about the media and how the media is complicit, just turn on any of the so-called mainstream media this morning. Mm -hmm. And, oh, he's Joe Biden and he was feisty and he and then they play the clips of the different women and abortion and 
who he's defending and a freedom he's and nobody mentions the fact that there were gaffes that the that he mispronounced the name of a young lady who was brutally slaughtered none bigger that than he that. also said he met the line certainly was legal there look at all the people killed by legals yes but he, but then he slipped yeah. and said illegals. Yeah, and you we're like, yeah, that's what we've been saying. Right. <laughs> like you, know? you, you can't wait over a half hour to get to the number one issue that voters care about. And then when you get to it, you botch the legals, illegals to the point where Nancy Pelosi is mad at Joe. Think about <laughs> that. And when we're talking about immigration and the border and illegal immigrants and migrants coming in here and committing crimes... There's been no bigger story than Lake and Riley. And to my knowledge, going into last night, he had not mentioned the name Lake and Riley. And when he does, he calls her Lincoln Riley, the football coach at USC. Let me just, uh, for the people just tuning in, let let me play this. Phil, if you can pull up Cut 13 too with the video. Uh, This is uh, Marjorie. I believe Marjorie Taylor Greene basically uh, bullied him. Into who's elder no. abuse? Into I dis- no, I disagree. <laughs> no, 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 no. In a good way, though. Yeah. No, I disagree with this. They were ready for the line. They were counting on her. Do you think so? And she stepped mm. into it. She wow. stepped in it. It was they were ready for the line. That's why the show's they, amazing. Because you and I, I did not expect that from you. All they, right, let's. They prepped him on this, and they had ooh this. Oh, good. She's she's doing exactly what we knew she'd do. Yeah. Ha ha. Wait for this. Okay. All right. All right cut thirteen. Uh, Phil, go. Grabian. Oh, uh, no. Sorry, 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 our sorry. Our friends sorry. at Grabian, sorry, the sorry, source sorry. where we get sorry. a lot of our audience. Sorry. Let's start it over again. One more time. Uh, one more time, Phil. Uh, cut 13, go. Trail this bill so far. I'm told my predecessor called members of Congress in the Senate to demand they block the bill. He feels political win. He viewed it as a, would be a political win for me and a political loser for him. It's not about him. It's not about me. I'd be a winner... Not really. I... Lincoln... Lincoln Riley, an innocent young woman who was killed by an illegal. That's right. But how many of thousands of people being killed by illegals? To her parents, I say, my heart goes out to you, having lost children myself. I understand. But look, if we change the dynamic at the border, people pay people, people pay these smugglers 8,000 bucks to get across the border because they know if they get by, if they get by and let into the country, it's six to eight years before they have a hearing. There you go. There you have it. Um, So you think that Biden and the camp were ready for the outburst to put him on the spot? No question. Okay. That was not off the cuff. But they knew, even though Johnson said, please, decorum. Yes. And I would say to Marjorie, right now, and she was cute in her little red hat when he was coming down and she had her little button and she and she was saying that she she looked right at Biden and she got close to him and she said, Lakin, say her name. Right, she was filming and with she her had, phone. And she had her phone and she yep. had her, her MAGA hat on. Yeah. And she was pretty cute, but... She she got played. The Republicans, anybody who thought that was cute that she was going to say that, it's not cute. You're getting played, Republicans. They were ready for it. They counted on you mm-hmm. to shout out like that. You so just shut it. You right. took the bait, and they were all ready. And then it made him look spontaneous. It made him look, oh, well, look, he handled that beautifully. See, there are no cognitive issues. I guarantee you that's probably why he, they were late. Because they were going over. Now, remember, they're going to yell out, and this is what you're going to, you know, and they rehearse, rehearse, rehearse. So they were, there's zero question in my mind that they rehearsed that, that they he, they were ready for that line. I, I, I do think they were ready for it, but to say that Joe nailed it, I would disagree there. You can't butcher the name Lake and Riley versus Lincoln Riley. And you also, if you're going to be progressive Joe, you can't say illegals. Like, that was 1995 Joe. That was old school, yes, middle of the exactly, road Joe, right? Exactly. Like, you the, saw the old Joe come out. The old Joe Biden came out in that off-the-cuff moment. You're 100% right. correct. Right. Like, but, so, but I think that he... I I think that they rehearsed the line and then he 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 kind of blew it. He Mm -hmm. blew the line that they and I bet you there's somebody going, oh, yeah, (laughs) we rehearsed that 500 times. Uh 
Yeah, you can't screw it up after that many times for sure. Um, I mean, there was just so many things last night. Um, did you, and this, you know, ultimate really is just a, a minor thing, but did you guys see Bernie Sanders wearing the mask? If we could throw this up on YouTube, this is March 7th of 2024, and Bernie Sanders is there. There you see it sitting there. I, I mean, Bernie's 82 years old, guys. Come on. <laughs> was he the only guy? I think he was the only guy wearing first of all, one. First of all, those, those masks do absolutely. Nothing. I know, but so I just, he might as well have had nothing on. I'm but he's 82 it. years old. I'm just well, he might, it. maybe like, oh, either God. he was sick, maybe he had like a touch of a cold. Yeah, yeah. that's what I'm assuming. Yeah. Or maybe he he just got over something. I, I I also thought he dropped the ball in many regards to the Middle East. Um, there was actually a uh, tweet. I want to read you this. Uh, this just goes to show you where we are in politics, where so many people um, from outside of politics jump into politics. Uh, this is the head basketball coach at Auburn University. His name is Bruce Pearl, and uh, Bruce Pearl is Jewish, and he tweeted last night, 134 innocent hostages, including six Americans, still being held by Hamas, Gazans, and Palestinians. Not one word demanding their release from our president. On October the 7th, yada, 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 on down the list. And then he wraps it up by saying, your lack of support, Joe Biden, for the Jewish people in the state of Israel was loud and clear, Mr. President. That That's coming from a major college basketball coach who is Jewish, so certainly has every right to jump in and talk about that. But like you said, we always talk about staying in your lane if you're a sports person. He comes out and just roasts Joe Biden on that. So I thought from the standpoint of when are you going to address the border yeah. and when are you going to address the Middle East, the timing of it and also where in your speech it was placed and the way you delivered it really missed the mark. Can I say something, too, about the Lake and Riley, Lincoln Riley thing? It's that's a big deal in our world, and I'm not trying to sound callous here, mm -hmm. but in the, in reality, 99 percent of Americans couldn't pronounce her name. They they don't know her name. And honestly, so, you're, you're right. I think so, most Americans probably don't know so who she is. I, I I agree. It was a really 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 bad moment for him last night. But people in Georgia know her name. But uh, yeah, Georgia's yeah, a big deal. I I guess so. But I I just swing state. I think if you really ask most people, I yeah. don't think that they, Lincoln, Lincoln, they don't, yeah. they don't know that girl killed in in Georgia by the illegal right. is probably what ninety percent of people know. And there's a good chunk of them that probably didn't know anything about it up until yesterday. So, yeah, if they started checking so, in because it's the state of the union. So politically, it's big in our world. Yes, but it, for for the the average person um, watching. I don't think it was. And the average person that's going to be at the ballot box on November 5th voting, right? Yep. Like your average Tom, Dick, and Harry that just basically goes on their their last-minute uh, brush-up course yeah. on, on politics and what the issues are. By know? the way, M Michael Pelka is on the YouTube chat, so if you want to get over there and chat with him, he's on our YouTube chat right now. He said, <laughs> and I did notice this too, he said, before the speech started, Bernie Sanders was not wearing a mask and seen talking and laughing with Maisie Hirono. Oh, so he's playing he had, it up for the cameras. He had the mask in his hand. He, oh. he's, Mike is 100% right. Mm -hmm. And then he must have put it on, I guess, when the speech started. What a facade. I don't know. If you're gonna, if you're, if you're Bernie and you're 82 and you want to wear a mask, knock yourself out. Yeah. But in my opinion, if you think it works and you think you the, the consistency matters, then you should probably put it on before you get around anybody and leave it on the entire time. I love these people. They just wear it all around their shirt around their, their <laughs> neck like it's a chin strap, and then they hold it's it. It's an accessory. It's an accessory, right? It's like a scarf. By the way, I, I said this at 6 o'clock, and I'm going to say it again now. It, that, that, was a, that was a campaign speech last night for yes. Joe Biden. He's, yep. He mentioned my predecessor 18 times. Yes. I've never seen a State of the Union where a sitting president mentions the former president, uh -huh. let alone 18 times. Yep. <laughs> we, were, we were watching. Mike Johnson could actually be an actor. The, the expressions that he was making— Behind, and you know, just the shaking, mm -hmm. shaking his head, and uh, and you know, like he genuinely. At one point, when Biden started in, Johnson genuinely looked disappointed, like mm -hmm. the disappointed dad when you come home an hour late. Like, oh, right, I can't believe you're going. I mean, he really. I don't know if he, if that's who he is. If he was, if if he if he practiced his expressions. Yeah, but he was very expressive. Yes. Kamala, on the other hand was stoic and maybe 
was dreaming of Venn Ven diagrams. Oh, yeah. Well, she was sitting, then she was yeah, standing, she sitting, was... standing. If I'm Mike Johnson <laughs> and I'm looking over, I'm like, does, does her keister itch? Why does she keep getting up every three seconds? She couldn't sit still. I mean, she had that stoic look on her yeah. face. And then she would stand up and you know, she's doing like, you know, her soccer mom <laughs> clap. And then she sits back down and the whole charade. So there's all sorts of stuff to get to, including Senator from Alabama, Katie Britt. Not sure what that was last night. We'll talk about that. And also, as Trump was counter-programming on Truth Social, some very interesting comments from the 45th president of the United States. And he also has a new nickname that he rolled out last night. Might be the best nickname yet. We'll get to that as we wrap up the first hour. Kale and Company on the other side. Talk Radio 1210 WPHT. My kitchen is the heart of my home. Dawn Stensland here. If your kitchen or bath is outdated, you need Kitchen Magic. Yeah, they're local in Pennsylvania. They have an experienced team which has transformed more than 60,000 spaces. A dedicated design consultant works with you on your choices for refacing custom cabinets, backsplash counters, and tub shelves our conversion. Right now, they're offering 12 months, no payments, no interest financing, and 10% off your remodel. Visit KitchenMagic.com. Tell them Dawn sent you. We all hear the radio ads about the IRS. They tell you to be afraid, to be scared, and they try to frighten you into calling. I'm not here to do that. Tax Relief Advocates is different. TRA is here to tell you that if you owe money to the IRS, whether it's $5,000, $50,000, or $500,000, we have a solution. It doesn't matter if you're sitting in your car, at work, or with your kids. No matter where you are, call now. 800-575-6481. Don't lose hope. TRA can eliminate or reduce what you owe to the IRS. There is zero risk to you. If we can't reduce your tax debt, then you pay nothing. Our passion is taxes and helping individuals fix their IRS. IRS problems. We have a five-star rating on Google and Yelp and an A-plus with the Better Business Bureau. You don't need to be afraid of the IRS any longer. End your tax nightmare today by visiting us online at tra.com or call 800-575-6481. That's 800-575-6481. Tax Relief Advocates. Real solutions for real people. When it comes to financial wellness, we could talk forever. To help guide you, Joe Yakovich has written a book, The Heart of Your Money, where Joe talks about longevity, inflation, retirement surprises, and more. For your free copy, call the office of Joe Yakovich, JML Financial, at 856-751-1771, or email Joe at jayakovich at brokersifs.com. And listen to Joe on Talk Radio 1210 every Sunday at 9 a.m. For 40 years, Joe's different approach and non-cookie-cutter methods have helped pave the path to financial wellness and or retirement. Get on board and get the free book. Call 856-751-1771. Call now, 856-751-1771. Joe Yakovich is registered with and securities and investment advisory services are offered through Brokers International Financial Services, LLC. Member SIPC. Brokers International Financial Services, LLC is not an affiliated company. Comedian Joe Conklin. These changes for the Phillies. Never again will I utter the words... Now pitching for the Phillies, Craig Kimbrough. See Joe Conklin's comedy show at the Church of the Incarnation on Main Street in Manchua Township. Saturday, April 20th at St. Luke's Church on Easton Road in Glenside on Saturday, April 27th. And Conklin's Comedy Night every other Thursday at Parks Casino. For tickets, go to JoeConklin.com. JoeConklin.com! <laughs> Hoffman's Exterminating, official partner of the Philadelphia Eagles, has been serving Delaware Valley homes and businesses for 34 years, protecting them from pests that threaten our health, food, and property. Hoffman's has also made a commitment to hiring veterans and advancing their post-service careers. Hoffman's is family-owned, prides itself in hiring local, staying local, and supporting the community. Join Hoffman's March 22nd as they support WPHT's Radiothon, benefiting the Travis Mannion Foundation. Visit them at hoffmansexterminating.com. For a limited time, when you call Oliver for a new air conditioner, you'll get a gas furnace for free. You heard right. Buy a new high-efficiency air conditioner today, and the gas furnace is free. Plus, 0% financing and monthly payments as low as 99 bucks. Call 855-275-6548 or visit OliverHeatCool.com. Oliver Heating, cooling, plumbing, and electrical. Reliable, fast service you've come to trust for more than 50 years. Financing and payments are subject to credit approval. Terms and conditions apply. Hey, Southampton. We know your favorite station is Talk Radio 1210 WPHT. All 
right, 6.50, it's a Friday morning. It's Kale and Company as we react to the State of the Union from last night. Nick, Don, and Greg here on Talk Radio 1210 WPHT. Get us on the free Odyssey app. Watch us live on YouTube. Kutchie coming up in less than an hour. Don will have some news to kick off hour number two. Yes. Um, I actually have to admit uh, I failed. I failed the audience. I said yesterday on the yeah. show I was going to download the Truth Social app to see um, the Trumpster uh, posting in real time, fact-checking, counter-programming, all of that. I forgot to do it, but luckily there's a Twitter feed uh, at Trump Daily Posts, which mm-hmm. basically copy and pastes whatever he says in real time from Truth to Twitter. So I was able to track some of it that way. Uh, some some funny moments from last night for sure. But I think the most substantive thing that matters to me personally, uh, when Joe's touting the economy, uh, Trump posted from the uh, the source being the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics. Under Joe Biden, food costs are up 21 percent, rent costs up 19 percent. Power costs up 29%. So Joe can sit here and spin job growth and wage acceleration. But the reality is, I mean, and and this is not groundbreaking um, mathematics here. uh, If wages are up 10%, 15%, whatever it might be, whatever he's claiming it is. Well, okay, if your grocery store is 21% more and heating and cooling your house in the winter or summer is up 29% and gas is up and it's 20% more in rent, you're still kind of in the negative, right? So I got a 15% raise, honey. Well, that's great, but everything else is costing 20% more, so it's actually like a 5% pay cut, Skippy. I hate to break it to you. So I I thought that was the most interesting thing of substance from Trump on truth last night when we talk about you know big topics and things like that. His opinion commentary was pretty good as well uh, when he was talking about a variety of issues. I do I did enjoy. I got a good chuckle. I mentioned this in the tease. He's got a new nickname, uh, and he was going off uh, last night about social media and uh, all the fake news out there. <laughs> and he he rattled off this one. He says, "If you get rid of TikTok, Facebook, and Zucker Schmuck." Zucker Schmuck will double their business. I don't want Facebook. Who cheated in the last election? Doing better. They are a true enemy of the people. So Mark Zuckerberg is now named and dubbed Zucker Schmuck, which might actually be my favorite nickname <laughs> to date. Because I've, I've been known to call him Zuckerberger by mistake because I always got food on my mind. <laughs> but Z- Zucker Schmuck, wasn't that, wasn't that like a, a, a jelly or a jam company? Was it Schmuckers or Schmuckers, Sh- yeah. Schmucks or something like that? Schmuckers. Smuckers. Yeah. Wasn't yeah. that a jelly? I mean, it's the most famous jelly there is. I'm not a jelly. I've been out of the peanut butter and jelly uh, game for a while. Uh, by the way, this, oh, you, uh, having a good peanut butter and jelly sandwich was nothing better. I do the Uncrustables. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Uh, he posted something to his Instagram. Donald Trump did last night. I don't know if either of you saw this. He no, put, I'm not on it. He put Snapchat, uh, Snapchat uh, faces on both Biden and Kamala. <laughs> So, uh, <laughs> Phil, if you want to pull up Cut 18 here, uh, go over to YouTube if you want to see this. Nick, you can describe it if okay. you want to. But uh, uh, YouTube.com slash at 1210WPHT if you want to see this. But this is these are the uh, Snapchat uh, faces that he put on both Biden and Kamala uh, last night. Cut 18, Phil, go. We're going to buy a mirror. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to buy a mirror. Yeah. <laughs> it's like one of those photo filters <laughs> yep. where you can make the eyes Buy big. The the you can make different smiles on their face. Look at Kamala. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's got the hat with the ponytails and the, the little way, pigtails. That law was written All right, Pinocchio Joe. And the benefit expires in 2025. Nose getting bigger and lying. New electric grids. They're able to weather major storms and not prevent those fires. It's oh awesome. God. It's awesome. Do you think he was doing that himself? No, absolutely not. Are or has he's got somebody on, on his team? Come on, dude. I, I mean, because we know. He's 77 years old. Uh, yeah, he's doing we, Snapchat but we know filters. He, we know he can't put down the device, right? Yeah. Like so, he, no, he's, somebody did that for him. Come on. <laughs> I would love to see you trying to manage him. <laughs> Can we stop getting our news from Twitter? No, this, <laughs> this, this is hysterical. Yeah. So there you go. Uh, all sorts of stuff from last night. Lots of substantive uh, stuff and obviously some humor mixed in as well. We'll come back. Don will get to the news to kick off hour two. If you have thoughts on what you sat through last night, if you did, uh, 855-839-1210 is the number on social media at 1210WPHT. And then coming up after the news, where do you hear this story in the world of COVID? There has been some staggering things that we think there's no way that can possibly be true. Wait till you hear this story. I'm telling you, 
you will fall off of your chair or you might even drive off of the road. <laughs> Hands at 10 and 2, folks. We're back after this. It's Kale and Company. Stay right there. March Mania is running wild at TurnersvilleJeep.com, your zero-down Jeep and Ram headquarters. For March only, come in and get up to 20% off select Jeeps and Rams. That equates to over 18000 in savings on select models. We have over 300 vehicles available for immediate delivery. TurnersvilleJeep.com, located on Route 42 in Turnersville. Drive a little, save a lot at turnersvillejeep.com. That's turnersvillejeep.com. Resolve all your home's plumbing problems today. Horizon Services pros are ready to solve any plumbing emergencies that you didn't see coming. From burst pipes to water heater disasters, Horizon's licensed experts have you covered with same-day, 24-7 solutions. And to help you save on future emergencies, we're offering $50 off any repair. Schedule your visit online today at horizonservices.com forward slash radio. Do you feel like you're going through life clouded by doubt? Talk to California Psychics. Our trusted and accurate psychics are available 24-7. And we guarantee if it's not life-changing, it's free. Download the app or connect with us at californiapsychics.com. Right now, new customers get 80% off their first reading. Experience the joy of certainty. California Psychics. Hey everyone, it's Ted from Consumer Cellular, the guy in the orange sweater, and this is your wake-up call. If you're paying too much for wireless service, you don't have to keep having that nightmare. Consumer Cellular has the same fast, reliable coverage as the leading carriers for up to half the cost. So why keep spending more than you have to? Seriously, wake up and call 1-888-FREEDOM or visit ConsumerCellular.com. Savings based on cost of Consumer Cellular single line 1, 5, and 10 gig data plans with unlimited talk and text compared to lowest cost single line postpaid unlimited talk text and data plans offered by T-Mobile and Verizon January 2024. Although you try not to, most of us have used an ATM out of network. And at the end, you get that notice that it's going to cost you $4 extra. Are you kidding me? So you're paying money to get your own money. It makes you crazy. In retirement, you're going to want to use that 401k. But every time you dip into it, you have to pay taxes. Here we go again. You have to pay money to get your own money. Oh, come on! Jim Cipriati and the Retire Ready Financial Group believes that every retirement plan needs a tax plan. Without it, you're using Uncle Sam's plan. And... Do you really think that's going to work in your favor? Call Retire Ready Financial Group today at 610-894-7415. That's 610-894-7415 and schedule a complimentary retirement consultation. Or you can find them online at retirereadyfg.com. Investment advisory services offered through Retire Ready Wealth Management, a registered investment advisor. Insurance and annuities offered through James V. Cipriati, Retire Ready Financial Group, LLC, NPN number 2083768. Lose 20 to 40 plus pounds guaranteed with NJ Diet. NJ Diet uses DNA and blood work to help you lose weight and keep it off. Tune into their radio show Sundays at 2 or visit njdiet.com. Pain in your knees, shoulders, hips, or back that won't go away? Check out QC Kinetics. No surgery, drugs, or downtime. QC Kinetics, 215-999-3000. Designers, excavators, engineers, architects, listen up. What are you doing? We're working here. If you want to save time, effort, and money on your next underground utility project, start using Pennsylvania One Call Systems Coordinate PA application. Coordinate PA is the next generation of utility coordination that allows you to easily transfer and manage your complex projects from start to finish, all the way from the designer to the excavator. Be prepared for your next underground utility project with Coordinate PA. Huh, makes sense. Visit PA1Call.org to learn more. Don't miss the Education Show with Dom Giordano every Sunday morning at 5.30. Find out how you can help your child or grandchild succeed. Sponsored by New Hope Academy. WPHT, WPHT, HD, WOGL, HD3, Philadelphia. From the Cherry Hill Volvo Studios, where relationships matter. Always live on the free Odyssey app. The impact of a meal goes well beyond feeding our bodies. Because when people don't have to worry about where their next meal is coming from, they can truly thrive. Like Marta. And now we'll hear from our class valedictorian, who with our hard work never ceases to amaze us. Please welcome Marta Moreno. And Alex. Hey Alex, how did the interview go? I did it! I got the job! I can't believe it! I knew it! Let's meet up later to celebrate. And Diego. Mom! 
I got first place at the science fair with my volcano project. That's amazing, sweetie. Congratulations. Because when people are fed, futures are nourished, and everyone deserves to live a full life. Join the movement to end hunger at feedingamerica.org slash act now. feedingamerica.org slash act now. A public service announcement brought to you by Feeding America and the Ad Council. Calling on North Wales to follow 1210 WPHT on the free Odyssey app. Download it now. Mustard. (laughs) (laughs) Scaly Company. (laughs) A little little spicy mustard on a Friday. (laughs) As we get closer to the rematch, Trump and Biden. But coming up in a couple of minutes, don't forget about one man. He's still out there lurking. He's gaining access to more ballots. And he will be a swing state factor. That's coming up in just a little bit. Welcome back in, Kale and Company. 701 here on this Friday morning. Dawn's news coming up here in just a couple of moments. And also, wait until you hear what one man in Germany has gone through when it comes to the COVID-19 vaccine and all of the subsequent boosters. That's coming up in just a little bit. Cut sheet at 745. But, you know, with this show, I think what we do here at Kale and Company is obviously hit on all the big political issues, the big news stories of the day. You know, we try to mix in a little pop culture and entertainment from time to time. You know, occasionally a, a sports story when it crosses over into the political or social spectrum. But at the end of the day, we like to have fun here in Morning Drive. And as we continue our efforts to bring you more of just the non-traditional radio stuff, more of the video, more of the social media stuff, we had this big brainstorming session as to how we could take our listeners and go kind of beyond the show from 6 to 10 a.m. Monday through Friday. And as we kind of put all of our brains together, we started thinking of ideas like, if you might recall, one of the best late-night segments in television history was Carpool Karaoke with James Corden. So we are very excited to let you know that we are rolling out a new feature, and you will probably see it three or four times a year, probably on a quarterly basis, and we call it Kale Pool Karaoke, and it's thanks to our friends at the Piazza Auto Group. As I told you about two months ago, I went out and I test drove the Honda Pilot Trail Sport, and the reason I test drove that was because we filmed our uh, debut episode in the Honda Pilot 2024 Trail Sport. So we'll be doing our own version of Karaoke Talk because, trust me, you don't want to hear me sing. And each episode, we will take a ride with a notable Philadelphian who has an interesting story or who brings a compelling story to our show. And we're going to have some laughs along the way. The first episode is dropping uh, in a matter of moments on all social media. You'll be able to watch it. Um, I took a big ride, and we'll tell you who it was with in a moment. And we chatted for about 40, 45 minutes. And then we you know, obviously edit it, tighten it up, and give it to you in social media chunks. But uh, each episode will be with a different person. It could be somebody in politics. It could be a newsmaker, an entertainer, an athlete. So just posted to the 1210 WPHT website and all of our social media properties is our premiere episode of Kale Pool Karaoke with our first guest, the Honorable Patrick J. Murphy, who is a Philly war hero. Uh, He was the first post-Iraq war member of Congress to be elected to office after serving just over 20 years ago. Uh, He has such an amazing story. It was really a good time chatting with him. Uh, And this guy is another guy from Philadelphia, Northeast Philly kid, grew up in a row home, four for four Philly sports fan. And I I thought it was interesting because he told me that he is more of a conservative Democrat, which I've never really heard it framed that way. And we had a great conversation talking about all sorts of things, uh, most notably his time uh, in service, obviously his time in office. And I'm looking forward to doing more of this. 
Uh, I, I drove around the, the Piazza Honda location for about 40 minutes to the point where the conversation was so good, I didn't know where the hell I was. I needed to, I needed to like pull out a GPS. I'm like, Patrick, <laughs> how do we get back to the dealership? We, we've been talking here for 45 minutes. So uh, it was really cool, and I believe it's now up on uh, whether it's Twitter, Instagram, or whatever platform you like to consume some of our social media content. So figured we would pass that along. And also... Coming up in just a matter of, by my math, 14 days, the Travis Mannion Foundation, uh, the 7th Annual 1210 WPHT Radiothon, benefiting the Travis Mannion Foundation, will be coming up on March 22nd, and Patrick will be attending and serving as a guest. So um, I'm sure he'll pop on the air, and he's got some incredible stories Another one of these guys who goes to the military, then he's in a political office. He's got all sorts of high-level education. I, I, I really thought like I was talking to like Vivek Ramaswamy for a moment. I'm like, and he's only a couple of years older than I am. I'm like, how did you achieve all this in such a short period of time? So check it out. Uh, it's up on social media. And, of course, thanks to our great friends of the Piazza Auto Group. So uh, they were very courteous uh, to hook us up with a vehicle and let us rack up miles on it as we uh, we chopped it up and talked shop for a little bit. So I think you guys will like it. Uh, if you are a former military person yourself, a veteran, uh, I think you will certainly respect uh, his service to our country just over 20 years ago in Iraq. So it's up there, and uh, I, I'm assuming it's up, correct? And is it, yes. It's not missing anything? Yes. Yes. So okay. we're not going to play it now? I don't know. I think it's – I don't know how long it is. I know we no. condensed it. No, it's probably it's, too long it's for – It's social media only. Yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah, I don't think it's I think it's probably longer than like a cut. So uh, although we had to trim, I think we had to trim a lot down because Patrick can talk. Yeah, it's it, it, yeah, it's it's about eight minutes. Yeah, so eight minutes. Go over to YouTube or not YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. It's all there. There you go. All right. Uh, let's get to the news. Round number two, 707. The great Dawn Stenzel. Good morning on this Friday morning, March 8th. We're headed in for a warm and sunny day, 40 degrees and cloudy as the sun has risen this morning. And we are sponsored this morning in Kalen Company News Live by First Harvest Credit. So in the news this morning, updating you on a major developing story in Philadelphia as Philadelphia police continue to search for those three gunmen who opened fire shooting eight Philadelphia school children who were waiting at a bus stop, their school bus stop, which is also a SEPTA bus stop, in the Northeast, in Northeast Philadelphia, as well as the getaway driver who drove the shooters to and from the scene, learning more about that and many more news conferences that we saw yesterday and last night. So in all, police say that seven teenage boys and one teenage girl were shot. Two of the victims are 15-year-olds. Five of the victims, including the teen girl, are 16 years old, and one victim is a 17-year-old. One of the 16-year-old boys, who is apparently the intended target here, was shot nine times in the torso and is in extremely critical condition this morning, fighting for his life. That's according to the, to the latest that we have here. So it looks like one individual was the intended target, but all they knew when these kids were just coming out of school right at 3 o'clock in the afternoon and didn't care that other kids were also in that crowd. That's the latest that, that I have from uh, police sources as they try to find the, the, you know, these shooters, armed, dangerous individuals. And they've dismissed students from um, being in, learning in person there at Northeast High School, I should say. So they're Zoom learning for the rest of the week. However, they are offering school counselors, whether the, the children or kids and their parents, because you can imagine the trauma with something like this happening in your community. So they're saying if you want to come to the school for counseling or have, um, have a, a viral or Zoom kind of counseling session, they're offering all of that, just trying to cope with this horrific situation in the community that continues to make not just national news, international news, as that video has gone viral, as well as the viral videos of many of the community members, um, people in nearby shops and restaurants. That's a busy area. If you know the area, it's, tragically, it's, it's the area that I think of where we would have an Eagles celebration or a major sports celebration, if you mm -hmm. think about it. Yeah. 
that's mostly in the news. That's when we think about that very intersection, usually it's celebrations. Oh, you know, Eagles just clinched or our Phillies just clinched. Everybody's celebrating. And so to have that area sort of our one of our Times Square type areas, uh, you know, just marred by this violence against children, 11 children in all in Philadelphia shot this week Mm -hmm. it's just uh it's really unthinkable it's tragic it is nick it's it's a it's a new level that we've reached Mm -hmm. and i think we have to mark that this week what happened here i agree and we talked yesterday about the fact and this week that the national guard is seen in new york city protecting their transit we're not going to do that in philadelphia that's the latest from the mayor mayor sherelle parker who was at the state of the union speech last night so they're they're ramping up efforts, and that's the focus of the all of the news conferences that you saw yesterday mm-hmm. with SEPTA Philadelphia Police. Uh, so they're describing the gunman. They're putting out their pictures and asking the public, "Come forward, please. Somebody knows who these individuals are. We need to take them off the streets." Indeed. So that's that's what we have here. And if you see the police presence. There is, they have beefed up the police presence and they say they're getting more aggressive on SEPTA as well as around schools. And so that's the plan right now as they lay out that plan. Uh, We're also learning more about this couple at the center of the controversial traffic stop involving a Philadelphia city leader speaking out for the first time. They are demanding a public apology from Pennsylvania State Police as well as in particular that Pennsylvania State Police trooper who pulled them over and they've described their experience as traumatic and they had their lawyer along and they've hired a lawyer i don't know how quickly they hired the lawyer after saturday's incident on the vine street expressway but they are filing a i don't believe they filed it just yet they announced that they're planning to file I'm wondering civil suit. Yeah, I was thinking about this. I'm wondering if they will have different attorneys for the civil suit versus a potential criminal suit. And you know who the first guy that popped into my mind was uh, Ben Crump, the guy that's always showing up for all these types of cases of you know police misconduct. I believe Ben Crump was the uh, the George Floyd attorney. He's like the modern day Johnny Cochran race hustling attorney. You know, always coming to the aid of the victims. It wouldn't surprise me if that guy is might be. I don't know if it's him or not, but I, I'd be willing to bet he probably either reached out about it or they reached out to him about it. Well, it's a point well taken because they're they're speaking out, and we're talking, of course, about uh, Selena Morrison McLean, who is an individual named as Philadelphia's top LGBTQ official and first high level trans out trans official. That's how that's worded as well as um, McLean's husband, who's identified as Darius McLean, and the media reporting that they're recounting their harrowing experience during that, and I'm quoting, violent traffic stop. Now, by all accounts, this was captured on dash cam video. Pennsylvania State Police, as a result of this, there was the announcement that, in fact, they will all have the body cams within weeks. So they unfortunately are among the last group of law enforcement, and it, and it's unfortunate. The more law enforcement, and we've all talked to them, they've been you know DMing us, texting us, and calling in and saying that they've been begging for these because the vast majority of law enforcement want the body cam. Oh yeah, it exonerates them. Correct. Pretty much every time. Yes. Is it so? Is it just a budgetary issue? Is it too much money to give every officer one of these cameras? It's expensive. Yeah, that's what I was figuring. And so it, it's interesting that initially it was said, oh, we need the body cams to show the racism and show what's happening out there. And then it was we saw a lull, did we not, mm-hmm. in rolling out the body cams because I think people started realizing, oh, the body cam shows something different than the narrative uh, of that's the media. exactly mm-hmm. right and well said. So the only video we've seen is the part that was – It was already, the situation was in play. The situation had already escalated. And then we saw the 90-second cell phone video that Morrison McLean, who's the official, had shared on social media. And in that, raising questions about the episode and unrest. The, The McLeans are not claiming 
that this is an anti-LGBTQ plus or anti-trans or anti-gay situation. Okay. They're claiming that it was racist. Right. Well, they have the, they the have other, the, they have their options. Yeah, I was just gonna Do say, we want to play the LGBTQ the card smorgas- or the race card? The smorgasbord yeah. of what you can choose from. Yes. What can we? What uh? What what group can we claim uh? <laughs> the, they're against tonight. Yes. Which. <sighs> Would you like a, a Cabernet with that racism? Which one actually sells more in 2024? <laughs> and to thicken the plot, as we've talked about, McLean, chief operating officer of that Philadelphia-based William Way Community Center, which made national news and went viral as we learned that that very community center is a real darling of Democrats as well as a darling of Senators Casey and Fetterman, who we learned through lives of TikTok, had slipped in a cool million dollars for to to that community center to uh, bolster that community center. Believe it or not, McLean is the chief operating officer of that very center, which, by the way, then Casey, once it went out that they were giving all this, you know, tons of money to this one center. And it's and it and it, it really hit at the hearts of the black community in Philadelphia because, quite frankly, the children's community centers uh, centers, as you know, many of them crumbling in disrepair, disrepair, plumbing problems, etc. And so they they paused that. They actually put a pause on that. They they pulled the earmark. Fetterman's staff, and here's what's interesting: U.S. Senator John Fetterman originally put out a tweet. Oh, had no idea pulling that. Then Fetterman put out. Oh, I had no idea. I don't know who put that out there. I yeah, didn't say that. I saw that. He doubled down, which makes you wonder, well, then who's running the social media and who's running things? Mm-hmm. But you can see how when when you look at this, the fact that this is the director of the, you know, of the center that got a million bucks, this goes, this situation, unfor- and that's why we we all knew this when we reported it. I just want to point out to you. We all knew this, and that's why when we first reported this here on Kale and Company, we were saying that this unfortunate trooper struck the worst lottery of the trifecta, mm-hmm. the worst luck ever yep. on this traffic stop. I wholeheartedly Right? Agree. That's what Nick, Greg, and I were talking about. Oh, yeah. Now you know what we were talking A lot of times we know the information. It's on background, but we can reveal all of this this morning. Right. And so... The trooper remains off the streets. Some of it's standard op- standard operating procedure, but we'll we'll we're following it. Okay. Just enough said. We'll talk about the Biden obviously so to so too last night. That's what we well that's what we call the State of the Union address. So too Biden last night. A lot on that. Although all of the <clears throat> all of the media a fiery speech, glowing A plus reports as we grade the actual speech, and then of course Katie Britt from her kitchen, giving the Republican rebuttal. And that's something that we see every time. Uh, So we want to talk about that. Another story I wanted to uh, bring to your attention, I will just say a Texas mother under arrest. This is making national headlines. She admits that she concocted a plan to get back at a bully at her son's school. And it backfired big time. So her 11-year-old son, and this is 45-year-old Jennifer Rossi, She's actually a a nurse. Her son came home every day, she says, and was being bullied at school. These are fifth grade little kids. Her son was being bullied. One of the ways he was being bullied is that his school lunch taken from him, and in particular, uh, his sports drink would be taken from his his Gatorade Mm -hmm. that he loves to have. Yep. It was taken from him. So mom says to her son, okay, I'm going to put a little, she put a little vinegar, a little salt, little uh, lemon juice squeezed into the Gatorade. And the bully had an allergic reaction and died. No, didn't. No, no, no. God forbid. But she just thought that the kid would spit it out and it would be like a prank. Yeah. That her son would have a way of getting back. Right. Well, mom's under arrest because the kid (laughs) swallowed. The kid, the bully didn't spit it out. He swallowed it in his vinegar. Okay. And then said, oh. And and what? Just went to the school nurse they made, a, you know, a big deal of this, oh, and God. so now mom's under arrest, facing child endangerment charges. Should have given the the, the bully the chicken patty. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're way over, guys. Oh, we are. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Harvest. <laughs> I need to get to uh, first Harvest Credit Union. I'm sorry. 
build stronger financial roots. First Harvest First Harvest Credit Union, open a growth savings account, earn as high as 3.5% annual percentage yield while having flexible access to funds. Visit firstharvestcu.com for details. Membership restrictions apply, insured by NCUA. Bright, sunny, 58 degrees, Friday, Kalen Company News Live. All right, Don, thank you very much. Cut sheet coming up in about 25 minutes. We'll still get to the uh, TikTok uh, ban pushback from teenagers and also the most alarming COVID story I think I have ever read in the history of COVID over the last four plus years. That's coming up next, but right now, a good word from our friends at the Piazza Auto Group, proud sponsor of Kale Pool Karaoke, which we just debuted for you about 15 minutes ago on social media. And I had the opportunity for that episode that you might have watched on social to drive the 2024 Honda Pilot Trail Sport, which features a seven mode drive system, trail watch multi camera view. So you got safety, security from every angle. You could actually interview somebody for 45 minutes and you're good. You can, and you can still drive because you have all the safety and security you could ever possibly imagine. Also comes with wireless Apple CarPlay. And for the families out there, third row seating is a great luxury to have. Also very good with off-road capabilities, gorgeous moonroof. And you can check out any of their models of the 2024 Pilot, including the Trail Sport and one of their five Piazza Honda locations. Philadelphia, Pottstown, Reading, Springfield, and Langhorn, or shop online. Check out all their inventory, piazzaautogroup.com. Get buckets with your first bet on FanDuel in partnership with Valley Forge Casino. It's America's number one sportsbook. Right now, new customers can get $150 in bonus bets with any winning $5 bet. That's $150 if your bet wins. You can bet on all your favorite NBA players and teams with quick bets, live same game parlays, exclusive props, and so much more. I love the FanDuel app. Just go to fanduel.com slash Greg. Fanduel.com slash Greg. FanDuel.com slash Greg. Sign up right now. What are you waiting for? Shoot your shot right now with FanDuel, the official sportsbook partner of 1210 WPHD and the NBA. 21 and over, President PA. First online real money wager only. $10 first deposit required. Bonus issued as now withdrawable bonus bets that expire seven days after receipt. See terms of sportsbook.fanduel.com. Gambling problem, please call 1 800 Gambler. My kitchen is the heart of my home. Dawn Stensland here. If your kitchen or bath is outdated, you need Kitchen Magic. Yeah, they're local in Pennsylvania. They have an experienced team which has transformed more than 60,000 spaces. A dedicated design consultant works with you on your choices for refacing custom cabinets, backsplash counters, and tub shower conversion. Right now, they're offering 12 months, no payments, no interest financing, and 10% off your remodel. Visit KitchenMagic.com. Tell them Dawn sent you. 14 years from today, Jen Gomez will transform her tiny backyard garden into an organic micro farm. All because she's future-proofing her house and garden today with home safety resources from AARP's Home Fit Guide so she can share her harvest with the community she loves for years to come. That's why the younger you are, the more you need AARP. Join AARP Philly for a free AARP Home Fit Workshop Saturday, March 16th at 12 p.m. Sign up at aarp.org slash your home. There's breaking news all day long from around the world, and sometimes all that noise makes it hard to hear about what's happening right here at home. With the free Odyssey app, getting your local news plus breaking news is easy. And even when you're not near a radio, stay connected with what's going on right here by listening live and push alerts. Just download the free Odyssey app and search and follow your local news station, and you're good to go. The local breaking news to get you through your day at your fingertips on the free Odyssey app. That's A-U-D-A-C-Y. Urgent Camp Lejeune settlement message. On September 6th, the government announced it will soon begin providing fast, guaranteed settlements to Camp Lejeune Marines, families, and civilians. Awards will range between $100,000 and $550,000, with an option for higher amounts. If you or a loved one spent time at Camp Lejeune and suffered cancers of the bladder, liver, or kidneys, leukemia, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, Parkinson's, or kidney issues, you may qualify for compensation and could be paid within 60 days after accepting your settlement with your VA benefits fully protected. You may be entitled to a significant financial award for your Camp Lejeune claim, but you must act now. Call the James Harris Law Camp Lejeune helpline now to get the compensation you deserve. We're already fighting for thousands harmed by the water at Camp Lejeune. Call now or you may forever lose your right to be awarded a settlement between $100,000 and $550,000. For your free evaluation, call 800-217-1155. That's 800-217-1155. 800-217-1155. Hi, this is Dom 
Giordano. I told you over the years about my great dentist friend and prosthodontist, Dr. Robert Bentz of the Bentz Dental Group. Well, his hygienist, Maria, very gentle in cleaning your teeth, but a taskmaster. One of her tips, brush on the inside of your teeth, Dom. Who knew? Get the same kind of care I got. Go to the Bentz Dental Group in East Norris and give them a call at 610-272-6949, BentzDentalGroup.com. 610-272-6949, BentzDentalGroup.com. This is Rhea Hughes with your invitation to experience everything Alexis makes you feel. From exhilarating performance to endless capability to inspiring electrification. Now through April 1st at the Invitation Alexis sales event at Lexus of Cherry Hill. Now a six-time J.D. Power Dealer of Excellence recipient for the customer sales experience. Visit LexusofCherryHill.com. Lexus of Cherry Hill, family owned and operated. For J.D. Power Dealer of Excellence information, visit JDPower.com slash U.S. dash DOE. And paid for by America First Tax Group. Attention, if you or your business is behind in filing your tax returns, or if you owe over $10,000 in back taxes to the IRS, please listen carefully. The IRS does not joke around and will not stop their collection efforts. If you're tired of the IRS letters, levies, liens, or wage garnishments and would like to get a fresh start, we can help. Due to the financial hardships in the country, the IRS is making it easier than ever to settle tax problems for those who owe more than $10,000. We can help settle your delinquent tax problems and all collections and may even reduce your back taxes significantly. Even if you can't afford to pay your back taxes, you can still get the help you need. We've helped thousands of taxpayers just like you, but you must call 800-908-7393 today to stop your tax problem from getting worse. The information is free and the help is real. Call 800-908-7393. That's 800-908-7393. Again, 800-908-7393. The IRS finally caught up with Louie. I hadn't paid my taxes in eight years. I owed the IRS a lot of money. Louie was in deep trouble. We're going to take your house, put a lien on your bank account, uh, garnish your pay. They don't care. They're going to take your paycheck. Louie found out about Optima Tax Relief, the leading tax resolution firm. A-plus rated by the Better Business Bureau, they've resolved over $1 billion for their clients. Optima Tax, they helped me. They calmed me down. They made me feel comfortable, and I trust them. Louie has a lot to be thankful for. I don't owe the IRS anymore, and I'm able to live a comfortable life, <laughs> a lot better life. It was because of Optima Tax. For tax help you can trust, call Optima now for a free consultation. Take it from Louie. If you owe the IRS, don't go in alone. Give Optima Tax a call. They can help you. Call 800-354-2840. 800-354-2840. Optima Tax Relief. Testimonial from an actual client. Some restrictions apply. For complete details, please visit OptimaTaxRelief.com. Talk Radio 1210, WPHT. Free speech lives here. Kelly Company, just over 15 minutes out from what's on the cut sheet, and we've got all sorts of good gems lined up. We'll get to that at 7.45 this morning. But the most amazing story I have ever read in the history of the COVID-19 pandemic, Rochelle Walensky, queen of the COVID shot, hold this German man's beer. For all of you... <laughs> This is amazing. For all of you COVID shot maniacs out there that just got booster number nine. Oh, and oh, by the way, uh, booster number 10 is available this fall. So if you want 10 total shots in four and a half years, you'll be able to get number 10 this fall. Um, but this individual is on his 217th COVID-19 vaccine shot and or booster. I kid you not. This is a true story. There is a man, a European man. Uh, he is a German man specifically who, according to reports, has received 217 COVID-19 vaccine shots and scientists are now studying him to see what in the world is going on inside of his body. According to a report by researchers released in the latest edition of the Lancet Infectious Disease Medical Journal, they found that this German man 
who claims he has had 217 COVID-19 shots. According to their official scientific research and evidence, they have only discovered 134 different COVID injections for this man over a nine-month study. This is, the I, I don't know how the guy ha- hasn't died. This is remarkable. Data shows that this man uh, multiple times received a shot every day for a two-week period of time, rotating which arm would be jabbed. By the way, this story uh, is on OutKick.com if you want to see it. I tweeted out the link to it just about two minutes ago on my Twitter feed. In the end, the man claims that he has received 217 shots over a 29-month period. So he's just about seven months shy of three years' worth of consistent COVID-19 jabs. Remarkably, this guy still has not had COVID-19, although, give it time, It's guaranteed to happen. Scientists say that despite the man having a ton of antibodies, they highly recommend not hitting up your local CVS and ripping 100-plus vaccines. Outkick in this writer goes on to say, rightfully so, considering the CDC has now admitted that they lied when they said people who were vaccinated wouldn't get COVID. I have never heard of something as outrageous as this. To be honest, I don't know, and like everybody runs in different circles. We all have different friends, different family members, different age groups, comorbidities, other issues that you know could require some people. Certainly, the the elderly population. If you've got diabetes or cancer, obviously, I think that's where the shot is the most effective. But I don't know about you guys, and I'm talking to Dawn, Greg, and this entire audience. I don't know a single soul in my life that has had more than three COVID shots. I think they just had the ninth booster available within the last handful of weeks. Forgive me for not keeping up on it. I've been out of the uh, the booster game for three years now. But the 10th shot is coming up this fall, which beyond this whole study with this German guy, what does that say about the COVID-19 shot where we are going to be four and a half years into the acknowledgement of a new virus circulating throughout the population, throughout communities. And some people feel the need to get a ninth and or a tenth shot. Like, think about that. I don't know that I've ever taken anything consistently in that regards, other than over-the-counter supplements. There was times where I took turmeric, I took magnesium, I took fish oil pills, you know, stuff like that, right? You, the stuff that you see in the vitamin aisle. But 10 shots in four and a half years? We talk about all the atrocities that were committed throughout throughout the pandemic, from lockdowns to shutting down businesses to forcing people to get vaccinated or be fired. But what does it say about Pfizer and Moderna that you have to keep rolling out an updated shot for something that most of us, if and when we contract it, it'll feel like the cold, the flu, or for a lot of us, and let's be honest, not, we really don't know unless we take the antibodies test. There's a good chance that a lot of us have had it multiple times and we're just mm-hmm. completely asymptomatic. But like, it, if if you need to get ten shots, or you feel the the if you have the desire to get a tenth shot, what does it say about that shot? It's not a vaccine. In fact, I don't even know what you would classify it as. And I'm not trying to sit here and say like I'm the most knowledgeable person on this specific subject but if somebody was telling me or advising me hey it might be worth getting your latest shot and i say well what what shot and they say well we just uh pfizer's rolling out the uh the 10th booster uh the week before halloween i would be like wait a minute hold on four years 48 months so in 48 months i'm gonna get 10 shots no thanks whatever whatever you're selling me obviously is not that important doesn't work to the level that you claim it does but i i'm i'm blown away by this i i read this entire report you can, i think in the outkick story you can click on the like the hyperlink in the story which will take you to the infectious diseases medical journal from lancet and i don't know if this guy was compensated for this if this was like a scientific experiment but there's no way in, in on god's green earth i'm ever getting <laughs> I, i'm not getting 10 shots <laughs> much less 134. It looks like this German man didn't, it, 
from all accounts, and I know it's in the New York Times, and everybody's oh, picked up the story of BBC, and um, it was originally, obviously, over in Europe. But I think that he had it. Then it started getting in the local newspapers. Then it started making, you know, it went viral. So then the researchers from the University of Erlangen, uh, Nuremberg, yeah. they called him and said, hey, would you come in? Give some saliva and blood. It looks like that's how it happened. That once the guy started saying for personal reasons, he had it 217. And so then the, then the researchers started just saying, oh, we're curious about this. Let's study. But it, so that's kind of a fascinating thing. I would love if they looked into this even more. Yeah, and we, we talked about all these stories of people that, you know, the younger generation out there that got the shot and ended up with myocarditis and having heart issues. I mean, I, I would love to know if this guy has any sort of inflammation of the heart muscle, like, you know, the whole myocarditis concept, you know, what other side of, like, what is going on in this guy's body to have that much uh, injection on... Who, who, what are the doctors... That are giving him these shots. I, I, I was going to wonder, because like, there's how's a that glut, legal? Because there's, there's a glut of these COVID vaccines, especially in Europe. So I think that what they're saying is he didn't, he could go into a local, whatever, your local CVS or whatever their version is. Yeah. So they wouldn't, it wouldn't necessarily, if it's your doctor's office, because they recommend so, against this. So did the Europeans kind of reject the, the, the concept of, of the COVID vaccine and the booster compared to Americans? I don't know. I, I don't think so. I just think that everybody, after you're vaccinated or you've had it, I think worldwide people are like, nah, I'm good. I've yeah. already had, right. you know, even if they had one booster or whatever. Because to my knowledge, most Americans have rejected the latest boosters in overwhelming numbers, like well over 85% of Americans, especially with children. I think a lot of, and again, I don't tell people how to parent, yeah. um, but I think a lot of parents have come out and said, no, my, my children are not getting, you know, the latest booster. They might have had the first and second shot, and that's it, if anything. Because for a while, they were the last, I think it was, they were the last age group yeah. that it was rolled out to, for right? emergency approval. Right. We started with senior citizens and worked our way down to you know, people in their 40s and 30s and 20s and then and then teenagers, right? Yeah. Yeah. So. As far as the myocarditis, and that's still, it's it's very, it's rare, except when you look in that age group of young males. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, we had callers at the time, people reacting from it, and we now know that there is that slight risk for especially teenage or maybe young males in their, you know, early 20s, early to mid-20s. And, and so I think that's another thing that did come out that mm -hmm. people didn't know about. Yep. 855-839-1210 if you would like to jump in. The cut sheet is coming up in just about seven minutes. Uh, we won't have time for the TikTok ban update from teenagers, but we'll get to that on the other side of the cut sheet this morning because the Utes, Gen Z, they finally found something they are fired up about. How dare you take away TikTok? I want to scroll and swipe endlessly until my brain turns to mush. We'll get to that after the cut sheet this morning. But on the other side, it's a Friday. Friday edition, fresh off the State of the Union address. All sorts of reactions coming in, and we'll delve into what's on the cut sheet with Greg Stocker coming up next here on Kale & Company on Talk Radio 1210 WPHT. Take me out to... A kid's game. We have to go. Take me out to the... Honey, please, just grab the cooler in his bat really. Root, root, root for the all-new Chevy lineup of SUVs at Hesser Chevrolet. Big enough for the family and all the stuff this baseball season. Hesser Chevy is your local home team with the largest availability of new Chevrolet's in Philadelphia, plus the largest selection of Silverados and tracks. No dealer will beat their price. More at HesserChevy.com. See dealer for details. No way no way at Hi, this is Joe Metterchick, PNC Bank Regional President. Down the corner, around the block, and maybe even in your parking lot, PNC continues to bring banking services closer to your door. Greater Philadelphia is now one of 10 regions where we've permanently introduced the PNC Bank Mobile Branch. This bank on wheels can be seen rolling up to community organizations across the Delaware Valley. On site and by your side, the PNC Mobile Branch is part of our commitment to supporting communities that need it most. PNC Bank, National Association, member FDIC. Are you tired of dealing with those old, inefficient windows in your house? Well, maybe it's time to go Guida. How about that drafty, beat-up-looking entry door? You've painted over more times than you can count. Well, go Guida. Need added protection from the elements with a new storm door? Go Guida. And what about that sliding patio door or garage door you've been meaning to replace? Go Guida. 
Whatever your home improvement needs are, I suggest you go Guida with the great people at Guida Door and Window. To help you get your project started, Guida is offering 20% off all windows and doors while allowing you to start your project with no money down and up to three full years to pay it off interest-free. That's right. Receive 20% instant savings with the luxury of paying off your project interest-free for up to 36 months. Restrictions apply, offers for a limited time, so what are you waiting for? It's time you finally go Guida. Call today to schedule a free in-home estimate at one eight seven seven go guida or visit them at goguida.com. That's go, G-U-I-D-A dot com. This is Larry Steinus with Investor Schooling. Do you know when the best time to buy investment properties is? It's now. It's always now. You just need to learn how to buy them correctly. Go to InvestorSchooling.com and sign up for a complimentary class this Thursday night and learn how to buy investment properties and make money every time. That's right. That's what we teach. We teach how to buy investment properties and make money every time. Go to InvestorSchooling.com and RSVP right now. Take a class this Thursday night at 7 o'clock. That's InvestorSchooling.com. This is Larry Steinitz with Investor Schooling. Don't go through life ignorant about how to become a millionaire. Learn how to invest in real estate, the stock market, precious metals, and learn from an expert. At Investor Schooling, we teach these things and more. We only provide education, and we will teach you how to leverage real estate, how to leverage the stock market, and how to leverage precious metals to make more money than you've ever made before. Go to InvestorSchooling.com and take a complimentary class this Thursday. We will see you there, InvestorSchooling.com. That's InvestorSchooling.com. Don't miss Dr. Marianne Ritchie, your radio doctor, Saturday afternoons at 5. Tune in for accurate information so you can make the right medical decisions. Your radio doctor, Dr. Marianne Ritchie, Saturday afternoons at 5 on Talk Radio 1210 WPHT. For more expert appliance shopping advice, here's National Appliance Warehouse's own appliance guru. Hello. Today's cutting-edge appliances are technologically advanced with many features designed to make life easier. To ensure the appliances you choose accomplish that, it's important to compare and explore a variety of options at once. That's why at National Appliance Warehouse, we created an incredible showroom for customers to do just that. Six times the size of an average chain store, our showroom is large enough to display the over 100 brands we sell. And I'm not the only guru. Our whole team of friendly professionals not only answer questions, but suggest questions to ask so that you end up with the perfect appliances for you. The Friends and Family Savings event is underway. Save on GE Appliances. Earn up to $3,000 rebate with purchase of select customizable cafe appliance suites. Shop an unmatched collection of GE, cafe, GE profile, and monogram appliances. Click nationalappliancewarehouse.com or visit their showroom in tax-free Wilmington today. Steamfitters Local Union 420 is a proud 120-year-old labor organization. We have been providing the petrochemical, nuclear, and energy industry with the safest and most highly skilled steamfitters, welders, and HVAC service techs. Our members have been trained in all aspects of the petrochemical, nuclear, and energy industry so that our welding and rigging procedures exceed the industry standard. Contact Steamfitters Local Union 420 for all of your energy-related needs and visit our website for more information at lu420.com. My father taught me never put yourself in a situation where you have to say you're sorry. Great advice, right? So why do you only have one key to your car? Seriously, don't wait until you're apologizing to your wife or husband, or even worse, your boss, because you lost your keys. Save yourself that headache. Head to McCausland Lock Service and get yourself a spare. You're supporting small business when you do and saving up to half of what you'd pay at a dealer. Call McCausland Lock Service for a quote today. 610-430-1500. 610-430-1500. For over a decade, NJ Diet has helped thousands of people lose a contractually guaranteed 20 to 40 plus pounds in only 40 days. That's nearly twice as fast as weight loss injections and without any of those nasty side effects. NJ Diet uses your hair and saliva along with scans to personalize natural solutions and supplements to get you to shed that fat quickly. NJ Diet uses your DNA info to help you keep the weight off. So call 855-5-NJ-DIET or go to njdiet.com. Get ready for spring with njdiet.com. Tune in to Crash Proof Retirement Show, Saturdays at 11 a.m. to hear Phil Canella and Joanne Small. The Crash Proof Retirement Show, Saturday mornings at 11 on Talk Radio 1210. Hey, Audubon. Audubon. Tell your smart speaker to play 1210 WPHT. WPHT.
744. Welcome back in Friday edition. It is Kale and Company here on Talk Radio 1210 WPHT. Nick Dawn and Greg as we head till 10 o'clock this morning. Still ahead, we'll get to our TikTok story update. Also, a California Democrat who came in third in a primary race this week is saying it was rigged. Uh Uh-oh. We have a rigged job. We'll get to that story. And wait till you hear what happened in Houston. You said rigged job, right? That's correct. Just making sure. John, I was just making sure I didn't know what he was talking about there. Rigged job. Rig. Gotcha. (laughs) Big rig. Big Big rig. rig. Big rig. Big rig. Also, wait till you hear what happened in Harris County, Texas, in the Houston area, as a district attorney went to vote on primary day, Super Tuesday in the state of Texas, and they told her, I'm sorry, somebody already voted in uh, your name, on your behalf. We're going to get to that story. <laughs> a lot of election shenanigans going on for Democrats. Oh, yeah. We'll get to that. But when a Republican brings it up, <laughs> it's just it's, it's craziness. All right, 746, let's get right to it. It's time for a Friday edition of What's on the Cut Sheet. What's on the Cut Sheet? What's on the Cut Sheet on this Friday is sponsored by Cherry Hill Volvo, where right now you can lease an XC40 for $459 or an XC90 for or for $629 per month. And interest rates as low as 4%. Hurry in. To Cherry Hill Volvo for details today. Check them out over at 70 in Cherry Hill. Cherry Hill Volvo, where relationships matter. Thank you, Judith and Yosef, for sponsoring the ever-important Friday edition, the post-State of the Union edition of What's on the Cut Sheet. Okay, let's get right into it here. Uh, last night's Joe, Biden, uh, Joe Biden's campaign speech <laughs> that he gave. <laughs> I just, Not the so too. I just, yes. Uh, He started off with talking about freedom and democracy and Putin and Russia and his predecessor. Yeah, what'd you make? All the stuff that you you make of that, using the word predecessor constantly. I've never heard, and you know, Don, maybe you can correct me here. I've never heard a State of the Union where where the sitting president has addressed the former president more times than than I've never heard any. Am I wrong? He's obsessed with them. Yeah, that many times because what 18. is... 18. Yeah, well, because basically abortion and yep. I'm not Trump. Yep. I mean, that's that's his whole platform. Yes, mm-hmm. the, the accomplishments are few and far between. Mm-hmm. So you have to... St- I, I mean, it was a really dark speech. It was dark it was, yes. it was like it started off really dark. Yep. Like, you think Putin's going to stop if, if, with... Ukraine is like, oh, my God, what are we getting into? World War Three here? What's happening? And by the way, I think there's a big difference between a fiery speech and an angry speech. That was an angry speech. Yes. Yeah. All right. Let's let's play some of this and I'll let uh, uh, you two react to it. This is cut eight. Phil, um, go. Not since President Lincoln and the Civil War have freedom and democracy been under assault at home as they are today. What makes our moment rare is the freedom and democracy are under attack at both at home and overseas at the very same time. <clears throat> overseas, Putin of Russia is on the march, invading Ukraine and sowing chaos throughout Europe and beyond. If anybody in this room thinks Putin will stop at Ukraine, I assure you he will not. Oh, boy. Mm. Sleep well, kiddies. Yeah. But Ukraine... Ukraine can stop Putin. Ukraine can stop Putin if we stand with Ukraine and provide the weapons that needs to defend itself. Interesting. Even Mike Johnson is nodding his head in that one. Mm -hmm. Yep. That is all. That is all Ukraine is asking. They're not asking for American soldiers. In fact, there are no American soldiers at war in Ukraine, and I'm determined to keep it that way. But now, assistance to Ukraine is being blocked by those who want to walk away from our world leadership. It wasn't long ago when a Republican president named Ronald Reagan thundered, Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. Now. (laughs) 
now my predecessor. A former Republican president tells Putin, quote, do whatever the hell you want. He's That's not. a quote. A former president actually said that, bowing down to a Russian leader, I think it's outrageous, it's dangerous, and it's unacceptable. <laughs> Johnson nodding his head there. He didn't clap there, but he nodded his head slightly in agreement there. Don, you were going to say something there about. No, I mean, that's not. He, he took. Nobody thinks that Trump ever said Putin do what you hey, Putin, uh, do what you want. It's just it's stupid. Yeah, he he's taking words that he may have said out of completely out of context. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, anybody who knows what Trump said, that was out of context and ridiculous and the fact that he's not being called out on that is just silly yeah i would also say the the uh, jury is still out on uh, mike johnson seems like uh, some people kind of like him a little bit other people are very skeptical of oh, him he's so dull i know he oh is. god oh yes he's definitely dull. dull i'm talking about the substance oh, though oh, and you know what he's you know what he stands for what he'll fight for and I'm talking superficial sorry you know that's fine <laughs> um Speaking of superficial, although I would argue this is probably not superficial, Joe Biden, once again, you know, he's very um, animated. He gets uh, very combative. He likes to shout. Um, To me, he reminds me of the like the sports talk or news talk radio host who only has one gear Mm. and just just barks incessantly. There's and people will say, well, no, Joe has an endearing side to him. You very rarely see it, and when you do, it kind of comes off a little bit creepy at this point in his life. Although, there must be some some schmoozing and um, in, endearing quality to him, because mm-hmm. you don't last as long as he has in politics oh, if, you, if you don't yeah. know how to play the game. I'm sure. going to say something, and all the tweets and the text messages and the YouTube chats are going to be like, oh, I can't believe you're saying this, but get over it, because I'm going to say it. Joe Biden is very good at politics. Mm-hmm. He is. He's 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 probably one of the best I've ever seen. And last night proved that not because I, I I liked the speech or agreed with the speech. I'm just saying that he he can turn it on. He can do politics when he wants to do it. He's very good at mm-hmm. that. I mean, I don't I don't let the hate start. No, yeah, well, I was <laughs> I was waiting for it to come in. No, I, I I don't disagree with that. And you can certainly disagree with the message, which I do. And obviously, more importantly than anything, because I'm like I said in the big take yesterday, uh, I'm past lip service. You know, State of the Union speech number four. You know, you get one honeymoon period in your first uh, speech because people are, you know, it's the it's the fresh thing, it's the new thing. Let's let's see where the nation goes and you know what direction this country is headed in under you know President X's leadership. But by the fourth time around, and a lot of people were tweeting this last night. This was almost, I don't want to say verbatim, but very similar to his 2023 and 2022 speeches. It was almost a copy and paste job with the same cliches, the same rhetoric. And I, I, I think, I could be wrong on this, almost the same order. He is led with, I believe, Russia, Ukraine for two he, straight, if not he, three. He definitely did it in 2022. That's a very good pull by you because he definitely did it in 2022. Okay. I don't know. I don't remember last year's because... Uh, Quite frankly, these 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 exercises, like the pomp and circumstance of it all, it's just it's so dumb. Oh, I know. It's so dumb. I, it, and I don't care if it's a Republican or Democrat. Walking down the aisle it's last just night. It's like, ladies and gentlemen, the president. Yeah. I was like, oh, God. But they that's – now I'm going to no, disagree. Oh, stop. I'm going to disagree. That's what they've done for, you know, hundreds of – this is this is the, the – tradition. Protocol. It's the tradition. So you and like it all. I do. I don't mind. I don't mind any of that because it's something that they've kept as a tra- uh, tradition. I, I don't mind it. I just, you know, the nonstop shaking of the hands. And, and I think what, what bothers most just average Americans that watch it is, especially for the people that believe politics is nothing more than a, a scrimmage where they, they butt heads and at the end of the day they're all buddies off the air. Well, you just, saw it last night as everybody was waiting. Like, to, yeah, we, We've never had a more divided political spectrum than we do right now. And yet you saw Republicans and Democrats, it, like, and it's like, it's all a sham, guys. Yeah. It's all a sham. But it's their they, tradition. They it's... keep us fighting, and they, well, that's and true. they get rich. Yes. I'm telling you. Well, of course. All we politicians all, we all are whores. Yes. All politicians are whores. Mike, uh, Mike Carr. I'm a capitalist and a corporate <laughs> whore. Mike, Mike Carr on the YouTube <laughs> chat says, I don't disagree with Greg, but being good at politics is a disgusting trait. I agree. Oh. I'm the one who says yeah. all the time, well, politics sucks. There's a difference between being good at politics and having good policies. 
policies exactly. that work. Exactly. Right. I said Joe Biden is good at politics. Right. He knows I didn't say anything to, else. He knows how to play. Because he's been doing it for 60 years. Right. He's a swamp creature. He's been there forever. And so the issue, though, is that most Ameri- – I mean, we don't have the ratings yet, I don't think. But the issue is most Americans, especially because the thing didn't even start on time. So I would prefer that they start the walk down the aisle. They should have scheduled it for Joe. Be there by 820. Mm-hmm. That way he would have been there by 840. <laughs> yeah. Nothing starts on time anymore. Do you know what I mean? Like right. back time it for him. Uh, it's painful. But, but yes, let's get back to what you were talking about, Nick Hale, about how it, waiting waiting for the speech last night and you saw everybody like it was a it was like a cocktail hour. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was like a cocktail hour of everybody, Democrats, Republicans, everybody, Joe Manchin and, and Mitt Romney sitting together. Everybody it, like it was like a saying. it was like watching it's, a wedding reception. It, it's all a show. Right. It's all mm-hmm. a scam. They keep us fighting. They keep us at each other's throats. Mm-hmm. And they're sitting there getting fat and rich. Yeah, while every get, single one of them. While we get played. Thank yeah. you. Now that is true. Yeah. But think about it. If everybody in the national and media said exactly what Greg Stocker said, mm-hmm. and right, if if everybody if on ABC, say Good Morning America, social media, if everybody was saying what Greg Stocker just said, then would that would that make a difference? I think it would, yeah. which is why the media this morning saying, "Oh, he was feisty, what a fiery speech, calling out and a threat to democracy," and blah blah blah. The media does matter. Yeah. No, you're totally right. It just, it, and I'm watching that last night, and that's why I said I used the analogy of a wedding reception. You have all the uh, other couples that are there, all the in-laws, all the cousins and relatives and friends and best men and best women, and they're all hobnobbing and exchanging pleasantries, and we're all just waiting for the bride and groom to come down so we can do th- go through the whole pomp and circumstance and go through the charade, and then we can move on with the rest of our lives, I, right? I was sitting there, f- literally, I wanted to flip through every channel because I'm just curious what everybody was and everybody was like okay so 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 and so is wearing this and and oh look so and so is talking to so and so i never thought and these people never see each other and oh it's great i'm just like what are you doing Mm -hmm. like these these are the people that are that are passing these bills this person is going to be the death of our society and democracy and they're yucking it up well and and that's a painful broadcast to sit Mm -hmm. through as a broadcaster because you're just sitting there trying to fill time now I was I did not flip around. I watched Fox and it, like Jesse Waters had like five or six different people coming on every like 30 seconds as guests and he was asking like the basically the same question to all of his. You could tell he was just trying to fill time so that they could get to the uh the official uh tossing of the uh of the state of the union and mm-hmm. let the uh, the rest of the uh broadcast kind of breathe and you know take it away himself like I would not want to be th- – those are the worst things to try to sit through as a broad – I mean, Dawn, I don't know how you do – and I know you guys plan everything, but, like, when you do the Mummers Parade, there's a lot of time that you have to fill, and that's, that, that's a very hmm. tough task. But that's – we we prepare for it, and not, it, all of that is prepared for. Yeah. So I thought Martha and, you know, Britt Bear, they handled it well. They prepped for it. You just do – and that's why, like, you know when we had our, like – 10 days off between yeah. Chris, that's what I was doing. Like, we're, and, we're prepping and researching, not to compare the Mummers. The Mummers Parade is way better than the So-To. And, let's, let's just put that out there. Well, and, yeah. Dawn, <laughs> and, and Dawn talks six hours a day, extempore. Like, she's she's prepared for this. You could you could fill time for the, yes. with the best of them. Yeah. Which is why these guys have to, like, Greg is, if you ever see him on YouTube, Greg is like this with me, and then I'm like, all right, I'll just... <laughs> And he's not being rude. It's just like he just turns me on and turns me off, you know? Oh, yeah, baby. Yeah. Oh, well, no, <laughs> That's I what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Our 10-year anniversary coming up soon. I'm just kidding. Dawn, you better keep your mouth closed. <laughs> uh, all right, let's get, let's, get yeah. back to the, let's get back to the cuts here. Um, so he, he started off the 20 minutes, the first 20 minutes of any State of the Union speech are the most important. That sets the tone for everything because, quite frankly, nobody sat through that entire thing last night. Everybody watched the first couple minutes and then moved on. Did you guys, I admit I fell asleep a couple times. Oh, I, I, I was. I turned I was it, like all, I turned it off at uh, 10.04, I think. I, I listened to it on the way in this morning. So that's that's what I did. Yeah, I had to re-listen to it too because I just kept dozing off. Yeah. Um. <laughs> so he he of course mentioned uh, he started off with democracy, freedom, Russia, Ukraine, and what does he move on to next? Uh, January sixth. This is cut nine. Phil, go. We will not bow down. I will 
will not bow down. In a literal sense, history is watching. History is watching. Just like history watched three years ago on January 6th. When insurrection stormed this very capital and placed a dagger to the throat of American democracy. No Many daggers, no guns. On that darkest of days. We all saw with our own eyes the insurrectionists were not patriots. They'd come to stop the peaceful transfer of power, to overturn the will of the people. January 6th lies about the 2020 election and the plots to steal the election posed a great, gravest threat to U.S. democracy since the Civil War. He's losing state. But they failed. America stood. Kamala stood. <laughs> and clapped. <laughs> Not a joke. Don't America jump. America stood strong and democracy prevailed. We must be honest. The threat to democracy must be defended. My predecessor and some of you here seek to bury the truth about January 6th. I will not do that. This is the moment to speak the truth and to bury the lies. Here's the simple truth. You can't love your country only when you win. Or you could certainly have questions when you lose as to how it happened. Although, I, you know, I'm tired of... I'm tired of people being labeled insurrectionists when nobody has been charged with Thank ins- you. insurrection. Nobody's been convicted, yes. and there were no daggers, no guns, no weapons. Yes. They're all And by the way, all those people, many of them who went to J6, the vast majority, hundreds of thousands who went home peacefully, Yeah, uh, they are certainly Second Amendment rights people who certainly could have brought their firearms. They chose not to. Mm-hmm. There's no evidence, to my knowledge. I'm serious here. When he says held the dagger, Mm -hmm. uh, to my knowledge, and I'll look through the court records, to my knowledge, there is zero evidence that anybody had any weapon or showed a weapon of any kind. I would argue right now that Mike Johnson's most important task in the next, let's call it, uh, you know, up until Easter, the next four to six weeks, you got to get the rest of that January 6th footage released. Now, it might fall on deaf ears. The mainstream media might not cover it, or they'll put their slant on it, or maybe most people have arrived at their own conclusion as to what they saw on January 6th and interpret it however they would like to interpret it, either far left, far right, somewhere in between, a combination of both, the gray area, on and on and on. But there's still thousands of hours of footage that needs to be released. And I'm you know, i not going to sit here and lie to my audience and say I'm going to comb through all of it, but I'm certainly going to watch watch a little bit of it, and I want to I want to see different angles. I want to see different areas of restricted areas. I want to see what people were doing. I'm di- I'm tired of just seeing that nut job Chansley walking around with that headdress on, and you know what they show you in a 13 second clip on CNN. And the Chewbacca bikini, as they call it, is that the one? Strange one dude. of them. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's go through the checklist here. And by the way, somebody asked how many times he said my predecessor. I read earlier this morning 18 times. Wow. He. He referenced my predecessor last night, um, which I think is a first for any State of the Union speech. Uh-huh. Um, so we started off with democracy, uh, freedom, yep. Russia, yep. Ukraine, yep. Uh, Jan six. Yep. What's next on um, on the bingo on, card? On the bingo, the card. Biden bingo card. Yes. Uh, I'll take uh, abortion for two hundred, Alex. Uh, you would be correct, Nick Kale. Okay. Uh, this is cut ten. Obviously, we said uh, that they were going to bring, they were going to make Kate Cox the woman uh, from Texas uh, who had to go to another state to get a, a, a an abortion. Uh, we she, she was going to be the. Uh, the linchpin, mm-hmm. the, the the you know, they were going to run on her oh, yeah. issue. And they, she was at the State of the Union last night, and they did exactly that. This is cut. ten filled. Go. My predecessor came to office determined to see Roe v. Wade overturned. He's the reason it was overturned, and he brags about it. Look at the chaos that has resulted. Join us tonight is Kate Cox, the wife and mother from Dallas. She's become pregnant again and had a fetus of a fatal condition. Her doctor told Kate that her own life and her ability to have children in the future were at risk if she didn't act. Because Texas law banned her ability to act, Kate and her husband had to leave the state to get what she needed. 
What her family got through should have never happened as well, but it's happening to too many others. There are state laws banning the freedom to choose, criminalizing doctors, forcing survivors of rape and incest to leave their states to get the treatment they need. Many of you in this chamber and my predecessor are promising to pass a national ban on reproductive freedom. There it was again. My God, what freedom else would you take away? Look, it's a decision to overturn Roe v. Wade. The Supreme Court majority wrote the following, and with all due respect, justices, women are not without electoral, electoral power. Uh, excuse me, electoral or political power. You're about to realize just how much you get right about that. I will say this about last night, too. If you guys don't think the Democrats are united, mm -hmm. you are uh, sorely mistaken. Oh, there's they no are, doubt. They are rallied behind Joe Biden yeah. like I've never seen before. They put on the faces, the smiles. I mean, they look like, you know, an yep. undefeated football team ready for battle. Yeah. Um, they know they're in trouble. Yeah. I, I would say this. If it wasn't for the overturning of Roe v. Wade, and I've said this in the p past couple of days, I think Trump would beat Biden this fall in a landslide. But that's not the case because— of what happened with Roe v. Wade, and you knew they were going to start tugging at the heartstrings of, uh, uh, at the you know, going after women and getting in their feelings and the emotions. You saw uh, that lady, Kate Cox from Texas, there with uh, people to her left and right holding her hand. Uh, you could see kind of the emotion on their face. It's, I mean, there's no doubt about it. It's an issue for Republicans, and it's going to continue to be until further notice, until anything changes. Um, and I don't know that. Because I've seen mixed reactions, um, and I only saw a few minutes of uh, Katie Britt, the senator from Alabama. There was a few people that thought that she was really crushing it last night, but most people, most people said they stop that they that. missed the mark. They need to stop with that because they, it never works out well for whoever does it. It just doesn't. Remember Marco Rubio with the water, and it's just oh, it, yeah. it's Sarah awkward. Huckabee did it one year, and she did a fantastic job. What yeah. did you think I, I, of of Britt, Don? I mean, this is this is in your wheelhouse as. A female issue did she did she deliver a good rebuttal to this or I think that if she, if she were a Democrat let's just say that did that same delivery that she would be a media darling she would be on Vogue magazine with a designer outfit and they would say isn't she fabulous and she's a woman and she's young and she's revolutionizing dot 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 I think that she she's never gonna win in the media mm. but I think she's you know She's young. She's never done this before. So it was – Republicans probably think, meh, she's, she's fine. But did she do what, for example, Sarah Huckabee Sanders rocked it? I would have had her again. I really would have. I would have had – I, I would have put uh, Governor Huck, Huckabee Sanders in there. The back, Again, she was she was fantastic. The backdrop, too, like, I'm going to play it right now. Uh, uh, the backdrop, too, with her in the kitchen. Yeah. I, I just, I, I don't know. I, I just. A lot of people were saying it came off too phony, like she was like, give her an Academy Award for that performance. I, I don't know. But what does that mean? So she was what? She was too good? She wasn't, like, well, sucking on a water bottle? And so, oh, well, she, oh, she's too good. Let's. Uh, They're going to make fun of her no matter what she did. Right. Let's Let's play a little bit of it if we will, and then we comment on it. 16, Phil, go. Meanwhile, the Chinese Communist Party is undercutting America's workers. China is buying up our farmland, spying on our military installations, and spreading propaganda through the likes of TikTok. You see, the CCP knows that if it conquers the minds of our next generation, it conquers America. And what does President Biden do? Well, he bans TikTok for government employees, but creates an account for his own campaign. Y'all, you can't make this stuff up. Look, we all recall when presidents faced national security threats with strength and resolve that seems like ancient history. Right now, our commander in chief is not in command. The free world deserves better 
than a dithering and diminished leader. Dithering. America deserves leaders who recognize that secure border. There you go. I, 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 it, I, no, I, I'll be honest. I've never, I've never listened to her speak before. It's a little I, affected. I, yes, I, that's it, just it. If she needed a coach. I wish I could coach her. Was she tr- almost like she's, what is it, cry? She's good at reading the. She's actually good at reading the prompter. I'll give her. You know what I mean. Yeah. She's fine at reading the prompter. Her delivery, what? But she's over the top as far as the affect. Just speak in a conversational way. Right. Mm-hmm. The speech. If you look at the copy, the, the the actual copy, it's very good. The speech itself, the words are yeah. fine. It's the. Greg nailed it. Sounds she, like there's like, too much affect. There's too yeah. much like soap opera ish yeah, like drama club stuff. Yeah, just leave that out. Just make it conversational. Right, right. Organic is always the way to go. Uh, by the way, Edward Sachs. Let me just get his co- quote up here. He says, "Stalker will be wrong. Layoffs will be the story of 2020, not a, or 2024. Excuse me, not abortion. I'm not kidding. Layoffs. I believe that. I'm not kidding. What is he talking about? Job layoffs." Yeah. I, I just keep, That's the story of 2024's election? Well, the, Layoffs? I think the economy is the story, and Bidenomics is the story, and right. migrants are the story. Well, the border has surpassed the economy. The economy is now number two. It will be immigra- well, I think they, they, immigration versus abortion. The end. But immigration melds with the economy because you're— because you are, we are experiencing this t- tough economy at the same time that we're paying for— a minimum of 7.3 million people and a max of 15 million. Those are the, the numbers. So who pays for all of it? Mm-hmm. So I, to me, the border is, is meshed with the economy. That's one issue. Yeah, yeah that's fair. Layoffs. All, all the states will put some sort of abortion measure and yep. weed on, on yep. the ballot, and that's going to get people out. That's I'm, the plan, which I'm is why you. Greg's exactly right. And so that's why we've been talking about why these— lo- the local elections matter because if state legislatures, including here in Pennsylvania, if the Democrats rule that or can get it to the point, we've talked a lot about this, can get it to the point where they tie it and then the lieutenant governor comes in and breaks the tie here in PA, then they can do exactly what Greg Stocker is talking about. But, By the way, but, uh, putting quick, things on the ballot. So like you, you said you said um, abortion and what else is on the ballot? The border, Greg's. No, no, Stalker said something. Abortion and there was two things. What you said, Greg. Abortion and immigration. Okay, I thought you said weed. Oh, 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 yeah. They're gonna on the put, ballot. Yeah, they're going to put some sort of okay. legalizing weed. You know what I mean? You think that really matters to people at this point? Yes. Oh, yeah, and it's course. proven. And it's going to get people out. He's going to get people to come out and vote who don't normally vote. Yes. I mean, hey, bro, like, they're going to legalize weed recreationally in our state. We should go vote. I, I mean, I, I, I'm not a user of marijuana, but I swear everywhere I go, people are just... Um, either vaping, I get on the Schuylkill, yeah. I can smell it from the car in front of me. I've 18 seen, year old. I see people walking around in retail establishments eating gummies. Yep. I like, I look around, I went like, in, is that really that a thing? I mean, I think people I, are just going to consume it regardless of whether it's legal. I got to tell you something, and you know me when it comes to this stuff. I, I'm, you know, I'm a live and let live person, but I took my son to the Willow Grove Mall a couple weeks ago, and we went into a toy store there. And th- the smell yeah. of pot uh-huh. was just like I'm like, what is right? What is that? like? Are people just smoking pot? In, That's what I'm saying. In That's stores why, now. I mean, maybe maybe you are right, and you probably are on the voting issue of it. But I just feel like people, whether it's legal or illegal, people just consume it, and they're probably not going to get arrested or pulled over for it anyway. Yeah, right. Um, there. Uh, uh, just to give you some headlines, pot vote may affect election turnout. Talking about redrawing redrawing the electoral maps as well Ugh. it's it's all driven by marijuana you know legalizing weed yeah, and mm-hmm. that sort of thing whether it's recreational or medical but all of this is definitely a strategy that the democrats have their eye on mm-hmm. and they've done this before it's a proven winner for them uh last night at this speech there's a lot of heckling going on last night not just marjorie taylor green there was a there was a there was a, a gold star father who we'll get to in one second who also heckled the president, um, but he got heckled. Somebody said liar. So I guess um, Mike Johnson's uh, demands fell on deaf ears after saying that Trump uh, failed at his duty to care. This is cut. Do 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 do. What cut are we at here? I'm so lost. Cut cut eleven. Phil, go. American lives of loved ones, millions left behind, a mental health crisis, of isolation and loneliness. A president, my predecessor, 
fail the most basic presidential duty that he owes to American people, the duty to care. I think that's unforgivable. I came to office determined to get us through one of the toughest periods in the nation's history. We have. It doesn't make new, but in a, news in a thousand cities and towns, the American people are writing the greatest comeback story never told. <laughs> you know, it's so ridiculous that any Democrat will sit here and talk about mental health, isolation, and loneliness of the pandemic. So obviously Trump, you know, it's March 2020. Trump's in his final uh, eight months in office. We don't really know what's going on with COVID, but all of the mental, in my opinion, and I don't really have any science or data to back it up. I'm just looking at the timeline of when COVID came around, when Biden took over in office and where I lived during the pandemic. Red states had far more freedoms, far less restrictions placed on them. Thank God I wasn't living in, in Philadelphia from 2020 through 2022 because I wouldn't have been able to deal with some of these ridiculous measures uh, that were placed that were they really were draconian measures. I don't think it's um, a buzzword to you. So a lot, a majority of this, I think, is on Democrats with restricting your freedoms, to be honest. Uh, no lib right, rights. Uh, if this is true, meaning uh, the abortion and weed issue, why is Trump ahead nationally by six? Again, not a national election. We go state by state. And there's about five swing states that actually matter and that are actually up for grabs. So look at those. Don't look at national polling. And if you believe the polls, dude, great. <laughs> like, I, I don't know what to tell you. Like, th this is 2022 all over again with this stuff. I'm just telling you. Yes, I believe it too. And, and let me say this again. If the election was held today on March 8th, is that what day today is? Yes, it is. 20, <laughs> 2024. Yeah. I do believe Donald Trump would win. Uh -huh. So, like, I'm just saying that it's going to be, the, the Democrats proved to me last night that they are they are prepared. They are they are rallying behind one another. And and they're going to they're going to do they're going to throw out every measure they possibly can to get people out in this election. As of March 8th. And if they do that. Yeah. Trump will lose. As of I'm March sorry. as of March 8th, March 8th, 2024, if it was not for Roe v. Wade, I would say right now, if the election was today, Trump would win and he would win in a landslide. But post Roe v. Wade, I do not think that is the case. And yes, you can look at all the polls you want. But remember. We saw it in 2022. The only place the red wave happened really was, was in Florida with Ron DeSantis. To me, in my opinion right now, if you had a gun to my head and said, Nick, how do you think the election is going to play out today? I still think Joe Biden's going to win, sad, as sad as that is, for a, a litany of reasons. What? Secret Squirrel on YouTube says... Katie Britt is the Greta Thunberg of the, of the Republican Party. Come that on. is hysterical. Secret Squirrel, you win. You Woo! win. Uh, She's YouTube far comments. better than Greta. It's far better. Yeah, they, you know, She's cute too, by the way. She, she is. is cute. Yeah, absolutely. Roll, roll She's funky. She's cute. Yeah, but think about this: Biden, Biden beat Trump by 24 points among voters under the age of 30 mm -hmm. in 2020. I sent you guys my little research packet, but all the things just within the last month or so talking about, you know, PA legalizing weed, it will it be on the ballot and looking at Shapiro, looking at all of this mm -hmm. and and think about this. Look at the media already knows this and the media is already pushing this because the media is always complicit. Mm -hmm. So that that should tell us something. Democrats know this. They've got their plan in play and Republicans always seem like they're behind the ball. Well, they shouldn't be. They've been given the blueprint, yep. right? Legal ballot Amen. harvesting, mail-in ballots, everything. You, you know what you have to do to beat Democrats. You, if, you, if you can put rest your head on the pillow, and I'm not talking about specific voters. I'm talking about the Republican Party in general, the RNC. If you can rest your head on the I, pillow at the end of the night saying you did everything possible and learned your lesson and you still lost, well, then it's out of your control. Let me say this, too. If you can't beat an 81-year-old Joe Biden— I've been saying that for two years. —meaning Republicans— in 2024, I don't know if you can ever win another election again. If you can't beat this rendition of the Democratic Party that has been hijacked by the left-wing progressives with all of their failed policies, all their absurd crime policies, and everything else, you're never going to beat them again post-Roe v. Wade, in my opinion, because I don't see them being more inept, being as bad of public speakers as they are. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, if, if the Democrats ditched 
all of the DEI identity politics and slid back more to the classic liberal or even further right to being a moderate Democrat, the GOP is dead as you know it. Yeah. Dead. And I I predict that if, God forbid, all of this plays out as, you know, we fear that it could, then I believe there will be there will be a purge and it will be a deep purge within the GOP and the Republican Party. Leadership has been a disaster, number one. But number two, for the American people, think about what Joe Biden started his so to speech with last night. He started with the New Deal, which is heavily criticized mm-hmm. as the beginning of, if you will, the redistribution of wealth. That was yep. FD, what FDR... You're talking about FDR's New Deal, yep. The okay. New Deal was yep. a disaster. It was never proven, although, you know, I know people will say, oh, yes, it was, and they needed it at the time. Not really. The, if you really study what they did as far as jobs, and for union workers, really should look at this and think about it, because it was job crushing. It was small business person crushing. Mm-hmm. And that's what... That's what Joe Biden started out his speech with. That's what we should be paying attention to. Mm -hmm. And that's to our sneaky squirrel. What's his head? Secret squirrel. Secret, I mean, not sneaky. (laughs) Secret squirrel. That's what he, I think, is playing to. Think about the economy. Think about what this means. If Democrats win again, we are doomed. Well, and, and like I said, if Democrats slide back to more common sense, you're certainly even in deeper trouble. But that doesn't mean that Republicans in the modern day rendition of the Republican Party under Trump needs to go back to the old guard of Bush because we're rejecting that. Like, I mean, you talk about the concept of populism where Trump is basically and I believe Trump's a populist, which I, I kind of adhere to myself because really the definition of populism is ordinary people who feel that their concerns have been completely disregarded, you know, by the established political elites. That's what we want. That's what we're so done with, I think, at least me personally. I'm tired of the lifelong swamp creature, the uniparty that only focuses on their interests. And I think, honestly, and we're never going to get another Trump again, but that, that doesn't mean that the Trump style can't work because it resonates with so many people. And Dawn has said it. Trump didn't create the MAGA movement. He mm-hmm. ant- There was a demand for it, yeah. and he sees the opportunity. Yes. I, I think that we will see, and we are seeing a purge within the media. You know, young, let's, let's look at those younger voters, and that's really at play here. Those younger voters are so done with, with all of this. But w- with regard to the swamp, that's really what is at the heart of this. And so we did see Mitch McConnell. He's leaving now knowing that Trump is obviously going to be the nominee as as early as next week is the presumptive nominee. But can Trump win? And if he does, then the swamp, you know, the swamp creatures on both sides of the aisle, you see, Mm -hmm. that's the piece of it that nobody's talking about. The swamp creatures who exist within the GOP, they're resisting Trump, too. And that's what everybody has to wake up to. Right. Uh. Last night, too, there was a lot of heckling, but I think whoever wrote the speech or the group of people that wrote the State of the Union speech last night, I think they put stuff in there knowing that it was going to get a reaction from Republicans. And Joe Biden almost goaded them. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, like that's Absolutely. What, that's why this was a – when you said earlier, Dawn, that, that uh, the Republicans, Marjorie Taylor Greene, kind of played right into his hands – by doing this, it does seem that he was prepared for heckling because of all the incendiary things that he was saying. First, it started with uh, trillion dollar tax cuts and uh, somebody said something and he goes, oh, you guys don't want another two trillion dollar tax cut. That's good to hear. This is cut 12. Uh, Phil, go. The working people. The working people who built this country pay more into Social Security than millionaires and billionaires do. It's not fair. We have two ways to go. Republicans can cut Social Security and give more tax breaks to the wealthy. I will. That's the proposal. Oh, no. You guys don't want another $2 trillion tax cut? In his face. I kind of thought that's what your plan was. Well, that's good to hear. You're not going to cut another $2 trillion for the super wealth. That's good to hear. 
I'll protect and strengthen Social Security and make the wealthy pay their fair share. That was all. That was all planned. Yep. Yeah. No, you're all right. Planned. All planned. You you got played. Yep. Good job. Yeah. Good you job, know, GOP. Ding dings. But think about got the played. think about the audacity of that guy to sit up there and talk about paying your fair share of taxes when his son's been cheating taxes for years. <laughs> <laughs> like, seriously, like, dude, you know, stay in your own house, man. Yeah. Like, you know, and then, oh, by the way, did you know this? Over half of Americans pay zero in federal income tax. Do you realize that? I, I got to say this, too. Like, I said this earlier. Uh, the Trump campaign should demand equal time because that was a that was a political <laughs> campaign speech. Yeah. That's I'm, the advantage of the incumbent. I'm dead serious. He He should say, hey, you know what? ABC, NBC, CBS, Fox, whatever, you gave this guy... 90 minutes? Give me 90 minutes. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Or let's just get on a debate stage and have at it right now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then Marjorie Taylor Greene also took the bait. Heckles Joe Biden. Uh, kind of bullies him into saying, I believe bullied him into saying uh, the name of Lake and Riley, and then he misspoke and mispronounced it, said the wrong name. Uh, Dawn thinks that this was all planned out. Mm -hmm. uh, this is cut 13, Phil, go. Trail this bill so far. I'm told my predecessor called members of Congress in the Senate to demand they block the bill. He feels political win, he viewed it as a, would be a political win for me and a political loser for him. It's not about him, it's not about me. I'd be a winner, not really. I, But you're right, Don, because he's right down there yep. and he has the... He's... Lincoln! Lincoln Riley. Lincoln. An oh innocent young woman who oh was killed by an illegal. That's right. Oh, boy. But how many of thousands of people being killed by illegals? To her parents, I say, my heart goes out to you, having lost children myself. I understand. But look, if we change the dynamic at the border... People pay people. People pay these smugglers eight thousand bucks to get across the border because they know if they get by, if they get by and let into the country, it's six to eight years before they have a hearing, and it's worth the, taking the chance of the eight thousand dollars. But, but if it's only six months, six weeks, the idea is it's highly unlikely that people will pay that money and come all that way, knowing that they'll be able to be kicked out quickly. Folks, I would respectfully say to suggest my, friend, my Republican friends owe it to the American people, get this bill done. We need to act now. For all of you who are unaware, Lincoln Riley is the head football coach at USC. Oh my God. So to me, and I know, Dawn, you have your observations on this as well, I just look at it from compounding mistakes. So yeah. you created this border crisis. You don't mention the name Lakin Riley. And then when you finally address it, you butcher the name. And then you tick off your own party by using the word illegals to the point yeah. where Nancy Pelosi looks like she wants to cut his throat. Yeah, it's it's unbel it is shock we should be shocked and disappointed although we're not shocked <laughs> at the so-called mainstream media for not calling any of this out and the fact that he is quoting FDR I, do you know what a disaster that is and the fact that nobody knows their history apparently nobody i mean if you look at the new deal programs they were precedent setting for the federal government to play a key role in the economic and social affairs of our nation, crushing the middle class. Mm -hmm. And by the way, even back in the day, FDR, when he said, oh, he was, you know, taxing the rich, they, of course, found tax shelters. Who did it hurt back then? Mm -hmm. It hurt the working class and middle class. Of course. The fact that nobody, I mean, we say, of course, like, Nick, we know this, and all of us know this, right? Yep. But the mainstream, look at the headlines, look around us. We're surrounded by a media that is ignoring history mm -hmm. with a president who's been a disaster, who's quoting and proud yeah. about FDR and touting it. Oh, my goodness. Think about the reallocation of wealth and the redistribution of it over the last four Holy years. Holy moly. Mm -hmm. By the way, streaming live on YouTube, youtube.com slash at 1210WPHD. If you're watching right now, we have a lot of uh, new viewers. We have a lot of people listening on the Odyssey app. So please, if you're watching on YouTube, please hit the subscribe button if you have not done so. And also hit the like button on today's show. Hit the like button, the little thumbs up button there. And if you're listening on the Odyssey app, please, I implore you uh, on the 
1210 WPHT like page there on your phone mm -hmm. on the upper right hand corner. There's a little follow button. Please yeah. click that follow button. We're getting to where I want to be. I saw a number yesterday that I'm oh, really happy with, and I okay. really want to. I really want to keep that up. So make All sure right. you hit the follow well, button. Two years of pandering paying off. <laughs> um, uh, speaking of immigration. By the way, Nick, you said earlier that how long did it take him to get to immigration? I think 34 minutes. Wow. 34 minutes into a speech. And I said earlier, the first 20 minutes is what you want to focus that speech on because that's really all the American people are sitting there for. I, and I think you're being generous with the 20 minutes because the attention spans of Americans is dwindling mm -hmm. by the day. I'm interested to see what the uh, ratings are for last night's. What did I say? 25 million? I, I have it written was somewhere. 30? But, but yeah, because I think 27 million was the 2023 one. So. And you were somewhere in between us. Yeah. Um, I'm moving on to cut 14 here. He talked about uh, the immigration bill and um, again, kind of goading them into uh, heckling him, which is was I think was the theme of last night. Cut 14, Phil, go. And so does this. In November, my team began serious negotiation with a bipartisan group of senators. The result was a bipartisan bill with the toughest set of border security reforms we've ever seen. Oh, you don't think so? Oh, you don't like that bill, huh? That conservatives got together and said it was a good bill? I'll be darned. That's amazing. That bipartisan bill would hire 1,500 more security agents and officers, 100 more immigration judges to help tackle the backload of two men in cases, 4,300 more asylum officers, and new policies so they can resolve cases in six months instead of six years now. What are you against? One hundred more high-tech drug detection machines to significantly increase the ability to screen and stop vehicles smuggling fentanyl into America. That's killing thousands of children. This bill would save lives and bring order to the border. It would also give me and any new president new emergency authority to temporarily shut down the border when the number of migrants at the border is overwhelming. The Border Patrol Union has endorsed this bill. The Federal Chamber of Commerce is... Yeah, yeah. You're saying, no, oh, look at the facts. I know... I know you know how to read. Look at Mike Johnson's face. I'm telling you guys, he was he was uber prepared last night. Yep. He really was. He, you know, it's interesting. So we talk about that border bill. So you want to spend more and more money uh, as we sit here, what, $34 trillion in debt. And, of course, well, if you want some border security, you got to give me what I want with Ukraine. The reality is this. He created this mess with 94 reversals of the stroke of a pen in 100 days. He undid 94 executive orders from Trump. All he has to do is just legitimately pull out the pen and re put the, reinsert those, and you don't even need to spend any additional funding. You don't have to have a give and take and a this and a that with Ukraine and Russia, but he doesn't want to do it. So, you know what? I don't blame him at this point. Sadly, I know that's that's hard to, harsh to say. You know, Lake and Riley's dead and others will be killed, but wh why should Republicans bail Joe out now in, in April of an election year? Why? Uh, a gold star father was removed from the State of the Union last night. This uh, He heckled the president and then got escorted out after Biden claims that America is safer today. I'll explain who this man is after I play this cut. This is cut 15, Phil, go. To state the obvious, all Americans deserve the freedom to be safe. And America is safer today than when I took office. Year before I took office, murder rates went up 30 percent. 30 percent they went up. The biggest increase in history. It was then, through, no, through my American Rescue Plan, which every American voted against, I'm mad at, we made the largest investment in public safety ever. So that was um, Steve Newt Nikuyu. Okay. Whose son, Kareem, 
uh, was killed during uh, Joe Biden's disastrous Afghanistan withdrawal. Steve was screaming, United States Marines and Abbey Gate. Okay. So that's, uh, he's a gold star father whose son, whose son was killed in Afghanistan. So he's claiming the United States of America is safer today than it was three or four years ago. That's fascinating. I, I don't recall the National Guard being deployed to New York City public transportation and transit and subways. I don't recall um, Dawn giving us the news uh, where, you know, so many kids were shot um, in what was it Dawn? four and four days for the week. Yeah, four shootings in as many days. And even if statistics show uh, the opposite of what people feel, at the end of the day, it's just like the economy. If people aren't feeling it, then that's ultimately what matters, right? Yep. Yeah. Um, I played this earlier, but before we uh, before we go to break here, I want to play it again. <laughs> Trump, Trump, uh, Trump put this on his Instagram account uh, last night. If you're watching right now on YouTube, you can see this. Go over to YouTube, youtube.com slash at 1210WPHT if you want to see that. He put a little uh, snap Snapchat uh, filters. My daughters do this. On <laughs> on uh, the president and the vice president. So if you want to see this, youtube.com slash at 1210WPHT. One more time for the late tuners inners. You like that? I do. Late tuners inners. Might hashtag that. Late tuners inners. Uh, this is cut 18, Phil Go. We're going to buy America. Look at Kamala's face. That's when Kamala's stone. <laughs> Some good weed. <laughs> Why America's been the law since 1933. Also, Cap, so who's going to go into effect until 2025? Kamala looks good in pink By the way, yeah. that law was written. Pinocchio Joe. And the benefit expires in 2025. Some of those rings dropping. New though. electric grids. <laughs> they're able to weather major storms and not. Now, what animal is that? Uh, that that looks like a like a hyena or one of those one of those. Yippy dogs. Oh, yeah. Those little you know purse I mean? dogs. Yeah, those little purse dogs. Yeah, I've got yeah. no interest in those. Abbey Gate is, is the terminology for what happened when the 13 service members yep. yeah. in Afghanistan. Yeah, yep. just for anybody who... Yeah, thank you for clarifying that. Okay. Abbey Gate. I'll tell you what, that... <laughs> It was a fight. It was a. It was a very. Um, a lot happened. It was a State of the Union that I that that had a lot of uh, uh, pee and vinegar. Oh, gave us a lot of content. It did. Been yeah. talking about it for two and a half hours. <laughs> Thank you, Joe. Eight five five eight three nine twelve ten. That'll do it for round one of the cut sheet. We'll come back. Get to Dawn's big three at eight forty four ish. Or or the YouTube chat will say, why don't you just wait till nine o'clock? Yeah. Because as you know, folks, you're starting to learn. The big three, it floats. <laughs> it bobs and weaves. And we're back after this on Kale & Company. You know, for my family, we go to the Piazza Auto Group 100%. Customers, and you know I've talked about Piazza for years now, want to give a shout-out and a warm welcome to some new members of the Piazza Auto Group family, Infinity Ardmore and Maserati of the Mainline, both located right there on Lancaster Avenue in the luxury collection of brands that continues to grow, you, of course, are going to receive the same first-class customer experience you've come to expect from the Piazza Auto Group and Piazza Premium Automobiles. So find your new or certified pre-owned Infiniti, Maserati, or other Piazza luxury brands like Jaguar, Land Rover, Mercedes-Benz, BMW, some of the most beautiful, powerful vehicles on the roads right now. Just check them out, piazzapremiumautos.com, P-I-A-Z-Z-A, PiazzaPremiumAutos.com. Tell them Dawn sent you. You're all set with your new Navian water heater. I can't wait to take a shower without running out of hot water. I'm just going to love my Navian tankless water heater. I just want to say thank Oh, no need to say that, ma'am. You'll always love Navian's high efficiency that will save you money on gas bills compared to other water heaters. I love how I have more space with its wall hanging design. Please let me say thank Nope. Sorry, miss. I know you appreciate it, but I can't let you say it. Why not? Because with Navian, it's a tankless job. How long have you been waiting to use that? You'd be surprised. Find a Navian installer near you at tanklessmadesimple.com. You've heard it said, he's a diamond in the rough. Or maybe, diamonds are forever. Here's something else I've learned about diamonds. They're just pieces of coal put under pressure for a long, long, long time. So when I start feeling like I want to give up, I think about that little piece of coal. And if that piece of coal can make something of itself by not giving up, so can I. Persistence is in you. Pass it on. From passiton.com. 
Hi, this is Dom Giordano. You've been hearing me talk about Rescue Supplements for years. Well, Rescue Natural Supplements has launched a free personalized health survey that prioritizes all of your health goals. Whether you've been taking Rescue products for years or don't know where to start, in just five minutes, discover tailored Rescue Supplements that will fill the gaps in your nutritional needs. That means no more guessing on products at the store, ignoring these issues altogether. The best part? Right now, you get a whopping 50% off recommendation products after completing the survey to get started go to res-q.life again that's res-q.life or call 800-26-ALIVE 800-262-5483 get help from a knowledgeable rescue product consultant I took the short survey let me tell you I was blown away to see my results so don't wait visit res-q.life and get 50% off recommended products today over 10 years ago, we realized how important saving family memories was, and we wanted to help. The Legacy Box started from that passion and has now helped over a million families digitally preserve their film reels, VHS tapes, and photos. Hi, I'm Nick. And I'm Adam. What started with the two of us in a garage is now over 200 trained professionals. Legacy Box is a safe and secure way to put all your favorite family memories on an easy-to-view digital format like a thumb drive, DVD, or the cloud. We ship you a sturdy Legacy Box to fill with all your outdated media, safety barcodes to track your items throughout the process, and a prepaid mailing label. Legacy Box has been featured by Good Morning America and The Today Show. Not bad for two kids in a garage. That's true, Nick. And here's the best part. We always wanted to make it affordable to preserve your entire collection, so we're offering 50% off. Visit LegacyBox.com slash value to take advantage of this exclusive offer. That's LegacyBox.com slash value to save 50%. LegacyBox.com slash value. Be sure to follow Talk Radio 1210 WPHT on the free Odyssey app. Download it now. Eight forty one, Kelly Company. It's a Friday morning here on Talk Radio twelve ten WPHT. Nick Dawn and Greg as we head till ten o'clock. Round two of the cut sheet coming up in just about forty five minutes. And also still ahead this morning, we have to get to these two stories uh, in the world of elections when it comes to California and Texas. Stay tuned for that, and also the pushback. From Gen Z. Gen Z finally found something that motivates them, <laughs> and it's the alleged TikTok ban. The Utes will not stand for it. Damn you, Congress, they say. We'll get to that coming up in just a little bit. Also, uh, we debuted the first episode of Kale Pool Karaoke this morning. Check out the video on all of our social media feeds. The first guest was Patrick Murphy, uh, the first elected member of Congress post Iraq War from 2003. So uh, he will be joining us at the Travis Mannion Foundation as a guest, and uh, you get a little glimpse into his life if you want to check out the video on Twitter, Instagram, uh, Snapchat, Insta, uh, TikTok, uh, whatever. What else Facebook. do we have? Facebook. Facebook. Uh, is it going to be on YouTube as well? I don't know. You don't know. I have no idea. All right. Good talk. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> 843. Let's get the news. Don Stenzel with the Big 3 at 8. It's the Big 3 at 8 on Kale & Company. Good morning, Kale & Company News live this morning. Number one, since you mentioned this, I want the update on the Gold Star dad who was actually arrested by Capitol Police. Arrested? No Arrested way. and arrested. charged. Oh, my God. For so, shouting? Yes. Yes. Wow. He is Steve... Nikau uh, yelling, and by the way, Philadelphia Mayor Sherelle Parker sitting right behind him. Oh, my God. If you notice that. I did not notice that. Wow. So he was Gold Star father. Um, he's the father of a Marine who was murdered that day during, you know, in Afghanistan. Uh-huh. Capitol Police escorting the dad out of the chamber at 1015, took him into custody, charged him with crowding, obstructing, in in commoting Congress, he charged him with multiple misdemeanors. Who was he invited by? It's a great question. A Republican from Florida, yes. Okay. 
Uh, Phil, while Dawn is talking about this, can you just roll the video as yeah. kind of be real? So you can see Sherelle Parker. So you can see, yeah, so you can see what we're talking about. Uh, this is, uh, what cut is that? Cut 15, yeah. You, you can continue. Okay. Um, and his son, Lance Corporal Kareem Nikau, was killed by a suicide bomber outside uh, Kabul's Air, International Airport while trying to process the evacuees and help all of those individuals out amid that botched Biden-Afghanistan withdrawal in the in August of 2021 that we've talked about. Obviously, that, in to, that the total was 13 U.S. service right, members right killed. Right there it is. Actually, pause it if you can, Phil. You can, oh, yeah. Yep. yeah. Two yeah. seats behind, directly behind, you see Sherelle Parker and another yep. lady. Yep. Oh, yeah, look at that. See? Right there they are. Yep. Wow. So there were other Gold Star father, other Gold Star dads who were there, but, you know, he's a... a Bereaved, he's a grieving dad. There's a priest in front of him. Yep. <laughs> so uh, he's going to get the book thrown at him, guys. I know. Let you yeah, know. they're going to give him the electric chair. <laughs> I, I mean, so uh, now I don't know what the rules are for invitees versus other members of elected office. So it's okay when Marjorie Taylor Greene shouts, but this guy shouts and, and he gets arrested. He was arrested and charged, escorted <sighs> out. I do not know if he was handcuffed. Probably shackled I don't know him. if he was cuffed by pol- Capitol Police, but they escorted him out. He and uh, they arrested him. They placed him under arrest, and he was in their custody. And he's charged with multiple different charges that they're only misdemeanors, and I think it's a fifty dollar fine per. But I hope that they drop the charges. But as of this morning, that's he is charged. There's Biden's uh, DOJ. I'm guessing. I'm guessing at some point uh, he's going to be woken up by uh, eight or nine FBI agents uh, at 7 a.m. on a Saturday storming down his door to find out what, you know, is Is he he a threat to democracy? Is he into QAnon or who did he vote for? Has, have they, have they scoured his social media pages? Yep. Oh boy. He he was yelling, you know, so he's a grieving dad yelling. He didn't care and referencing as well to the $7 billion, you know, worth of U S military equipment that was left behind mm-hmm. in Afghanistan, obviously, when the Taliban took over. By the way, any father would have done the same thing. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yep. So, Amen. I mean, yeah, what a, few, do? a few misdemeanors is worth it. <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. I can't believe they arrested they him. actually arrested this Man. guy. <laughs> it's a sin, it as, we, as we talk about. Um, so uh, we have that. We have, and number two, I'm going to take you to a, to a much lighter note here. Boathouse Row, and this has gone viral, which is kind of a cool story, as Boathouse Row glowing once again after this uh, two-plus million dollar upgrade. It's it's pretty neat, and I will point out to you that at least eight hundred grand that I that I can see was was raised by because the boathouses, if you know, they fought off the history. They're independently owned. And so many of them, the clubs, had these huge fundraisers to do this, to do the revamp of the lighting. And this has taken about a year that Boathouse Row has been dark. Lights were turned on last night during this really wonderful ceremony, people just celebrating something positive. And so they have the big, you know, the big um, celebration. It was a great night. Thank goodness the weather, the rain had stopped by then. But they were, you know, revealing this last night at a wonderful celebration. And by the way, I might add that as they celebrated this, we all learned that among these 6,400 LED lights, new technology, and so it'll last longer, but as well, they can not only make them different colors, which we knew, they can make them sort of sparkle and do all these different things, but we learned that, in fact, you can rent it out at a cost, and shout out to IBEW who took part in this, so union jobs were at play. But actually, you can rent it out. Hmm. I still can't find the cost, and I guess it depends. Because actually, full disclosure, we rented out a boathouse, the top of it for Jonathan's, for my stepson's high school graduation from oh, really? Creative and Performing Arts back in the day. So you can rent this. But now you can rent out for your, let's say, your charity event or something of that nature or WPHT or celebrating. Yes. And you so you could rent it out, you know, red, white, and blue or for your you know, teal event or whatever. Mm -hmm. You could do the color, do the blinking, and you could rent it out and 
pay for the lights to flash for your, I don't know, oh. somebody's birthday, etc. cetera. Right. Uh, happy birthday, Rich Cioli. I know he hates when we mention birthdays, but his birthday is Sunday. So. Oh, it's a Sunday? Well, he's going to kill me, but happy birthday. Happy Zioli. 35th, Rich. Yeah. 29. We're all 29 yeah. and holding. Yeah, Rich has been 35 for <laughs> 15 years. Um, uh, by the way, getting back to that protesting thing for a second, I'm just yes. curious, the the, the, the the protesters that that, that marched down seventy six and stopped traffic and I'm mean, like, are they arrested? And no, no, they sir. were given a medal of Shackled. valor. Yeah. Okay. Oh no, yeah. they got us. Then they get a key to the city. They got a. Also, the city paid them. Yes. For for those who were arrested at the time. Yeah. They got you the know candidates. six figure settlements. Yeah. I'm just I'm just curious. For. Like I thought we had a we had a right to protest in this country. Like that's our that's our that's our given right. I know. Isn't it? I know. Good point. I just, I, 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 this, this what story did he do to me deserve off? being arrested? Yelled out, shouted out. I know, out. but they I say mean, he's a disruptor. I mean, everybody was yelling there. The whole yeah. thing was like the like a, a paper a wrestling pay per view. It really was. It, and this guy, yeah, this guy shouts out. Yeah, he'd have been better off holding up an Austin three sixteen sign. Jared. I'd rather be in China. <laughs> D H Y N A. Uh, number three for a big three. I will just say schools are closing. And do you know why they're closing across uh, the region? New variant of COVID. Well, we know that schools across, I know New Jersey, there's an entire district, but schools are closing across the nation and in our region because of the solar eclipse. Solar eclipse? Wait, closing what? schools. Yeah. They're closing schools for the solar eclipse? Yeah. I'm not, you can't make this stuff up. Well, you know. <laughs> gotta go, gotta go. So are, we, are they going to do virtual with Zoom or is it the whole day just a shutdown day? They're doing, um, there are many, for example, in, I know, Erie County, Pennsylvania, across New Jersey, a lot of these different schools. Now, by, not because President Joe Biden is going to be in Montgomery County today, by the way, but it's not because of that. It's, it's because of the solar eclipse. I'm not making this up. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> does, does anybody want to teach anymore? No. Does anybody want to go to school and be educated anymore? No. Nope. Why don't we just make school optional? For teachers, for students, for parents, yeah, yeah, show up if you want. What the hell? We wait, wait. We we were debating <laughs> keeping kids learning virtually during snowstorms, mm -hmm. but but we're gonna give them all for the solar eclipse. Yeah, the upcoming solar gotcha. eclipse because we haven't seen this since the 1920s, mm -hmm. and so they're saying that we got to do this, and they're gonna cancel the schools, and that's it's upcoming. I believe it's April. I think I believe it's April eighth. Mm. If I'm not mistaken, so it's it it's not today, and it's not because Biden's visiting our area. Just want to put that out there, but this is the big announcement that we're hearing. April eighth, twenty twenty four. Many schools across the nation, including our area, they're giving the kids the day off to see this solar eclipse. Mm. <laughs> Great true story. <laughs> Math and reading levels fall behind yes. even further. However, schools will be in session today with Joe Biden visiting Montgomery County. So, uh, oh, he's back in Philadelphia. Yes, yeah, so shocking. Oh, is, he going, is he going to the community college again? It's not the community college, but it actually it, it's in Nick Hale. Just stay put. Dinner time this evening in Mon in Monco. Oh, yeah, boy. just keep in mind. Yeah, tr a little bit of traffic jams right, and I'll so start, on. I'll start cocktailing earlier. <laughs> Kellen Company, Big Three. All right. Thank you very much, Don. 855-839-12. Boy, I tell you what, he loves coming to Pennsylvania. He loves Philadelphia. Yep. He loves the suburbs. It's smart of him to do that. And no, it is. Saying. It is. I mean, we're talking about, I mean, legitimately, you think about it, some of our counties in this listening area mm -hmm. could determine the election. Uh, will determine the election. Yeah. <laughs> Remarkable. Not good. Will. Well, I mean, we're talking about all the swing states, whether yep. it's, you know, Georgia, PA, Wisconsin, Arizona, and then we focus specifically on PA, and then you get to this area specifically with Montgomery, Bucks, Chester, and um, and Delco. So there you have it. I'm still, I, I'm, I'm still just fuming. Arrested over that. I, I yeah. just can't get over. Arrested that. and Actually, charged with gave, multiple charges. His son gave his life to this yes. country. We and, have, and and his father was yeah. arrested. We have about 90 seconds left. Can because I know we played the video. Can we play the audio? I just want to yeah. hear specifically what the father said yep i mean he spoke for all of what seven seconds yeah yeah uh rolling this back uh, phil if you can uh go to state the obvious all americans deserve the freedom to be safe and america is safer today than when i took office the year before i took office murder rates went up 30 percent 30 percent they went up 
The biggest increase in history. It was then, through no, through my American Rescue Plan, which every American voted against. All right, and then he's escorted out. He yep. shouted out three times a total of about seven or eight seconds worth of words. Abby and that Gate, gets you arrested. Abby United Gate, States United States Marines, and I think he said Steve, however you, forgive me, I don't know how to say his last name. Yeah. Naiku? Niku? I don't know. Uh, yeah, Naiku. Could, could, could you imagine if, if this was Trump's State of the Union? And some Democrat shouted out like that, not an elected official, but a father that didn't like something that Trump did. And, oh, they, tr and Trump's DOJ had him arrested. They would be branding him today on the mainstream media oh, yeah. as a re reincarnation True. of a dictator. True. He would be Fidel Castro. Yep. Yep. What a disgrace. Has his dissenters arrested. Yes. This morning on Morning Joe. Mika shakes live in front of your cameras. <laughs> I just don't know this country anymore. Yeah. Disgraceful. The whole thing is disgraceful. All right. That'll do it for hour three. If I were smart, <laughs> I'd say thank you and leave. But we have a fourth hour, and it's the fourth <laughs> hour on a Friday, so we know all heck's oh, going to break loose. But we do have some great stories coming up for you in the final hour, and we'll hit on all three of them from TikTok to Houston to California when it comes to election shenanigans and Democrats saying, a primary was rigged. Uh -oh. Rigged, I tell you, I came in third. Rigged. Back after this, Kale and Company. At Cherry Hill Volvo, an XC40 can be leased for as low as $459 and an XC90 lease for as low as $629. Interest rates are as low as 4%. Along with Volvo-sponsored incentives, the Cherry Hill Volvo offers are very aggressive. When purchasing or leasing a new Cherry Hill Volvo, special additional incentives will be given when the transaction is completed by March 18th. Spring into Cherry Hill Volvo now for these incredibly fabulous offers. 14 years from today, Jen Gomez will transform her tiny backyard garden into an organic micro farm. All because she's future proofing her house and garden today with home safety resources from AARP's Home Fit Guide so she can share her harvest with the community she loves for years to come. That's why the younger you are, the more you need AARP. Join AARP Philly for a free AARP Home Fit workshop Saturday, March 16th at 12 p.m. Sign up at aarp.org slash your home. If you're facing $10,000, $20,000, or even $30,000 or more in credit card debt, medical bills, or other unsecured debt, there are programs available that can consolidate those debts into one single reduced monthly payment you can afford if you qualify. Accredited Debt Relief is on a mission to help you become debt-free in just 24 to 48 months. They've helped over 300,000 qualified consumers. Hardworking Americans just like you pay off more than $1 billion in debt earning them an A-plus rating from the Better Business Bureau. Accredited Debt Relief will tailor the program to fit your specific budget and financial situation. So call Accredited Debt Relief now for your free no-obligation savings estimate and let them help you take control of your financial destiny. Call 800-663-1313. 800-663-1313. That's 800-663-1313. 800-663-1313. Program and services not available in all states. Feel like everything is clouded by doubt? Visit CaliforniaPsychics.com. Our psychics are available to talk 24-7, and we guarantee if it's not life-changing, it's free. Experience the joy of certainty. California Psychics. Her words weren't written under peaceful shade, but under fear for her life. I don't think of all the misery, but of the beauty that still remains. The words of Anne Frank continue to fill us with hope. Hope. Pass it on from PassItOn.com. Hello, America. It's Ted from Consumer Cellular, the guy in the orange sweater, and this is your wake-up call. If you don't have Consumer Cellular yet, now is the perfect time to switch and save. For a limited time, new customers can get wireless service for as low as $15 a month for your first year. Yep, the same exact nationwide coverage as the leading carriers for $15 a month for an entire year. What are you waiting for? Call 1-888-FREEDOM or visit ConsumerCellular.com and use code RADIO15. See ConsumerCellular.com slash First Year 15 for promotional details. WPHT, WPHT, HD, WOGL, HD3, Philadelphia. From the Cherry Hill Volvo Studios, where relationships matter. Always live on the free Odyssey app.
This is Larry Steinitz with Investor Schooling. You may know me from my book, Money Hacks. You may know me from my radio shows. And you may even know me from some of these commercials. But listen, I'm teaching stuff that people need to learn about money. In fact, my favorite topic is money. So go to InvestorSchooling.com and you will learn things about money that you never even knew existed. We will teach you things about real estate, about the stock market, and about how to use your IRAs properly. Go to InvestorSchooling.com and sign up for a complimentary class this Thursday night at 7 o'clock. That's InvestorSchooling.com. This is Larry Steinitz with Investor Schooling. Are you tired of hearing about the recession that's coming? Are you prepared for it? Well, listen, at InvestorSchooling.com, we're going to teach you ways to prepare for the recession that you didn't even know existed. We're going to teach you strategies on how to use real estate. We're going to teach you strategies how to use the stock market properly. That's right. You can even make money in the stock market when the stock market goes down. Hey, go to InvestorSchooling.com and register for a free class this Thursday night, and you will learn all of these techniques. Go to InvestorSchooling.com right now. RSVP for this Thursday. We'll see you there. Hoffman's Exterminating, official partner of the Philadelphia Eagles, has been serving Delaware Valley homes and businesses for 34 years, protecting them from pests that threaten our health, food, and property. Hoffman's has also made a commitment to hiring veterans and advancing their post-service careers. Hoffman's is family-owned, prides itself in hiring local, staying local, and supporting the community. Join Hoffman's March 22nd as they support WPHT's Radiothon, benefiting the Travis Mannion Foundation. Visit them at hoffmansexterminating.com. Download the free Upside app to earn real cash back every time you buy gas. Use promo code RADIO for an extra 25 cents per gallon on your first fill-up. That's promo code RADIO. Drive in with Kale and Company mornings 6 till 10. Drive home with Rich Zioli afternoons 3 till 7. Live and local on Talk Radio 1210, WPHT, and the free Odyssey app. It is the fourth and final hour here on a Friday as we wrap up a monstrous week. What a week it has been. Kale and company, Nick Dawn and Greg here on Talk Radio 1210 WPHT. We started the week. We had Trump's uh, SCOTUS ruling 9-zip as SCOTUS came down and told Jenna Griswold from Colorado, yeah, take it elsewhere, sister. We're not buying it. Uh, and that goes to all the rest of the states out there as well. Trump will be on ballots. And then, of course, we had Super Tuesday, the State of the Union last night. Uh, so it has been just an action-packed week as we continue here. This segment brought to you by Tommy D's Home Improvement Center. If you're renovating a kitchen or building one from the ground up, Tommy D's Home Improvement Center your go-to for quality kitchen cabinets, flooring, and molding at affordable rates. Visit their showroom in Philadelphia or their website at TommyDs.com. All right, so we know there's different rules for different fools in politics. Republicans, you know, they shout for seven seconds or a dad doesn't agree with something Joe Biden says at the State of the Union. He gets arrested and charged with a bunch of misdemeanors and fines. You know, Democrats can do whatever they want. Stacey Abrams can deny elections. And the results, Hillary Clinton can deny, 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 deny repeatedly, call people illegitimate presidents, and nothing ever happens. So I'm interested to see what will happen with this story. Uh, as we were talking on Super Tuesday, outside of you know different states with Trump and uh, Nikki Haley or Joe Biden and Marianne Williamson or non-committed, uh, there were some other races. And one of the races that we talked about briefly in passing was a California Senate race. Uh, Diane Feinstein's old uh, seat. And it was really between two individuals. You had Adam Schiff and you had former Major League Baseball first baseman uh, Steve Garvey, who I believe was a Dodgers first baseman, 70s, 80s uh, ballparking it there. And it was a very, very close race. I think Schiff got one percentage point more than Garvey. But coming in third in this California race, was Democrat Katie Porter. And she doesn't like the fact that she came in third place. So what did she do? She said the election was rigged. The results were rigged. Now, personally, 
I don't think she should be ever be able to serve office ever again. They should probably arrest her. They should indict her, hit her with 91 different charges, um, and make sure that she, if she doesn't go to jail, she's in court for many, many years, tying up all sorts of time and money, spending an exorbitant amount of legal fees on attorneys. Here are some of the details, courtesy of the Daily Caller. Katie Porter, a Democratic candidate who ran in California's 2024 Senate race, has claimed on uh, Twitter on Wednesday that the primary results were rigged after she came in third place. Quote, thank you to everyone who supported our campaign and voted to shake up the status quo in Washington. Because of you, we had the establishment running scared, withstanding three to one in TV spending and an onslaught of billionaires spending millions to rig this election, Porter wrote in part. Uh, The California politician thanked her supporters and wrote that such support was evidence that people want new leaders and who would break the mold and can't be bought and pushed around and pushed for accountability in government and across our economy, she put out in her Twitter tweet thread. She also wants to thank everyone who supported her over the past six years. It's clear Californians are hungry for leaders who break the mold, can't be bought, and push for accountability in government and across the country. And that's exactly what we as Americans deserve. Quote, special interests like politics as it is today because they control the politicians. As we've seen in this campaign, they spend millions to defeat someone who will dilute their influence and disrupt the status quo. But take my word for it, I'll never stop fighting for you, Porter tweeted. And then Porter went on to say in other tweets that this was a rigged election. So now what we have is we have not only a two-tiered justice system, we have a two-tiered approach to the way you can approach the election results if they don't go in your favor. If you are a Republican and call anything into question— whether it's a weird amount of votes coming in with voting irregularities, whether if it's, you know, uh, people that are in the country illegally that are voting, dead people that show up uh, voting and casting a ballot, ID on down the list. Because as we know, when we talk about voter identification and really just proving and verifying who you are, what do the Democrats do? They say that's racist. So it's okay when you go into a gas station and you buy a pack of cigarettes and they say, can I see ID? You pull that out, no problem. You go in and get a six pack of Bud Light. If people still buy Bud Light, I don't think they do. Uh, Ask for ID, it's okay. But when you ask for ID for elections, it's somehow discriminatory in nature. And then when you question the results, you are a threat to democracy. But Katie Porter, she didn't come in second. She didn't lose by a sliver. She came in third place and decides to tweet that the election was rigged. And I'm just so tired of hearing these words, rigged, stolen, whatever it is. But when it's a Democrat, it's okay. It's because uh, what's well, their right? They, you know, democracy is on the ballot this year. So we need to make sure everything is on the up and up. I got a feeling, Dawn Stensland, if Katie Porter had an R next to her name, this would be talked about, and uh, Joy Reid would probably be uh, doing her opening monologue on, yeah. on Miss Porter on a Wednesday night. Agreed. And they would have the tweets plastered on MSNBC, right? They would take the screenshot, and they would put that up. So that's the first story. But let me get to the second story. So this happened on Super Tuesday. Harris County District Attorney, uh, I'm reading this from the Houston Chronicle. Harris County District Attorney Kim Og. OGG, maybe it's OG, has issues voting due to a mix-up, she says. So Harris County District Attorney Kim OG went to Love Park Community Center on Tuesday morning to cast a ballot in her own primary race, only to be told by someone at the ballot center that someone had already voted in her name. OG said she was told that when her partner, who lives at the same address, went to vote, an election worker pulled up Og's voter number instead. The incident appears to be an isolated incident, according to an investigation and the Houston Chronicle. But Harris County Clerk Tanisha Hudspeth issued a statement on X, formerly known as Twitter, pointing out that voters are asked to review and confirm the information 
on the iPad screen, so they use iPads down there, when they are being qualified. Quote, in this instance, the DA's partner must not have noticed that the information was not hers and proceeded to sign in and vote under the district attorney Ogg's name, Hudspeth said in a statement. Clerical errors can occur at the polls. It is the voters' responsibility to verify that their information in the iPad screen is correct. Hudspeth said Oak's partner signed her own name as confirmation. The clerk's office was able to verify and rectify the error and said Oak has been able to vote as of 824 a.m. The poll book was corrected so that Oak could cast a ballot. Oak conceded to former prosecutor Sean Tier in a competitive primary earlier this year. So th- here we have election denying and we have election integrity called into question yet again. So what does this mean as we move forward? I, I, I hate to be like the negative guy and the guy that's like, I don't think anything's going to change, but we're going to see more of this coming up this November. We're going to have people that will call in to this show, that will call into all the shows on this station throughout the day, and we're going to be getting tweets. We're going to be getting uh, messages in the YouTube chat. We're going to have all sorts of people that are checking in, rightfully so, and I want people to do it because, and this is why I think it's so important. When we read that email last week from the listener who said, uh, her, I, I don't know if it was her church or where, wherever it was, they were seeking volunteers. Mm-hmm. And, and look, if you can't take off of work and lose a day of pay to be a volunteer, I get it. You know, everybody's got different financial uh, situations. But, man, if you can get out there and be a volunteer, and I get it, it's a long day, too. You know, you're out there for 12 to 14 hours in all likelihood. But this is why we need to have as many people as possible in the electoral process and out there in the community making sure that all of these things go as smoothly as possible. Uh, You know, whether it's print. What did we have? What was it last year? When we were talking in the fall, wasn't there printer? The, some of the printers went down, or some of the computers and machines. We had people from De- uh, Delaware and New Jersey and different counties throughout Pennsylvania that were checking in. And you know, some people said it went as smooth as possible, and others were saying there was all sorts of backlogs and all sorts of technical snafus. You know, to me, it's remarkable um, that in 2024, the American election process is not smoother. Forget what you trust and all that stuff. I'm just talking about from an efficiency standpoint because I get the feeling, and and this is just, I'm just spitting into the wind here. I get the feeling that when this election goes down this November, we're not going to have the results Mm -hmm. on Tuesday night, November 5th. Uh, Oh, there's there's zero chance. Like, this is going to go on, I I think. There's no more election day. Nope. Yeah, this is going to go on a couple of days, right? No, it's going to go on. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Depending on the outcome, there might be, yeah, there might be all sort of, you know, appeals and this, that, and the other. So, no, it's not going to happen. The most notable one, there are a lot of a lot of them still under investigation, still being talked about, making their way, way through the courts with paper it running out or paper size or whatever that's issues. What it, yeah, that's what it was. They but were the, out of paper. But the one I think that was the most concerning was remember the one where the Pennsylvania County voting machines flipped the votes for the judges. Yes. And then they said, oh, it's just this isolated incident. It just happened here. And the only reason that anybody even looked into it was because voters, thank God, were looking at it and realized you know, when you go back to review on the machine, they were like, what? It flipped it. And then they're trying to fix it. So they then they had there was a tabulation error. All the, the at the end of the day, they blamed the officials blamed user operator error for mm. a software glitch. Yeah. But a lot of people said, well, that's strange, because then if those voters had not been observant, they would not have noticed it. Mm-hmm. Could this have happened elsewhere? And they said, no, 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 this is absolutely just an isolated incident yes. right in this little district. Yep, you're exactly right. And this is one of those things, and I get it, you know, with technology, there are legit issues. Nothing is 100% automatic, guaranteed to be proven, um, you know, effective. And not every single machine works perfectly all the time. But it's it, elections when we're talking, and I'm not even talking about the president, I'm talking about Congress and Senate and governor on down the list. 
These things, elections matter, and there are consequences to elections. And these things are far too important to have all of these, well, this was an isolated incident, and this was an isolated incident. Well, eventually, it's not so isolated, is it? It's actually far more common. So to me, at the end of the day, regardless of what you think about elections, it's, it's a lot like the economy, and it's a lot like crime. Regardless of what some stats might show or facts give us, if people aren't feeling it, it's not happening. And if people don't feel like we have free and fair elections, that's going to be what people run with. And ultimately, sadly, that's what truly yeah. what it is, regardless of what the stats might show you um, in any of these cases where we have seen. I mean, they've been popping up. I mean, it's not just Trump. It's not just Kerry Lake. There was another one that uh, we, I forget which um, which outlet exposed it where there was, um, I think, maybe even a flipping of the actual outcome. I'm drawing a blank. It was a couple of months ago. It was right around the holidays where that came out. It was right around the same time that uh, the Trump main um, ballot case came up. So there's just so many of these stories out there. But it's, again, you know, Dawn, you always say it perfectly, uh, the way the media puts a spin on it. Like, you're not going to hear Katie Porter on mainstream media claiming that her third place was a rig job. Yeah. You're just not. You're going to get it on this show, this station, this type of format. But if you think they're going to be talking about that, um, and, and trust me, they were talking about that race between Schiff and Garvey. That mm -hmm. got a lot of mainstream yes. media attention. It's, it's California. Race. It's Diane's old seat. Uh, it's obviously an impactful election but they won't be uh, spending much time on Katie Porter's Twitter claim from Wednesday. <laughs> Just my guess. And by the way, that Express Vote XL system where the isolated glitch was in Northampton County, that case has been going through the courts, advocates. And I have no Express, the, the one, our vote Philly group, that's one of the many plaintiffs. I have no idea. Like they, they claim that they're a, a bipartisan group. Mm -hmm. They still are saying they still are being quoted saying that it, it's shocking that a voter voters were told, oh, don't worry about it. We will just flip it back if there's a glitch. That's shocking. They said that, that clearly there was a malfunctioning issue. And they point out that those same machines are the ones that are used in Philadelphia. Yep. So that I think I believe that they're just a nonprofit group. Mm -hmm. And there were a bunch of them just saying, let's just purge the system and make sure that there's election integrity because now you have this question yep you're exactly right 855-839-1210 northampton county by the way my uh, old neck of the woods where i grew <laughs> up uh that will be the lehigh valley for those who don't know can i just correct a big mistake that i made yes no mistakes dawn yeah because this is not a clarification i just goofed up and i i deeply apologize biden's going to be in delaware county today i earlier said it was Monco because I saw some traffic alerts and Monco has nothing to do with the president. Okay. He's at Strathaven Middle School. This is Wallingford and it's Delaware County early evening. So that's where the president is tonight. I can still cocktail early though, right? Yes, sir. Has, okay, yeah, you'll be fine. That doesn't change my plans. <laughs> All right, very good. Coming up in about five minutes, we'll get to the morning mystery movie clip and then what's on the cut sheet part due as we continue. Kale and Company on a Friday, Talk Radio 1210 WPHD. Hi, this is Dom Giordano, Italia, my favorite destination in the world, Italy. It's called the Grand Event for good reason. Rome, Tuscany, Florence, Orvieto, Siena, Venice, Milan, and the Northern Italian Lakes region. 12 big days of touring, the kind of dining events that Conservative Tours Tour Company is famous for in Italy. 5371, that includes your airfare, the Colosseum, the Vatican, Treve Fountain, Piazza Navona, fully escorted by my friends at Conservative Conservative tours team in Italy, Lorenzo, Romina, and Giuseppe. Call them toll free at 888-733-9494 or go to conservativetours.com. Tuscany beckons and it's a time to answer Florence, the history, the beauty, San Gimignano, bustling Siena, and then it's on to the grand finale, Venice, Milan, the pristine resort of Streza on Lake Maggiore, Bellagio 2, this fall in Italia. Ciao. Are you tired of dealing with those old, inefficient windows in your house? Well, maybe it's time to go Guida. How about that drafty, beat-up-looking entry door you've painted over more times than you can count? Well, go Guida. Need added protection from the elements with a new storm door? Go Guida. And what about that sliding patio door or garage door you've been meaning to replace? Go Guida. 
Whatever your home improvement needs are, I suggest you go Guida with the great people at Guida Door and Window. To help you get your project started, Guida is offering 20% off all windows and doors while allowing you to start your project with no money down and up to three full years to pay it off interest-free. That's right. Receive 20% instant savings with the luxury of paying off your project interest-free for up to 36 months. Restrictions apply, offers for a limited time, so what are you waiting for? It's time you finally go Guida. Call today to schedule a free in-home estimate at one eight seven seven go guida or visit them at goguida.com. That's go, G-U-I-D-A dot com. Imagine your team always looking and feeling their best in high-performance technical workwear. Cintas can make it happen. They have garments for almost every job imaginable. And with the Cintas workwear program, you get freshly laundered garments delivered every week for everyone on your team. Great garments without the bother of laundry. That's a real perk for employees. Find out how Cintas can boost team image and morale. Visit Cintas.com. Oh, I'm ready! And get ready for the workday. Hi, I'm Kamiko, the founder of Miko's Hot Chicken. When we started our family restaurant, we were also raising a family. But let me tell you, it wasn't easy. Our Chase Inc. car was there to reward us on all of our business needs. Now we have a thriving location, and we're hungry for more. With the Chase Inc. Business Unlimited card, you can earn unlimited 1.5% cash back on every purchase, so your business can go from here to possible. Chase for business. Make more with yours. Real business owners compensated for their participation. Cards issued by JPMorgan Chase Bank and a member FDIC. Subject to credit approval. Terms apply. Hey, it's Rich. Zioli, the only choice you need for a lawn care service is the choice I made, Natural Lawn of America. Natural Lawn has been creating green lawns quickly, more naturally, and with fewer weeds since 1987. Unlike other lawn care companies, Natural Lawn's technicians work to determine the specific needs of your lawn. That reduces the need for chemicals and creates a safer lawn for your family and pets. Take advantage of Natural Lawn's limited time offer, free seeding every year. Call 800 free seed. Natural Lawn of America, greener grass, fewer weeds, guaranteed. Hi, Stephanie from Emmons. Are you not loving your bathroom? Is the King's Throne looking a little outdated and run down? Let Emmons Design Specials design a bathroom that you will love and one that Emmons will redo in as little as one day. An affordable, maintenance-free bathroom with little to no inconvenience to you and your family. With finance options available, there's really only one problem. Your bathroom will be so nice, your king may never want to come out. Call Emmons today at 856-885-6677 or visit us on our website at callemmons.com. Hi, it's John DeMassey, host of Health Watch, a live call-in show airing every Sunday morning at 8 a.m. on WPHT. <laughs> what would you do to protect yourself this cold and flu season? Well, medical hydration therapy at Innovative Medical Associates could help to boost your immune system. That's because vitamin C and other key nutrients are delivered intravenously right to your cells. Medical hydration therapy may even lessen symptoms should you become ill with a virus or suffer with long COVID or post COVID conditions. Dr. Molly Fantasia at Innovative Medical Associates prescribes a personalized treatment plan for every patient. We are a medical facility. We treat our IV protocols or our hydration protocols as a medical modality. Learn more about the benefits of medical hydration therapy at InnovativeMedicalAssociates.com. And be sure to join Dr. Molly and me on Sunday mornings at 8 and again at 4 for Health Watch on Talk Radio 1210 WPHT. <laughs> With so much uncertainty in the world today, you may find yourself wondering, is now even the right time to retire? And so many people are waiting, and those folks are going to be waiting a really long time, I hate to say, because there's no perfect time. The market is always unpredictable and volatile. Fortunately, Jim Cipriati has been helping get people to, through, and beyond retirement for over 25 years. And each week, he wants to help give you that freedom to retire. Listen to Freedom to Retire with Jim Cipriati, Saturday mornings at 9 and Sunday afternoons at 5 on Talk Radio 1210 WPHT. Free speech lives here on the air and on the Odyssey app. Talk Radio 1210 WPHD. Beard. It's Carolyn Company. <laughs> yeah. 923. Happy Friday, everybody. Been a big, big week. All sorts of big stories, speeches, primaries, Supreme Court rulings. Good to have all of you in. Sunny day on a Friday. It's going to be nice. 
Stalker will be in a good mood. Woo. And then the rain will come tonight. All right. We got a lot to get to before we get out of here. What's on the cut sheet part do and also the update on our TikTok ban from lawmakers as the Utes of Gen Z will not have this go down. And we'll get to that coming up in a moment. But right now, let's get to our morning mystery movie clip. And now, the morning mystery movie clip on Kalen Company. Talk Radio 1210 WPHT. Stand down. Hey, hey! What did I just say? Bell's up. I see you. Back up. Okay. Good. Good. Carly! Stay right there. Good. Close the gate. Are you crazy? Think you know what it is? Be call at 12 at 855-839-1210, and you could win this great prize. Last pair, final pair of movie passes to see Cabrini from the makers of Sound of Freedom experience the uplifting journey of Francesca Cabrini in Cabrini. Arriving in New York City in 1889, her daring mission transforms lives. Get your tickets to Cabrini now in theaters today, March 8th, because today is International Women's Day. Forgot the bottle of wine for dog. Oh, what? <laughs> Gosh Wait darn it. That's all right. Hang on. Because I'm a woman every day. That's and I I was born female. I'm going to be female tomorrow. And uh, Orange? He, oh, he brought me an orange. <laughs> he's got Symbol an orange. of womanhood. If you're watching on YouTube, see, he's Stalker's got an orange. He's got his man bag here. What's that? A Nature Valley bar. Nature Valley. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Nature Valley woman bar. <laughs> Give Dawn a little protein boost for the Damn, final two hours of her 30-hour broadcast week. I forgot. There we Damn. go. Now, if it were two oranges, yeah, baby, that might be a symbol of, yeah. you know, two, like a pair, like yeah. a perfect pair. Right. Is that the symbol of womanhood? Yeah. <laughs> Best of luck, caller 12, 855-839-1210. So the update here with, uh, we were talking about the ban to kill TikTok uh, in the United States and keep teenagers off of it. Uh, this version of the update, courtesy of Rolling Stone, uh, where they say Congress is floating yet another proposed ban on the social media app TikTok, and America's teenagers are pissed. Congress <laughs> is learning a tough lesson this Thursday don't mess with teens and their scrolling. I had oh to clean that up, by the way, because it was written more with uh, more expletives that I can't say due to FCC regulations. But they go on to say teenagers are often mistakenly considered to be a generally politically apathetic demographic. Many of them can't vote, so lawmakers tend to overlook young Americans. But one House Republican aide has come out and said, and he's described the experience to Rolling Stone as, quote, a nonstop barrage of phone calls I can't and it. messages this week from the shrieking teens demanding that lawmakers pull the anti-TikTok bill. Some self-described teenagers and adults have called to say that such a law would ruin their lives or jobs or cause them to vote against the Congress members responsible. It would ruin your life. What, what, Unbelievable. That's sad. Yeah, that's a sad life. This then. Story but like, is... it's going to ruin your job. First it... of all, like if I was a small business owner and I employed teenagers, let's say I owned like a like a fried chicken place. There was a fried chicken place I used to love in the South in Nashville, and they had a bunch of teenagers that were servers and waitresses. I would tell them right now, if I catch you on your phone while you're on the clock, you're fired. Fired on the spot. You do not. At your lunch break, you're taking your 15-minute break every four hours or whatever you get, all good. Hmm. Don't be on your phone while I'm paying you. It is unbelievable to me that we have found the one thing that this generation cares about is that we we try and take away their TikTok. You know, I, I really it's thought, and obviously TikTok being the specific app of choice here for this story, but I, I really thought that this thing I'm holding in my hand would revolutionize and continue the evolution of human beings becoming smarter. Uh, we, we can get everything, <laughs> you like the answers right at your fingertips. Yeah. But I've said this now for close to 10 years. The smartphone has made us stupid. Oh, yeah. 
Like it should, in theory, make you smarter because we have access to resources that, you know, well, as as kids, you and I, we, we we didn't have. Here's the thing. Here's the thing with that is that yes, we have all the information at our fingertips, but we're not actually learning anything. No, because we know that if we want the answer to something, we just Google it. We we spout it back. Yep. And then we forget it. Right. Whereas you used to have to, and listen to me, I'm, I sound like an old person here. memorize it. But, but <laughs> like, you had to actually go find out the answer, read about it, memorize it, whatever. Yeah. You don't have to do that now. So we're not, we're not actually learning anything. I mean, think about this, be like, before the internet, where did you find your answers to something you were, and I'm not talking about the score of a sporting event, you just wait for the next day's newspaper to come out, or turn on your local five, six o'clock news or whatever. I mean, I guess you would just have to go, what, to a school library or a public library and, you know. Or you just believed what was yeah. what was told to you. Yeah. Right. That's And that's the thing, too, is that, you know, we were taught things in school or maybe by our parents or something. And then you always took it as the gospel truth. Mm -hmm. And then years later, you look at it and you're like, was that really true? I don't know if that was true or not. Unbelievable. So yeah. now, so, all right, let's let's play the politics game here. I mean. If you feel like these soon-to-be voters could ultimately swing an election based, based on social media, and, and really, more, this is more about just the concept of a ban, which I think we've talked about and agreed, for the most part, collectively as a show, that bans don't work. Is this something... See, now this... All right, we're gonna, Okay, specifically with TikTok, it's a national security thing, right? China, the ByteDance company linked to the CCP... You got to balance national security if you're a politician versus a portion of your electorate that could revolt against you. Mm -hmm. I, I would probably tell the Gen. If I'm a Republican politician, I tell the Gen Zers go pound sand. That's just me. <laughs> probably would cost me an election, but uh, I would put national security over a 16 year old's ability to uh, zone out for 40 minutes. You can't. You can't ban it. I'm gonna say no. That again. Yeah, you're you, right. You can't ban it. However, the reaction from these people. To the banning of it, to the proposed banning of it, is scary. Yeah. It's scary. They only get fired up about a few things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the talking point needs to just be, hey, we want to make sure that your privacy mm -hmm. is not violated, your security is right. not violated. That's how they have to flip it around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right. Let's grab uh, this call real quick. We have our winner. Kim is in Glen Mills, and she's got the correct movie identified this morning. Kim, good morning. What movie clip did we just play for you? Hi, Nick. The movie is Jurassic World. Yeah. That is correct. Nice work, Kim. Love that movie. You've got right. your uh, final pair of passes to see the movie Cabrini. Thank you. Thank you, Kim. And we appreciate you listening and certainly for playing the game. We're always giving something good away. Of course. All right. Uh, we'll come back and get to the uh, final part due of a cut sheet for by, the week. By the way, a, a little teaser to keep you through this break here. Uh, we have an update on the Gold Star Father that I will give to you in oh. the cut sheet coming up in five minutes. Ooh. Yeah. Stay tuned. We're back after this. But first, let me tell you about my friends at Blue Chew. Not sure that that father needs Blue Chew. He had a lot of bounce to his step. Of course, he got arrested, and it's ridiculous. But if you are losing that, you know, that little extra something in the bedroom as you get into your 50s or 60s or 70s, and you need the added spark, I've got the solution for you. It is BlueChew.com, promo code 1210. If you're watching on YouTube, you see the logo, you see the promo code, BlueChew.com. Promo code 1210 for your first month free. That's right. Free mail enhancement for the first month. All you have to do is pay the five bucks for shipping, and the first month is free when you go to bluechew.com and use the promo code 1210 because Blue Chew offers a unique, one of a kind online service that delivers men the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis, but it comes in a chewable tablet at a much cheaper price. And also now, Blue Chew comes in a mint flavored chewable with the same active ingredient as Levitra. Stay fresh with Blue Chew. Confidence plus performance, that comes standard with Blue Chew. No embarrassing conversation, no pharmacies, right to your door in a discreet fashion. Perhaps the only thing better than free is that it's made in the USA. First month free, just pay the five bucks for shipping. BlueChew.com, promo code 1210. The impact of a meal goes well beyond feeding our bodies. Because when people don't have to worry about where their next meal is coming from, they can truly thrive. Like Marta. 
And now we'll hear from our class valedictorian, who with our hard work never ceases to amaze us. Please welcome Marta Moreno. And Alex. Hey, Alex. How did the interview go? I did it. I got the job. I can't believe it. I knew it. Let's meet up later to celebrate. And Diego. Mom, I got first place at the science fair with my volcano project. That's amazing, sweetie. Congratulations. Because when people are fed, futures are nourished, and everyone deserves to live a full life. Join the movement to end hunger at feedingamerica.org slash act now. FeedingAmerica.org slash act now. A public service announcement brought to you by Feeding America and the Ad Council. If you're driving a car or truck with an expired warranty and suddenly lost your transmission or needed a full engine repair, would a $4,000 repair bill leave you stranded? I'm Danica Patrick. Don't get caught off guard with a vehicle breakdown. Choose the company I trust, Endurance. No matter the mileage, if your vehicle is less than 20 years old, Endurance offers auto protection plans for any budget. Protection on the drivetrain, electrical, transmission, AC, and more. Plus 24-7 roadside assistance and rental car reimbursement on any plan. Endurance handles everything from making the claim to paying the certified mechanic of your choice. Act now and get one full year of elite benefits, a $2,000 value free. Endurance has paid hundreds of millions in claims. Call for your fast free quote today. Call 800-298-9145. That's 800-298-9145. 800-298-9145. Fargo, the new virtual assistant from Wells Fargo, makes banking faster and easier. Like this. Fargo, what's my checking account routing number? And this. Fargo, uh, turn off my debit card. And this. Fargo, what did I spend on groceries last month? And that's just the beginning. Do you, Fargo? You can. In the Wells Fargo mobile app. Learn more at wellsfargo.com slash getfargo. Terms and conditions apply. Your mobile carrier's availability and message and data rates may apply. Wells Fargo Bank and a member of DIC. Hey, Southampton. We know your favorite station is Talk Radio 1210 WPHT. Nothing so loud. All right, 936, Scale and Company. The Dawn Show is coming up in about 25 minutes. We will find out in just about 15 minutes what she has lined up for the top of the hour. Also, who won Twitter today and today in music history? It's all still on the way on this Friday morning. But right now, Greg Stocker. Yes. Let's get to your update in What's on the Cut Sheet, Part Do. What's on the Cut Sheet? I do. What's on the Cut Sheet, Part Do, sponsored by Best Work Industries for the Blind. Best Work Industries for the Blind is Changing Lives, a nonprofit organization located in Cherry Hill. Best Work Industries for the Blind provides training and employment for people who are blind or visually impaired for employment opportunities or to donate. Go to bestworkindustries.org. That's Best Work Industries. Dot org. Starting here with Cut 20, Phil. Hopefully you have it. I just sent it to you. But uh, the Gold Star Father, who was arrested last night during the State of the Union because his son was killed in the botched Afghanistan withdrawal, and he decided to heckle the president. We say heckle, but I just say he's he's um, expressing his, his right as an American mm -hmm. to show displeasure uh, with the authority, which is the president of the United States. United States of America, somebody yeah. who we, the American people, pay for and elect. Yes. And by the way, I thought the government didn't have the right to censor your speech and shut you down and your right to protest. And also, by the way, we don't know what this guy's political affiliation is either. He was just be uh, talking about his son. Well, uh, Dawn reported earlier that he was the guest there from a Republican okay. uh, congressperson in Florida, but it so. doesn't doesn't necessarily mean that that as the guest that he is a Republican as well, right? It's true, you know. Uh, well, last night I guess this came in at like maybe two a.m. Uh, last night. The guy's name is Steve Nicoys. His uh, his fellow Gold Star families give him a hero's welcome after he is freed 
um, after being released um, from being arrested by the Capitol Police. This is his hero's welcome. If you want to see the video, youtube.com slash at 1210WPHT to see the video. Uh, to cut 20, Phil, go. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> All right, maybe we'll just play the, maybe we'll just, maybe we'll just play the, uh, yeah, there we go. We'll, right, we'll just play go. the video. Got a table of about eight uh, yeah. hugs. We've got uh, men. We've got women. We've got a couple of uh, cosmopolitans that are poured. <laughs> nice it. work. I love it. Uh, yeah, a little bit of a here. So do we know, according to the report, how long he was in custody for? No. But that, I mean, this video was put out at uh, 2 a.m.? 2 a.m. No, 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 I'm sorry. 12.51 a.m. So, okay. you know. It, probably less than an hour. Yeah. Yeah, he was probably booked. And Still beyond outrageous released. that he was actually arrested and charged with multiple misdemeanors. I yep. mean, that's just absurd. It really is. Of all the things you've ever heard or seen at one of these State of the Union addresses, and this guy. And oh, by the way, in this, this protest era that we are living in the last couple of years, of all the things that people have gotten away with that have gone maybe even above free speech with, you know, vandalizing or looting or rioting or burning or pillaging. This guy says, uh, opens his mouth three separate times over the course of eight seconds, and he's arrested. Yeah, look, he's he's just sticking up for his son. It's, Absolutely. It's what, it's I would what do any, the same exact it, thing. It's what any father would do. Any father would do. No matter if you if you like the president, if you voted for the president, right. it, it matters absolutely not. Yep. You know what I mean? Like he's just he's just expressing his outrage, which he has every right to do. Okay, moving on to cut nineteen here, Phil. Uh, how did the president? How was the president's speech received last night? We go over to uh, CNN. Uh, CNN after the. Uh, oh boy, would they have a panel of twenty the people? Happened. Well, no, they have a poll. They have a poll oh, that a showed. Poll. How uh, listeners, viewers reacted to the State of the Union speech last night. Shockingly, it was a massive pro-Biden swing from before to after the State of the Union. Uh, this was them talking about it last night. This is cut 19, Phil, go. Challenge is here to break it all down. So, David, how are viewers reacting to the speech? Yeah, Anderson, I should just remind everyone, this is a poll of speech watchers. So it's not a poll that is representative of the electorate overall, the way people are used to watching polls. In fact, in this sample of speech watchers, which is normal, it's a little more democratic than the public is at large because we find this when a Democrat is president, more Democrats tend to overrepresent and tune into the speech. Same thing happens on the Republican side when a Republican is president. The, our makeup here is about 37% Democratic, 30% Republican, 33% Independent. So about eight points more Democrat uh, than the country is as a whole. With that in mind, take a look at these results here. Reaction to Biden's speech among those watching it tonight, 35% said they had a very positive reaction, 29% somewhat positive reaction. That's 64% there uh, total. And 35% had a negative reaction. Take a look at that very positive number. How does that compare with Biden's speeches uh, to joint sessions of Congress past here? Well, you can see 35% this year, 34% in 2023, 41% in 2022 and 51% in 2021. His poll numbers go down here with reviews of his speech, kind of like they have overall with his job approval ratings. <laughs> Biden's policies, will they move the United States in the right direction or wrong direction? 62% said they're going to move in the right direction. 38% said they're going to move the country in the wrong direction. But keep that, an eye on that 62%. Because we also asked how people felt that way prior to the speech. And if you compare here, before the speech started, these speech watchers, only 45% said Biden's policy would move the U.S. in the right direction. With watching the speech, that went up from 45% to 62%. Again, sort of within the norm of what we've seen in the last couple of years for him, this kind of increase in support with people watching the speech, Anderson. You get people that are all emotional in their feelings after that. Yep. I would say repoll those people seven days from now and see if those numbers are still the same. So you've seen the decline year by year from 2021 to 2024, 51% to 41%, and then he's been flat the last two years around 34%. So we, we've heard from every, every poll under the sun that most Americans, 70% give or take, 
think the country is going in the wrong direction. Yet 62% of people walked out of that last night as um, uh, speech viewers thinking something's going to change now in the final eight months. What's going to change? Is Russia, Ukraine just going to end? Is the ceasefire going to happen in the Middle East? Is groceries going to go down from 19% to 3% in, in six weeks? No. I will say this, though, about it. Yeah, you have people on both sides. The The, the Democrats are going to say, oh, it was a phenomenal speech. It was a fiery speech. It was this, that, and the other. And the Republicans are say it was a horrible speech, blah, 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 blah. The, 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 problem, the, the problem I see is that I think that this, whoever, the Democrats or the independents that may have kind of been on the fence about Biden, I think last night helped helped those people see a different side of Biden. Well, I, I I would I would ask those that that section that you just highlighted what sold it for you was it substance or was it just the 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 um I think energy level I think anybody who who you know was on the fence because they thought maybe he lost a step saw that and maybe thought differently. But we've lowered the bar so low for this guy. I'm just that, tell, I'm just I'm yeah, not yeah. saying what I think. Right. I'm telling you what what I think. No, I get that. They're they're going to But say. the expectations for Americans as as a whole, it, even even the typical propagandist outlets like the Washington Post, the New York Times, MSNBC, short of Joe Scarborough because Joe Scarborough thinks Biden's like 38 again. Um, you know, we've lowered the bar it's like so now it's a very positive performance because for how long did that go for roughly last night an hour and 17 minutes yeah. roughly yeah. Yep. Be, because he was you know very rambunctious and had lots of juice i i mean if that's if that's where the bar and the standard is for a uh, a very positive review then then my opinion on state of the union addresses is kind of hit the uh, the skids <laughs> that's just me though all right, that'll do it. We'll come back, and we will find out what's on tap for the Dawn Show, top of the hour, who won Twitter today, and also today in music history. Kaylin Company, back after this. A day like this, and I'm thinking, oh, I can't wait for spring, summer, being out on the back lawn, playing a little Frisbee with Buddy Boy, and just being out there having barbecues with the kids. And that really brings me to the importance of which lawn care company you choose. That's why I choose an important natural lawn service, Natural Lawn of America. That's my lawn care company. Why? Because they're safer for your family and your pets. And yeah, they're going to make your lawn lush, green, and beautiful. Here's what I love. One of the things I love about Natural Lawn, their environmentally friendly approach to lawn care. And by the way, they've been creating green, lush lawns quickly, more naturally, and with fewer weeds since 1987. They're not a one-size-fits-all company. Their technicians are going to work with you to determine the specific needs of your lawn. Natural Lawn's exclusive, organic-based products, and they work. They're designed to work with nature, not against it. And that means they're safer for every member of your family, your kids, your grandkids, and yes, your kitty cats, your dogs, if you have a bunny rabbit. For my buddy boy, I feel safe with him out there. And he's, he's turning 15 years old, and he's so healthy, so I want to make sure that every aspect of his life is as healthy as possible. Hey, kick the chemical lawn habit. Get started today with Natural Lawn's safer products and programs. Just take advantage of their limited time offer, free seating every year. Schedule Natural Lawn's full service program. You get free seating every year, 800 free seed. It's really simple. Just call, get this on the calendar, 800 F R E E S E E D, <laughs> free seed. Choose my lawn care company, Natural Lawn of America, greener grass. Fewer weeds guaranteed. Tell them Dawn sent you. The Phillies are back. And it's gone! Number 300 by Harper in the bottom of the eighth inning. Listen to Philadelphia Phillies spring training games every Saturday and Sunday. Live on the free Odyssey app with Sports Radio 94 WIP. Walk him off, Kyle Schwarber! Fransky in L.A. Live this spring on Sports Radio 94 WIP. Your Phillies, your Odyssey. A-U-D-A-C-Y. Download the free Odyssey app today. Live games available for fans and market only. The IRS is the most powerful collection agency on earth. And if you owe back taxes, the news isn't good. The IRS is raising the interest 
interest rate, it charges on unpaid taxes, and further rate hikes are expected. Most people don't know it, but the IRS adds interest charges to your tax debts daily. So if you owe the IRS today, you'll owe even more tomorrow. And it doesn't stop until you get right with the IRS. The good news is getting right can start with one phone call to Optima Tax Relief, America's number one tax relief firm. Optima's tax professionals specialize in the Fresh Start Initiative, a powerful IRS program that can save you thousands if you qualify. In fact, the experts at Optima have resolved over $1 billion in tax debt for their clients. Call now for a free consultation. Call 800-354-2840. 800-354-2840. 800-354-2840. Optima Tax Relief. Some restrictions apply. For complete details, please visit OptimaTaxRelief.com. The impact of a meal goes well beyond feeding our bodies. Because when people don't have to worry about where their next meal is coming from, they can truly thrive, like Marta. And now we'll hear from our class valedictorian, who with our hard work never ceases to amaze us. Please welcome Marta Moreno. And Alex. Hey, Alex. How did the interview go? I did it! I got the job! I can't believe it! I knew it. Let's meet up later to celebrate. And Diego. Mom! I got first place at the science fair with my volcano project. That's amazing, sweetie. Congratulations. Because when people are fed, futures are nourished, and everyone deserves to live a full life. Join the movement to end hunger at feedingamerica.org slash act now. Feedingamerica.org slash act now. A public service announcement brought to you by Feeding America and the Ad Council. Follow Talk Radio 1210 on Instagram and Facebook at 1210 WPHD. Kelly Company, 950 as we head into the weekend. Visions of Chris Farley in the Chippendale skit right now. <laughs> Not going to lie. <laughs> the Dawn Show coming up top of the hour. We find out what she has lined up for 10 o'clock this morning. Yeah, it's jam-packed, a lot of developing stories. So we will talk more about you know my take on the State of the Union speech as well as what's going on in Philadelphia with the latest on this investigation and the philosophy and the policy that's behind cracking down and stopping these shootings which are targeting Philadelphia school children. Christine Flowers will be here in the 10 o'clock hour early and we'll have a local dad who is also the dad of a military, uh, somebody whose his son is serving in the military right now, that's Sergeant Mark Fuzzetti. So he can speak, yeah, so Sergeant Mark, who we love and we know well, Mm -hmm. but he can speak to, and and we'll play more of um, this, the the dad, the Gold Star dad who was, you know, arrested and charged, who also has spoken out at some hearings as far as looking into that disastrous withdrawal in Afghanistan. So Sergeant Mark Fu, I think, can relate to a father, Mm -hmm. you know, who would shout out and express outrage and that sort of thing. But also talk. So we'll talk military. We'll talk police. And then, of course, what's happening with our state police um, under fire Mm -hmm. and the demand by the couple stopped on the vine, you know, to apologize. Mm -hmm. So we gosh, we we're just jam packed this morning, just as we always are every minute of every day. Yes. And clearly that state (laughs) trooper had X-ray vision because he could see through the tinted windows. (laughs) That's what it is. Superman. That's That's exactly right. Love Mark Fu, by the way. (laughs) All right. uh, Let's get to Today in Music History. What happened on this day in music history? Music history. History. On Kale and Company. Today, March 8th, we celebrate the birthdays of Randy Meissner of the Eagles, Mickey Dolenz of the Monkees, and Clive Burr of Iron Maiden. We also lost Mike Starr, the bassist for Alice in Chains, on this day in 2011. Singles include Along Comes Mary by the Association in 66 and Since You're Gone by the Cards in 82. Albums include Super Unknown by Soundgarden and Nine Inch Nails, The Downward Spiral, both released in 94. Also, Bad Company played their first show on this day in 74, and Beavis and Butthead debuted on this day in 93. Ah. And lastly, a bonus pick for the YouTubers, Randy Bachman of BTO and the Guess Who, who I saw last night in North Jersey. 
Talk about an 80 year old that's still completely with it. For Kale and Company, <laughs> I'm Phil Lomquist. <laughs> your mic's off, dude. Oh, yeah. Music and politics. I wonder why I couldn't hear myself. Yeah. By the way, <laughs> how about that? Beavis and Butthead. You love that. The great Mike Judge. love that show, by the way. There you go. Shape my youth. Maybe that's why I'm. As, dope, yeah. as dopey as I am. Hey, real fast, before we get to uh, who won Twitter, can mm -hmm. I play this cut? So this is uh, this is cut three, Phil, if you can bring it up here. This is an illegal immigrant in Eagle Pass, Texas, uh, trying to cross the border. He's wearing he's wearing a Biden Harris twenty twenty shirt. Oh jeez. And he says it's in it's in I, I guess Spanish. Uh, so you can't really understand them, but you can see the subtitles. It says, I have it on, so they let me in. <laughs> oh, my God. Cut three, Phil, if you can play this real fast, man. Go. Es el presidente y la vicepresidenta de los Estados Unidos. Ah, pero entonces ya lo traigo aquí para que me dejen entrar. That's funny. Oh. Funny. It's funny. <laughs> Be great if you're a laughing stock. Pull the yeah. Hulk Hogan, right? He just goes, he gets in with the Biden Harris shirt. Yep. And then he rips it off and it says Trump 2024 yeah, on it. I don't think that's going to happen. I don't know. Trump's pulling well with Hispanic but, people. But by the way, look, I mean, where did he get the. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. <laughs> I like the fact that you found that at 954. I didn't find it. I had it. I just, oh, I just wanted oh, okay. to. I wanted to. It was play cut, it before, cut sheet part three. I wanted to play it before we. That's nice work out of you. We wrapped up, yeah. All right, let's get to who won Twitter. Today. Who won Twitter? Uh, did, I, did we get you on the, sp on the sponsors? Yes, okay. Uh, <laughs> Eric the Red wins Twitter. He says, uh, the, there, are di there are diabetics who haven't taken as many insulin shots as that German guy who got the COVID jab, oh. <laughs> jabs in that time Ouch. period. Ouch. That's true. That's very true. How many again did you say? 217 is his claim. Wow. The uh, scientists that have studied him have, have claimed 134. 134 COVID shots. Unbelievable. And there's some people out there getting number 9 and 10. All right, whatever suits you, whatever floats your boat, have at it. All right, that'll do it for us. Stay tuned. The Dawn Show is up next. Have a great rest of your Friday. We will talk to you again Monday morning at 6. And as our favorite bus driver would say at the end of a week. Sick of you. I'm sick of all of this shit. I'm done with it. We all hear the radio ads about the IRS. They tell you to be afraid, to be scared. And they try to frighten you into calling. I'm not here to do